The colorful water does not emerge slowly, but is sprayed out with great force. So this place is called the Eruption Land, and it deserves its name. The colorful water is only the size of a fist, and it spurts out with misty light and infinite colors. The moment they saw the multicolored water, many deities were stunned for a moment. The real influence of the colorful water is greater than the phantom cast by Madame Jade. Lin Moyu's eyes narrowed slightly, and he instantly turned into a stream of light and rushed out, grabbing the colorful water. When he took action, many gods with powerful souls had also taken action. There were seven drops of colorful water sprayed out at the same time. The gods each chose a target and began to snatch it. Although Lin Moyu had the lowest cultivation level, his reaction was not slow at all. He caught up with the Wankai water almost instantly. Go back. A sharp sword light swept over him. If Lin Moyu continued to reach out, he would definitely be struck by the sword light. Attacking in the god realm, Lin Moyu, a little god king, will definitely die if he encounters him. Lin Moyu was already prepared, and the golden amulet appeared in his hand, inspiring him fiercely. Golden armor emerged to block the sword light. With a loud bang, the armor and sword light collapsed at the same time. Lin Moyu took out another golden amulet at this time and was instantly inspired. Just then a flaming fist came from behind. The golden armor appeared again and collided with the flaming fist. The result was another collapse, and then Lin Moyu took out the third golden amulet and inspired it again. At this moment, he was very close to the colorful water, only one step away. You wanna die? A golden light appeared in the line of sight, and a golden eagle clan god came first and came in front of Lin Moyu. The golden sword in his hand was chopped off at the head, and at the same time, the golden law galaxy poured down, turning into countless golden lights and chopped down together. This attack reached the third level of the God Sovereign. It was stronger than the previous two attacks and could not be blocked by the Golden Talisman. The space around Lin Moyu was distorted, and two huge Legion rulers appeared beside him. They waved their swords and blocked the blow for Lin Moyu. The two Legion rulers were blown away, but they were not seriously injured and quickly came back. The Law Galaxy also appeared above their heads and the roar of the legion was faintly heard from the law galaxy. Before summoning them, Lin Moyu had already let the skeleton dragon and death knight enter the law galaxy and directly activate the control skills. As the legion rulers have the strongest defense among the undead legions, it is not easy for practitioners in the same realm to kill them. The ruler of the legion entangled the golden eagle clan god. However, after being blocked by the Golden Eagle Clan God, the distance between Lin Moyu and Wan Kai Water widened again. At this time, the Red Fire God Lord had already caught up with Lin Moyu, and a law galaxy full of flames appeared above his head. In an instant, the starry sky turned into a sea of fire. Lin Moyu's whole body was shining with golden light, and the golden talisman once again transformed into golden armor to block the sea of fire. However, Cracks appeared in the golden armor in the blink of an eye. Facing the god who mobilized the power of the law galaxy, the golden amulet was not enough. Burn you to death. The red fire god showed a cruel smile. Lin Moyu ignored the red fire god and continued to rush towards the colorful water. At the same time, a large pile of golden talismans appeared in his hand. The moment the golden armor shattered, he activated another one. Each golden talisman can buy him about two seconds. The red fire god was stunned and screamed, Why are there so many? Lin Moyu ignored this guy. The sword light danced in front of his eyes, and a god stepped on the sword and rushed towards the colorful area. Lin Moyu recognized him as the one who slashed him with the sword before, the god from the Hundred Faces clan. The Hundred Face tribe is a race that is neither strong nor weak. Since their birth, the tribe has had hundreds of appearances and hundreds of body types. Moreover, after they reach adulthood, they can change among hundreds of body shapes at will, so they are called the Hundred-Faced Clan. At this moment, the deity of the Hundred-Faced Clan looks like a human, but he is very short, only one meter tall.
He stepped on a flying sword, surpassed Lin Moyu, and rushed towards the water of colors at an astonishing speed. Just as he was about to touch the colorful water, the sword light suddenly surged, and the hundred-faced clan deity flew back. The sword light slashed out, and a black shadow emerged in the sword light. The shadow is wearing a cloak and is a god from the shadow clan. Unknowingly, the god of the shadow clan has arrived at the edge of the colorful water. If the hundred-faced tribe god hadn't arrived, he would have succeeded. Lin Moyu was not surprised at all, he had already seen the shadow tribe god. At this moment, he was connected to the vision of the undead, and the soul flames were clearly displayed in his sight, and no one could hide them. The shadow tribe god retreated in the sword light and temporarily lost the opportunity to collect the water of colors. At this time, several more gods came from different directions. The Golden Eagle clan god roared violently, and golden light erupted from his body. He suddenly broke away from the entanglement of the Legion ruler and rushed towards the Water of Colors at an astonishing speed. Among all races, the god of the Golden Eagle clan is the fastest. Once he succeeds, it will be difficult for others to come back. Please give me flowers. Lin Moyu pointed his finger, and the sun's red light flashed. Fusion spell, curse of time. The Golden Eagle tribe god suddenly let out a scream, and his speed suddenly slowed down. The severe pain in his soul made him unbearable. Lin Moyu has reached the seventh level of the god. Although he can't hurt the god yet, he can still let the god experience the pain on the soul level. The water of colors is mine. At this time, a flying python clan god came to the water of many colors and opened his mouth to swallow the water of many colors. Several rays of white sword light lit up and struck into its mouth fiercely. The sword light pierced his big mouth, and the flying python clan god retreated as if he was electrocuted. Ten skeleton god generals appeared next to Lin Moyu, killing each god. It is not necessary to defeat the gods of various races, as long as they can live with them for a while, it is enough. Lin Moyu speeded up again and rushed towards the colorful water. The red fire god lord behind him was chasing after him, and the law galaxy fell into the sea of fire, continuing to burn Lin Moyu. However, Lin Moyu has too many golden amulets, one after another, and it seems like there is no way to use them all. The skeleton god stood behind Lin Moyu, swung his sword energy, and blocked the red fire god for Lin Moyu. Go away! The red fire god shouted angrily, and the sea of fire became more intense but it had no effect. The skeleton god general is also a second-level god. He is no weaker than him. He is fearless of death and pain, and his sword power is extremely powerful. On the contrary, the red fire god lord must be extremely careful with the bone sword of the skeleton god general. The skeleton god will directly use the method of exchanging injuries for injuries and life for lives, which will make it extremely miserable. Lin Moyu was close to the water of ten thousand colors again. As long as he stretched out his hand, he could hold the water of ten thousand colors. At this time, a layer of black mist enveloped him, and the god of the shadow tribe used a secret technique and suddenly appeared in front of Lin Moyu. A dagger was swiped directly at Lin Moyu's neck. The golden armor shattered under the dagger, and the blow was extremely powerful. Lin Moyu reacted very quickly. He was already prepared. A god's head appeared in his hand, and the head instantly turned into ashes. Stellar level magic, corpse explosion. Boom. In the violent explosion, the shadow tribe god was blown away and flew backwards screaming. The shadow clan's defense is not strong and they are not good at frontal combat. What they were good at was sneak attacks, but Lin Moyu counterattacked fiercely. His body was blown to pieces and half of his life was lost. Without any obstacles, Lin Moyu grabbed Wang Kai Shuair. The colorful water struggled fiercely in the palm. As a material for the other side realm, it could not be so easily conquered. Lin Moyu knew how to deal with him, and his sole power was rolling to suppress the colorful water. At this time, a yellow glow appeared above the head, and a high mountain appeared out of thin air. This god has been hiding in the dark until now, when he began to conquer the colorful water, 
he took action boldly. I've been waiting for you for a long time. Lin Moyu chuckled, and he had already been discovered by the sight of the undead. This is a sand clan god, and he uses a magic weapon, similar to sand dune. The magic weapon turned into a sand dune and a mountain, and pressed down on the head. The space is distorted and the layers are broken. This sand dune is a magic weapon of the divine realm. It is difficult to estimate, and even space cannot bear it. Lin Moyu didn't panic at all, the hell of bones expanded violently. The hell of bones enveloped the surroundings, and the mark was completed instantly after being impacted by the sand dunes. Lin Moyu's soul locked onto the opponent, and four golden eagle tribes, four three divine slaves, came out. Two of the Golden Eagle tribe's divine slaves hit the Sand Dune magic weapon with all their strength. The Sand Dune was knocked away, and they flew back in response. The other two directly entangled the Sand Clan god and started fighting. The Hell of Bones almost enveloped all the surrounding gods, and every god was marked. Lin Moyu was subduing the colorful water and said coldly, Get ready to kill. I will keep my word. I will be the first to kill you. He looked at the red fire god, and hundreds of divine generals appeared around him. The skeleton god general completed the siege almost instantly, with sword energy flowing freely, beating the red fire god lord until his flesh and blood flew everywhere. The red fire lord screamed in agony and broke through again and again, but was blocked by the skeleton god general every time. He is only a second level god. Facing hundreds of skeleton god generals of the same level, there is no chance of surviving. A galaxy of laws appears above the head of the skeleton god general, and a galaxy of white bones appears in the galaxy of bones, which looks extremely breathtaking. White bones were scattered in the law galaxy, and the skeleton god general's image was covered with a layer of white glow, and his combat power increased again by several points. In less than a minute, the seemingly powerful red fire god was cut into pieces by hundreds of generals. Lin Moyu kept his word and said he should be killed first, so he should be killed first. When the red fire god lord died, all the god lords were shocked. In the fight for the colorful water, gods are often injured, and occasionally gods die. But it is very rare to die so quickly and so early. What are these? Is it a puppet of the human race? Why are there puppets of the divine realm? How does he, a god-king, control so many puppets? His soul is so strong that he can conquer even the water of ten thousand colors. He is at least an average fourth-grade soul. This is the top genius of the human race. Hurry up, those puppets are coming to kill you. The gods discussed quickly. They saw the skeleton god general coming towards them after killing the red fire god, and they were so frightened that the animals dispersed. Several gods got rid of the entanglement and fled towards the distance. The god of the sand clan was entangled by four slaves of the god of the golden eagle clan, and it was difficult to get rid of him. The golden eagle clan is famous for its speed. Once entangled, it will give any clan a headache. The shadow tribe god was about to flee when suddenly there was another roar. Another corpse exploded and fell on him. Lin Moyu used the fresh corpse of the red fire god to hit him. In the explosion, the shadow tribe god died on the spot. He died very simply and did not even scream. The face of the sand clan god lord changed drastically, and despair appeared in his eyes. Lin Moyu did not disappoint him. The skeleton god general had already surrounded him, and the result was already determined. The colorful water no longer struggled and was finally subdued. Lin Moyu put it away and looked into the distance. This time, a total of seven drops of colorful water appeared. I took one drop away, and there were still six drops left to fight for. The atmosphere of fighting is everywhere, and the majestic energy base surges forward. The nearest battlefield is only five million kilometers away from Lin Moyu. According to the way they are competing, Lin Moyu can definitely come and take a stab at it. But Lin Moyu didn't go, but looked at another article. Where the colorful water spewed out before, there was a vague hole the size of a fist. 
The cave is hidden very deep, and various colors float out from it, blending into the starry sky environment. Even for a god, it is difficult to discover its existence. However, in the eyes of the soul, in the other side realm, there is no hole to hide. The soul power was rolling, and the eyes of the soul were fully opened, looking into the cave. Lin Moyu saw layers of folds, and the layers of space formed a passage that reached deep. The space was shattered by the colorful water, revealing the deepest parts. What's this? Lin Moyu's eyes narrowed, and he saw infinite colors glowing in the deepest part of the space. These colors come from the water of colors. When he looked carefully, he was even more shocked. Inside, it turned out to be for one bite. Colorful water gushes out from this well. To be precise, the black tide surges, forming a squeezing force deep in space. In the end, it was not the colorful water that was squeezed, but this mouthful. The water of many colors that gushes out is just a drop, but there are so many colors of water in this well. Incalculable. At least there are tens of thousands of drops, or even more. If only I could have this well. Lin Moyu had an idea in his mind. Although it was a bit unrealistic, it didn't seem impossible. Ever since he saw this well filled with colorful water, Lin Moyu was no longer interested in the colorful water that spewed out. He began to think about how to get this well. He didn't even bother to care about the Sand Clan god who was still fighting at the side. Just leave such trivial matters as killing the god lord to the skeleton god general. Refining the colorful water requires soul power. Then refining this well filled with colorful water must use soul power. I have a soul in the other side realm, coupled with the gifted giant tree and the nine-color dragon soul crystal, I can continuously restore soul power, so soul power should not be a problem. Then the key question is, how to get to the well? The well is at the deepest point of space, and it cannot be reached by ordinary methods. It is said that the other side can only be reached by mastering the rules of space. I don't know if the rules of space can work. Maybe you can give it a try. My heart moved, and bursts of Buddha's voice sounded in my ears. The Buddhist lich appeared next to him, and Lin Moyu used the magic of seeing the truth at the same time. The art of voyeurism triggers the laws of fate and sends back pictures of the future. Lin Moyu used the well as an anchor. The picture was not fully presented, but it suddenly shattered. Is it because the existence of the well is elusive? Not even the laws of fate can describe it. Lin Moyu had a hidden feeling in his heart and knew why he failed. The existence of wells is magical and elusive. But in this way, he became more determined to obtain the well. He carefully observed the other gods and found that these gods had not seen the cave where colorful water spewed out. This shows that these deities did not discover the existence of the well at all. Lin Moyu calculated the time in his heart, calculating the time from when the colorful water sprayed out to when the cave closed. Screams rang in the ears. After holding on for five minutes, the Sand Clan God Lord finally died under the siege of the Skeleton God General. Lin Moyu didn't care about this, he was still counting the time. As time passed, the remaining six drops of colorful water gradually found their owners. The Yu family received a drop of colorful water, and the Demon Clan, the Golden Eagle Clan, and the Buddhist Clan each received a drop of colorful water. The other three drops also have their own ownership and Lin Moyu doesn't care about this. As he counted, the hole finally closed. Twenty minutes, the hole will close in twenty minutes. He saw not only the hole in front of him, but also the holes elsewhere. The closing time of the seven holes is the same, twenty minutes. Lin Moyu thought about his plan, twenty minutes should be enough. For safety reasons, I will stay in there for fifteen minutes at most, and I must return after fifteen minutes. I don't know what's going on in the deepest part of the space, and whether there are other dangers inside. This is a variable, so be careful. No matter what, I have to give it a try. Lin Moyu took a deep breath and made a decision. He stood there with his eyes closed, quietly feeling the distortion of space under the black tide, waiting for the next wave of gush to arrive. 
The skeleton god will surround him and protect him. Lin Moyu suddenly felt several eyes falling on him, and their eyes were very sharp, as if they had substance. He felt like he was being soul locked. He opened his eyes and looked over, and found that there were nine gods from the Golden Eagle clan, staring at him with unkind eyes. They were still far away from me and did not come closer. Lin Moyu probably knew what was going on and didn't take it seriously. There are nine Golden Eagle clan gods, one of whom is a high-level god, and the remaining eight are concentrated between the second and fifth levels of the gods. If there is a fight, there will be trouble, but there is no need to be afraid. That high-level god is difficult to kill, but as for the others, they can be left behind. Lin Moyu just looked at him indifferently and said no more. On the other side, the gods of the demon clan discovered this and sneered. The Golden Eagle clan and the Demon clan are both enemies. Now that they see conflicts between the human race and the Golden Eagle clan, they are happy to watch. It's best to lose both sides and they can still take advantage. Lin Moyu's previous performance was noticed by many gods. Everyone was shocked that a god king actually had such combat power and so many god-level puppets. Regardless of whether Lin Moyu relies on his own strength or the powerful combat power of the puppet, he has to admit that this is a terrifying genius. A truly top-notch, terrifying, genius. If possible, everyone present except the human race would want to strangle Lin Moyu. No one wants to see such a genius appear in the human race. The looks in the eyes of the gods and lords of all races clearly showed that invisible murderous intent was permeating the air. The eyes of everyone in the Yu family showed worry. They were worried about Lin Moyu. Yu Qingfeng whispered, no matter what, we must keep Mr. Lin. You know, we will try our best to save Mr. Lin. Mr. Lin said that he has a trump card, so we don't need to worry too much. The gushing land returned to a brief period of calm. It seemed calm, but a more dangerous crisis lurked. But now, all races are waiting for the appearance of the colorful water. When the battle for Wan Kai water ends, they will definitely take action against Lin Moyo. Suddenly a voice broke the silence of this world. I know who he is, he's Lin Moyo. Lin Moyo. Dozens of pairs of eyes suddenly lit up. The name Lin Moyo of the human race has been spread among various races in recent years. As gods of various tribes, they also have many ears to hear about it. It turned out to be him, the guy the human race calls the second god of war. Before, I thought that the human race was trying to put money on their faces, but now it seems that it is not an exaggeration. This child is indeed very strong. If he grows up, it may break the balance of the various races. If the human race has a second god of war, then all races will be wiped out. Even if they can survive, life will not be easy. So I suggest you kill him before he grows up. The gods and lords of all races were talking a lot. They didn't care about Lin Moyu's feelings at all, and just openly discussed the issue of Lin Moyu's life and death. No matter how strong Lin Moyu is, he is only a god king. They had already seen the puppet just now, and it was only the second or third level of the god lord. Facing the high level god, Lin Moyu had no chance of surviving. So they are commenting and scrupulously. Some gods sneered and retreated, that is a problem between your tribes. There is no conflict between us and the human race. Even if the human race becomes stronger, they will not do anything to us. Yes, you have enmity with the human race, that is your business, we do not want to provoke the human race. If you want to take action, do it yourself and don't drag us into the water. The human race is a strong race, and it is the strongest race among the powerful races. There are many races that don't want to mess with humans. Lin Moyu didn't care about their words. He was still quietly feeling the darkness and the fluctuations of space. He naturally heard these words of the deity, but so what? If you really want to take action, you won't be afraid. If you want to kill yourself, you should first ask your undead army division for permission. Just 50 million second-level skeleton god generals were enough for them to kill for many days. You know, every skeleton general has five chances to be resurrected. And he can keep calling, 
After turning on the original spell, the soul shooting bow can kill high level gods. In half a day, the ancient talisman Jade Peace can also kill the high level god. With Yu Chim Feng and others present and cooperating with his undead army, it was hard to say who would kill whom. The final result is very likely that the high level gods will escape, and all the gods below the high level will die here. The space surge under the black tide suddenly became intense, and Lin Moyu could feel that huge power was accumulating. It's about to begin. The second round of spewing was about to begin, and Lin Moyu began to prepare to implement his plan. All the gods sensed the surging black tide and silenced each one. The top priority is not to kill Lin Moyu, but to collect the city's water. In the face of vested interests, Lin Moyu's matter was temporarily shelved by them. Everything should wait until the end of Water of Colors, before making any plans. 657 The surge of the black tide became stronger and stronger, and the splendor emerged, marking the specific location where the colorful water appeared out of this round. All the gods moved closer to their chosen positions. Yu Ching Feng and others also aimed at a position. The seven of them combined together had strong combat power and the probability of obtaining the water of colors was extremely high. The gods of all tribes all made almost the same movements, and a new battle was about to begin. This time, Lin Moyu remained motionless. At this moment, he was 300,000 kilometers away from the nearest gushing ground. Looking from a distance, it seems that only Lin Moyu is left in the starry sky. What is he going to do? Is he going to give up? It's possible that he planned to run away while we were fighting for him. If you don't run now, you won't be able to leave later. The gods of all races looked at Lin Moyu with sneers, as if they wanted to see how Lin Moyu could escape. Yu Ching Feng and others also looked at Lin Moyu, but they felt that Lin Moyu would not escape. Lin Moyu gave him the impression that he was not the kind of person who retreats despite difficulties but the kind of person who knows that there are tigers in the mountains and prefers to travel to the mountains with tigers. Lin Moyu must have expected this situation. Originally, he didn't even come, but he came anyway. And could Madame Jade have not expected this situation? Obviously Mrs. Yu has confidence in Lin Moyu. In this case, they don't seem to have to worry too much. The light flashed, and the colorful water sprayed out again with a hazy light. The second round of eruption contained eight drops. The gods of all races moved upon hearing the water, and a new round of competition began again. Mixed with hazy and psychedelic colors, the gods took full action. In the previous round, they might have had reservations and tested each other, but this round they really used their full strength. The dazzling law galaxies are displayed, reflecting the starry sky, making this originally dreamy world more exciting. The pressure of the high-level gods swept across, and their attacks already contained a trace of the power of rules, which greatly increased their attack power. The gods chased the colorful water and refused to give in to each other. Only Lin Moyu did not participate in the robbery. In the eyes of most gods, he has given up and will take advantage of this opportunity to escape. But everyone can understand that this is the right choice. After the colorful water spewed out, Lin Moyu always paid attention to the holes in the space. The power of space in the cave was rolling and very unstable. He knew that now was not a good time to enter. After waiting for more than ten seconds, the power of space finally stabilized and formed a stable channel. The internal picture has become clear, and the well is the deepest, flashing with colorful colors. The wings of the undead spread out fiercely and the original spells were activated at the same time. Lin Moyu's aura increased instantly. The realm is rising rapidly, and all the realm restrictions are broken in the blink of an eye. In an instant, Lin Moyu broke the barrier between the god king and the god lord, and a bright galaxy appeared above his head. The gray and white law galaxy shines brightly above his head. The law galaxy is huge and extremely beautiful and is more powerful than the law galaxy of other gods. Behind Lin Moyu, a strange star with the same gray and white color is rising slowly, like a bright moon shining on the law galaxy. The galaxy is illuminated by strange stars and becomes more powerful, 
with gray and white aura spreading freely in the starry sky. The vision grew and attracted the attention of many people. The gods all looked shocked. Law vision, what kind of law is this? The stars, the bright moon, the laws and phenomena, Lin Moyu's laws, are extraordinary. There are very few laws that can produce abnormal images. Lin Moyu's laws should be the first-tier laws. As expected of a top genius, he actually understands the first-tier rules. Such a person cannot be allowed to live. He used secret techniques to forcibly raise his level to the level of a god. What did he want to do? The gods are well informed and can see that Lin Moyu used secret techniques to forcibly improve his realm. But this kind of secret method has a price in all likelihood. It is puzzling that Lin Moyu suddenly did this. Lin Moyu's realm increased dramatically, breaking into the divine realm in one second, and a second later, he had firmly reached the fifth level of the divine realm. Then the wings of the undead shook violently, and a strange aura spread from the undead. The breath affects the space and distorts the space. Everyone was shocked again, and even the competition for the colorful water became no longer fierce. At this moment, Lin Moyu is the real focus, and the colorful water has to step aside. It's the law of space, Lin Moyu actually controls the laws of space. It's not that he controls the laws of space, but his magic can trigger the laws of space. That's amazing. If he truly breaks into the god realm, it is entirely possible for him to understand the laws of space. The laws of space are illusory and difficult to understand, but with his magic, it is indeed possible. No, we have to kill him now. We can give up Wankai water, but Saint him can't wait. The Demon Clan God and the Golden Eagle Clan seem to have made a decision at this moment. They had a tacit understanding and decided to give up the fight for the Water of Colors and kill Lin Moyu first. If Lin Moyu is allowed to grow, he will become a serious problem for both tribes within a thousand years. At this moment, Lin Moyu moved violently. As if he teleported, he appeared at the place where the fountain had emitted colorful water, and then crashed into it. Boom! The space shook violently, and everyone heard a loud noise, as if something had been broken. Lin Moyu has disappeared from everyone's sight. The gods who had just decided to kill Lin Moyu looked around but could not find Lin Moyu. Even if Lin Moyu were to leave, it would be impossible for him to leave no trace. The breath disappeared, and the soul lock was broken. Where did he go? I don't know. I didn't see it. Could it be that he just ran away? Using magic to forcibly raise the realm to the Supreme God, revealing the vision of law, and showing such amazing magic, is it just to escape? It's unreasonable. Lin Moyu didn't escape, absolutely not. Then where did he go? All the gods were confused and couldn't understand. Yu Qingfeng also looked at this scene. As a high-level deity of the Yu family, there is an ancestor from the other shore realm in the family, and the inheritance in the family is extremely long. He suddenly realized something, and his whole body trembled, did Mr. Lin go there? There was disbelief in his eyes, but the more he thought about it, the more likely it was. Especially Lin Moyu revealed the law of space, which confirmed his guess. His eyes became excited, and he immediately sent a message to several of his tribesmen, when Mr. comes out later, we will fight to the death to keep him. Dot. We can die, but not sir. The tone this time is different from before. Before, I tried my best to keep Lin Moyu, but now I am trying my best to keep Lin Moyu. Several deities of the Yu family heard the meaning of Yu Qingfeng's words and nodded one after another, with determination flashing in their eyes. A Golden Eagle tribe god suddenly realized something, his eyes suddenly changed, and he shouted with murderous intent, when Lin Moyu comes out, we will kill him with all our strength, and we must not let him live. The demon clan also said the same thing. On the other side, the forbidden Buddha in the Buddhist clan suddenly said, if Lin Moyu comes out, find a way to kill him. Vedra Buddha was a little puzzled, what should we do with the saints of the human race? Lin Moyu said that if he died, the human saint would immediately attack the Buddha clan. 
Although I don't know whether it is true or false, I would rather believe that it exists than that it does not exist. The Forbidden Buddha shook his head, actually, killing Lin Moyu is secondary, the main thing is for the well. That well? Several Buddhas were a little confused as to what that well was. However, the Buddha did not explain too much and just asked them to do as they were told. The strong, good Zhao, tribes know much more information than the weak races. After reaching a certain level, you will naturally know that there is a well under the colorful water, a well that can spout colorful water. The competition for the colorful water only involves a few drops or a dozen drops at a time. But if you can get a well, the colorful water you can get will be immeasurable. However, whether it is Yu Chung Feng or the Forbidden Buddha, they all know how difficult it is to obtain dust. The other side of the clan, the Holy Lord, the Ancient Buddha, and the Buddha all tried it when they were young, but they all ended in failure. Even the starry sky fishmen, who are good at space laws, have not been able to obtain it. The possibility of Lin Moyu succeeding is not high. But at the same time, they also hope that Lin Moyu can succeed, after all, he is a genius. It is much easier to grab the well from Lin Moyu than to go to deep space to collect the well. The atmosphere in the field began to become strange, and the fight for the colorful water continued, but several powerful gods obviously no longer wanted to do this. Colorful colors passed by like streams of light and reflected backwards. Lin Moyu entered a fantasy passage and headed towards an unknown place. He always locked on that well. The colorful water in the well was extremely beautiful. It seemed that he was not far away from the well, but in fact, he was playing scary. Lin Tuan Ma kept vibrating the wings of the undead, inspiring the laws of space through the wings of the undead, using the laws of space as a pulp to move forward in the ocean of the world. The well slowly grew larger in sight, and he was getting closer to the other party. Huge pressure swept in from all directions, and the space seemed to be compressed and became thick. The physical body bloomed with golden light, and the golden body of the God King was automatically activated, resisting the huge pressure. The pressure targets the body as well as the soul. The soul world is also under strong pressure and is longer than the physical body. The soul world blooms with purple brilliance, which is extremely noble and keeps pressure away. Lin Moyu felt quite relaxed, but if it were replaced by another God, the result would be different. Just the physical body is uncomfortable, and the physical body of the God Lord may not be able to reach the realm of the God King. Now that you have reached the realm of the God King, you may not necessarily have the golden body of the God King. In this aspect, ordinary gods are far inferior to Lin Moyo. Needless to say at the soul level, the 5th grade BB-240 Shore Realm Soul is no joke. Although the realm is insufficient and the soul power is not strong enough, the quality realm is there and there will be no fakeness, whether it's physical or soul pressure, Lin Moyu can't bear it. Time passed by, Lin Moyu kept moving forward bravely and finally approached the well. It was as if he had broken through the barrier between worlds, and strange auras kept pouring in, as if he had entered another world. The world in front of you is colorful and extremely beautiful. Looking up, you can actually see the scene in the dark void. Above his head, many gods are fighting to the death for the colorful water. The position he was in seemed to be only a thin line away from those gods. This is a very magical perspective. You can see them, but they can't see yourself. Lin Moyu's heart is like a mirror, and he knows that there is actually a billions of miles between him and the other person. In the short period of time just now, I activated the wings of the undead again and again, stimulating the laws of space and constantly traveling through space. I don't know how far I had to fly to get here. The difficulty involved is simply beyond what ordinary gods can accomplish. He just glanced at it and then withdrew his gaze. Now that he was in the deepest part of the space, he had no time to waste. Bayad, the ancient well containing colorful water, was right in front of him. Just when he was about to reach out and touch the ancient well, suddenly layers of undercurrents surged up in the deep space. Not good. Lin Moyu sensed the undercurrent, but it was too late. He came too quickly, and an invisible force of space suddenly emerged, pushing him far away. 
The soul power rolls, regardless of the cost, stimulating the wings of the undead, vibrating continuously, and unleashes the laws of space to fight. Lin Moyu is like a lone sail in the huge waves, fighting against the invisible giant waves. Hitting again and again, retreating again and again, and fighting back again and again. At the beginning of Soul Eye, Lin Moyu seemed to see some unusual pictures. New regular lines appeared in the line of sight, regular lines that had never appeared before. The law lines exude a faint silver glow and are almost transparent. If you don't look carefully, you can't see them at all. In the dim light of the law lines, there seems to be runes. Runes can explain the rules, but this is the first time I see runes in the lines of the rules. This is the law line of the law of space. The law lines of the first echelon actually contain runes. Lin Moyu was shocked, and this discovery surprised him. Suddenly, there was a feeling of weakness in the soul. At this time, the time for the original spell had come, the soul realm dropped like a tide, and the law lines disappeared from sight. Lin Moyu's eyes were slightly disappointed, but there was also a hint of excitement. He already knows that the lines of the first echelon law are not invisible, but they need to be exposed in a specific environment and under specific conditions to appear. After knowing this, Lin Moyu has greater confidence in the God Queen's understanding of other laws. Whether you can see the lines of the rules has a completely different effect on understanding the rules. If you can think of a way to make the law manifest, that would naturally be the best. But the law is manifest, it can be encountered, but not sought. Since Lin Moyu entered the path of cultivation, he has only seen the manifestation of his immortal law. Even in the sea of law, stars in the human emperor's training ground, there is no manifestation of the law. Lin Moyu was excited and tried to stabilize his body in the huge waves of space. This time I entered deep space, even if I didn't get the ancient well, just the discovery of the law lines was worth the price. The invisible giant wave finally subsided temporarily, and Lin Moyu quickly came to the side. He didn't reach out immediately. His soul was extremely weak now, his strength was exhausted, and he was in a state of deficit. Lin Moyu's eyes flashed, and with the newly recovered soul power, he activated the original spell again. The realm suddenly increased, reaching the fifth level of God in just two seconds, and then broke through again, reaching the sixth level of God. Forcibly surpassing the limit and being promoted to the sixth level of God, the soul collapsed like a bubble. Purple light flashed by, and Lin Moyu was reborn instantly. The soul was reborn, and Emperor Li returned to his peak state. Lin Moyu was in peak condition and stretched out his hand to press on the ancient well. Boom! The ancient well shook violently, as if the entire deep world was shaking. The soul world roared like an earthquake. The next second, colorful water poured into the soul world and turned into a huge wave to impact the soul world. The purple jade barrier in the soul world has lost its effect, and the colorful water directly passes through the purple jade barrier and rushes towards the soul. Lin Moyu knew that this was a test, just like when he conquered the colorful water. If you can't bear it, you are not qualified to get the ancient well. Colorful water is a material from the other shore realm, and the level of an ancient well that can contain colorful water will only be higher. Even if you don't have intelligence, it will not be easy to conquer a treasure of this level. With my soul in the other side realm, I might have a chance. At the same time, he also had some doubts in his heart as to why those beings from the other side realm didn't come to conquer Wang. Is it because of the laws of space that they can't reach here? Lin Moyu doesn't think so. There is always a way to overcome it by forcefully changing the rules by using the other side realm method. Even if the other shore state is not possible, the Holy Lord will definitely be able to reach it. But if the Holy Lord can get the ancient well, why would he come to snatch the colorful water? How could they appreciate the colorful water? This shows that the saints did not obtain Gugu. That's strange. While Lin Moyu was doubtful, he was already fully prepared to bear the impact from the water of colors. The colorful water turns into a water dragon in the soul world and rushes towards the soul. The giant tree of talent stretches out countless branches and slaps on the colorful water. 
but the Wonkai water ignored the whipping of the talent tree at all, and its target was only Lin Moyu. The nine-color dragon soul crystal roared and rushed towards the water dragon, but was directly knocked away by the water dragon. The gap between the two is not small, and the nine-color dragon soul crystal returned without success. The soul shooting bow appeared in the hand of the soul, the soul power rolled around, and a purple sharp arrow shot into the water dragon's head. The Wonkai water dragon's head was blown apart, but it healed immediately without any injuries. The soul keeps drawing the bow, and for a while, sharp arrows are like rain. One soul and one bow, but the effect of shooting an army. Every second, hundreds of arrows fly out and hit the colorful water dragon. There was a constant roar and splashing water. But no matter how Lin Moyu attacks, Wonkai Water Dragon can heal instantly. The colorful water dragon is getting closer and closer, and Lin Moyu's soul retreats quickly. Suddenly, the colorful water dragon accelerated suddenly and hit the soul with a bang. Severe pain hit his whole body, and Lin Moyu couldn't help but let out a groan. Fortunately, he has long been accustomed to the pain of his soul. He has gone back and forth countless times between life and death, and the pain is nothing. The colorful water dragon roared and sprayed out dragon breath, which turned into ice, as if to freeze Lin Moyu's soul. Lin Moyu felt the biting cold, a temperature he had not felt in countless years. Under the cold, the soul's movement and perception began to become sluggish. The soul power surged crazily, a spell star shone brightly, and Lin Moyu opened the original spell in the soul world. The realm of the soul is rapidly improved, breaking away from the cold. The soul shooting bow became sharper and more powerful. Each arrow can explode a massive amount of water, and the colorful water dragon seems to feel threatened and continues to roar. The ice exploded in the dragon's breath, followed by a flash of lightning, and thousands of mines erupted. The mine exploded on the soul and the soul was blown away again. Lin Moyu groaned again, so strong. The lightning continued to beat, and the lightning continued to hit Lin Moyu. The soul was beaten to the point of paralysis, and Lin Moyu himself was shaking and unable to react much. A soul in the divine realm is no match for it at all. Lin Moyu temporarily raised his cultivation level to the fifth level of God, and his soul itself was at the fifth level in conjunction with the soul-shooting bow. Lin Moyu feels that his combat power at the soul level is enough to compete with the eighth or even ninth level gods. But in this way, he still can't beat the Wonkai Water Dragon. The Wonkai Water Dragon is simply not something that the Divine Realm can deal with. Lin Moyu kept struggling in the mines, trying to avoid them, but with little success. If his soul hadn't been strong enough, he might have been killed by the mine. If you don't get the ancient well, you may be killed by the colorful water dragon. Conquering the ancient well is extremely dangerous. Lin Moyu noticed that a layer of keen yellow light was flowing on the surface of his soul. It was this layer of light that helped him block most of the attacks from the mines. Disaster Scepter, Soul Gem The earthy yellow light is brought by the soul gem of the natural disaster scepter. It is rarely used. I didn't expect that the defense power is so amazing. Lin Moyu's heart moved and he had a way to deal with the Wonkai water dragon. He tried hard to raise the natural disaster scepter and used the small natural disaster scepter as a shield to block part of the mines and win a breathing space for his soul. Lin Moyu used all his strength and waved his scepter to knock out all the incoming water and electricity. The little soul charged towards the huge multicolored water dragon. The colorful water dragon seemed to be provoked, roared, and once again sprayed out a large amount of dragon breath. At the same time, its eyes bloomed with endless colors, and two beams of light shot towards Lin Moyu first and second. Lin Moyu waved the natural disaster scepter and knocked out the beam with two bangs. Then he danced the natural disaster scepter so tightly that he opened a passage in the dragon's breath. The natural disaster scepter is his last resort. If this doesn't work, then he has no other choice but to give up. Waving the natural disaster scepter in the soul, he rushed in front of the colorful water dragon and slammed it down with the wand. Boom! 
water splashed everywhere, and Wan Shui Long was knocked upside down. The dragon's head exploded directly and could not be recovered. It was completely different from the previous result of using the soul shooting bow. Lin Moyu hit it one after another, and each time he hit it, he could blow up a large section of the colorful water dragon. In just a few seconds, the Wonkai water dragon was smashed to pieces and completely exploded. The colorful water dragon disappeared without a trace, and then a stream of information flowed into Lin Moyu's soul. So your name is Zhu Shui Gu Jing. He learned the name of the ancient well, which was Zhu Shui Yan Peng. The colorful water is also called the ancestor of all waters, and the ancient well that can hold it is the ancestral water ancient well. In such an ancient well of ancestral water, there are a total of 10,000 drops of colorful water. Moreover, the ancient well of Zhu Shui can continuously produce colorful water, one drop of which can be produced every day. With it, there is an inexhaustible supply of colorful water. But this is not the most important thing. The most important thing is what is behind the ancient well of Zhu Shui. But that thing is still too far away for him. Lin Moyu suppressed the thought in his heart, and now he is extremely lucky to get the Zhu Shui ancient well. Not only did he know the name of the ancient well of Zhu Shui, he also knew the many functions of Wang Kai water. Please give me flowers. Lin Moyu opened his eyes and looked at the space. This is located at the deepest level of the big world space, a chaotic and magical world. Space is not static, it is always in a state of activity. In each war, space went from being damaged to being repaired, and a large number of things entered the turbulent flow of space and finally came here. Therefore, this world is mysterious and chaotic, but it is not desolate. In this chaotic space, energy emperor turbulence is everywhere. Coupled with the surge of the black tide, it disrupts space from time to time and causes huge waves in space, making the world more chaotic. It is far from being able to see this world clearly just by relying on the eyes of the soul in the other side realm. Before getting the ancient well of Zhu Shui, Lin Moyu had no idea about it. But now there is an ancient well of Zhu Shui. Lin Moyu tapped his finger and a drop of colorful water flew out, split into two, and entered his left and right eyes. The world in front of him suddenly became different. The original chaos disappeared, the fog dispersed, and everything became clear. The lines of space laws emerged, and Lin Moyu saw the lines of space laws again. At the same time he saw something else. An ancient well of ancestral water is lying quietly in this space. There is not just one ancient well in Zushue, but many. Looking at it, there are almost a hundred ancient wells in Zushue. They have existed here for countless years, and no one has ever been able to take them away from here. Lin Moyu is still the tenth. In addition to the ancient well of Zushue, Lin Moyu also saw extremely distant places, where gods were fighting and giant beasts were swimming in the stars. Suddenly his eyes narrowed and he saw countless giant beasts in the starry sky flying towards the fountain of colorful water. The colorful water will attract the starry sky beasts, but the situation in front of you is different. These starry sky behemoths seem to be orderly and commanded, not scattered, like an army. Every giant beast in the starry sky exudes black energy. They have been infected by the power of darkness. They are no longer creatures of the big world and have become slaves of the power of darkness. They are not here to seize the colorful water, they are here to kill people. There should be someone behind the starry sky beasts, controlling them. Lin Moyu's eyes looked farther away. With the magical effect of the colorful water and the strange situation in the deepest part of the space, he saw an even more distant place. Finally, he found what he was looking for. Lin Moyu suddenly felt a creepy feeling. Lin Moyu's vision spanned thousands of light years and saw several other spewing points in the dark void. There are human cultivators at the nine eruption points. Outside the spewing point, there are starry sky beasts approaching. Behemoths in the starry sky come from all directions, and they want to surround all spray points. They move in such an orderly manner, just like an army. After some searching, Lin Moyu saw the commander. He had a creepy feeling. 
In the center of the dark void, a giant starry beast with a length of tens of thousands of kilometers is crawling there. Its head was as sharp as an arrow, its body was covered in scales, its claws flashed with cold light, and its tail was like a whip, swaying unconsciously in the starry sky. The random shaking directly shattered the space. Lin Moyu's first reaction was that this was a starry sky beast from the other side. Although the behemoths in the starry sky in the beyond realm are not common, they are still there. For example, the giant 060 tree in the starry sky is the other shore realm. And it was born with the laws of space, so even Holy Lord Hal couldn't kill it easily. This pointed headed starry sky beast is covered in black gas. It has obviously been infiltrated by the power of darkness and has become a slave of the power of darkness. What made Lin Moyu's hair stand on end was not the beast from the other side, but the guy on its head. It was a guy who looked somewhat similar to the human race, but behind him, he also had a slender tail. His head is slightly pointed and long, somewhat similar to the starry sky beast sitting down. Wearing a bronze coat, there is an unsheathed sword beside him. Ancient Invaders, a strong man from the world of black blood. Lin Moyu's heart was rolling like a turbulent wave. He had seen powerful men from the black blood realm before, but he didn't know their true identities at that time. Song thought he was choosing an ancient, strong man. Their power frightened Lin Moyu. Manipulating power that does not belong to the big world, it can cause great harm to the creatures in the big world. I thought that they all died in that battle, but I didn't expect that there were no survivors. To be able to survive from that era to now, even the Holy Lord cannot stop such a person. Lin Moyu instinctively felt terrible, but when he thought about it, it seemed impossible. The war in ancient times has ended. If he was really a survivor at that time, why didn't these come out? In this world, on the surface, no one should be his opponent. Lin Moyu observed carefully, and the colorful water gave him unimaginable vision. After some observation, he determined that there must be something wrong with the other party. As for what the problem is, I can't tell, but it will definitely not be as powerful as in ancient times. Otherwise, he would have come out long ago to dominate and bring blessings. Now these starry sky behemoths are obviously controlled by the other party with the purpose of killing the gods of various races in the gushing land. For the black blood world, no matter which race in the world is their enemy. They don't care about the antagonistic relationship between various races in the big world. As long as they are people from the big world, they only have one word, kill. He controlled so many starry sky beasts in order to kill the god lord. Could it be that killing the god lord would do him any good? The world of black blood, the power of darkness, the power of blood, can you say? Lin Moyu had a bad guess in his mind. This guy from the world of black blood, who has survived since ancient times, may need to use the blood of the god to recover. Lin Moyu instinctively came up with an idea, he can't be allowed to succeed. But he immediately suppressed this idea, knowing that it was impossible to do it with his own abilities. He even said that he couldn't save the other human gods in the gushing land. There is no human emperor network here, so we can't notify them as soon as possible. If Lin Moyu wants to return, he must at least lead close to Yu Feng and others. Looking at the starry sky beast approaching, Lin Moyu vibrated the wings of the undead, flew directly to another ancient well of ancestral water, stretched out his hand and pressed it. The ancient well of ancestral water shook and a colorful water dragon exactly like before appeared in the soul world. Based on the previous experience, this time Lin Moyu's soul rushed over with the natural disaster scepter. The natural disaster scepter flapped again and again, scattering the colorful water dragons. In just a few minutes, Lin Moyu once again obtained an ancient well of ancestral water. After looking at the remaining Zushue ancient wells, Lin Moyu wanted to take a few more, but it was too late. If he takes one more mouthful, he is already pulling chestnuts out of the fire, which is very dangerous. The black tide surged again, pushing Lin Moyu far away. Lin Moyu shook the wings of the undead and moved along with the black tide. The surging force of the black tide was so great that it set off huge waves in the space. 
A majestic force pushed him and pushed him away from the deep space. Lin Moyu didn't resist and just went with the flow. He was pushed out like a colorful water. The third round of eruption of colorful water, this time the amount is relatively small, only five drops, plus one Lin Moyu. It's Lin Moyu, he's out. Do it, don't let him go. Kill him. The gods of the Golden Eagle clan and the Demon clan took action at the same time, wanting to kill Lin Moyu. Yu Chengfeng and others came to protect Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu snorted, I don't have time to play with you. In an instant, white light flashed in the starry sky, and countless gods appeared. The skeleton gods are densely packed and occupy a large space. Lin Moyu summoned 100,000 skeleton god generals in one breath, not only blocking the attacks directed at him, but also completing the counter-encirclement of other gods in an instant. All the gods were shocked by the scene, with disbelief in their eyes. How come there are so many? One hundred thousand puppets, and they are all gods. Did he get some ancient inheritance? How could there be so many god puppets? The skeleton god general took action at the same time, and for a moment the sword energy flew into chaos, and the sounds of angry shouts and screams could be heard endlessly. The high-level god took action, with a trace of power of rules, and instantly killed hundreds of skeleton god generals. But not only are the skeleton god generals so numerous that they are despairing, but they can also be resurrected five times on the spot, making it impossible to kill them all. If Lin Moyu is willing, he can accompany them to fight until the end of time to see who dies of exhaustion first. Lin Moyu rushed to Yu Qingfeng's side and shouted, Quickly leave! Yu Qingfeng understood this and immediately threw out a battleship and shouted, Let's go! Everyone entered the battleship and turned into a stream of light and flew towards the distance. The gods of all races were surrounded by skeleton gods. They could only watch Lin Moyu and others go away, unable to stop them. Yu Qingfeng used the power of a high-level god, which contained a rudiment of the power of rules, to drive his battleship with all his strength. Although it was only a low-level battleship in the divine realm, under the full force of Yu Qingfeng, it fired 2.4 at an astonishing speed in a short period of time, which was no slower than a medium-level battleship. Soon, they were far away from the gushing land. Lin Moyu suddenly said, change the direction, fly in the direction I told you, and unload 30 degrees to the left. Lin Moyu's tone was slightly serious, not like he was discussing, but like he was giving instructions. Yu Qingfeng didn't feel any displeasure and immediately flew in the direction Lin Moyu said. Lin Moyu kept staring at the starry sky outside the battleship. The starry sky here was also illuminated by the colorful water, and he could see into the distance. But Lin Moyu could see further. The effect of the colorful water was still in his eyes and had not disappeared yet. He stared at the stars without blinking. Yu Qingfeng and others didn't know what Lin Moyu was looking at, but they didn't ask anything. After flying some distance, Lin Moyu suddenly said, Let the battleship glide by itself, close all the formations, and do your best to gather the breath. Although Lin Moyu's words sound a bit incredible. But Yu Qingfeng and others still followed suit. Lin Moyu didn't know what Mrs. Yu said to them, but from this we can see that Mrs. Yu's status in the Yu family is unshakable. The execution and unity of the Yu family are also extremely amazing. Only if all the major families and members of the human race are like this, can the human race regain its peak amidst all the failures. The formation stopped, and the gods restrained all their auras. At this moment, their breath almost completely disappeared, their hearts no longer beat, and their blood flow stopped flowing, just like dead people. The battleship suddenly turned into a ghost ship, unable to feel any life. It's like an abandoned piece of garbage floating in the starry sky. There are countless rubbish like this in the dark void. Time passed by, and Lin Moyu still looked outside the battleship without saying a word. As gods, Yu Qingfeng and others have lived for thousands of years. What they lack most is patience. They are not anxious at all, and they do not ask questions. After more than ten minutes, Yu Shenzhong seemed to see something, and his eyes flashed with strange colors. 
The blood that had stopped flowing seemed to be moving again. Yu Feng looked over for the first time, and the deity immediately restrained his breath. Outside the battleship, huge figures flew past. They come in different shapes, ranging from several thousand meters in size to tens of thousands of meters in size, or even 100,000 meters in size. Each of them is a giant beast in the starry sky, and the number is astonishing. There are thousands of them just as far as the eye can see, and there are probably thousands more that have not been seen. The weakest among them is the first-level god, and the strongest is the high-level god. The giant beasts in the starry sky that are in the realm of gods are flying in the starry sky like a terrifying army. They flew by about 1,000 kilometers away from the battleship, without any sign of the battleship's presence, until they disappeared into the darkness. Yu Feng looked at the direction in which these starry sky beasts were going away, and then suddenly realized something. If he hadn't changed direction just now, he would have crashed directly into these starry sky beasts. Facing thousands of god-level starry sky beasts, he had no confidence that he could escape. Even if he could escape, the other deities of the Yu family would most likely die. Several deities looked at each other and looked at each other. They obviously understood why Lin Moyu did this. After waiting for a few more minutes, the starry sky beasts were completely far away, and Lin Moyu said, Okay, thank you seniors for your cooperation. Seeing Lin Moyu say this, Yu Feng and others finally breathed a sigh of relief. Yu Feng looked confused, Mr. Lin, what's going on? Lin Moyu said, Someone has controlled the starry sky beast with the power of darkness and wants to kill all the gods in the gushing ground. Yu Qingfeng's expression changed slightly, Mr. Lin is talking about all the gushing places? Lin Moyu nodded slightly, confirming what John Qingfeng said. In every gushing land, there are human gods. If these behemoths in the starry sky wipe out all the gods in various gushing places, many people will probably die. Yu Qingfeng was a little anxious, but helpless. Lin Moyu said, I can only wish them good luck and wish themselves well. Yu Qingfeng sighed. They were lucky to be able to escape. It was almost impossible to save others. The Human Emperor Network cannot reach here. Even if they notify the Human Emperor Network, it may be too late when the powerful people from the other side arrive. As Lin Moyu said, it just depends on their luck. If you are lucky enough, you may have a chance of survival. But such an opportunity, Tian Fenmeng, Yu Qingfeng looked solemn, Mr. Lin, you seem to have summoned a hundred thousand god-level puppets before. With these puppets, we should be able to compete with the starry sky beasts. In fact, we don't have to escape. Lin Moyu shook his head, the reason why I chose to retreat was not because of these starry sky beasts, but because of the guy who commanded the starry sky beasts behind the scenes. The guy who commanded the starry sky beast, Yu Feng, looked even more solemn. He had already guessed what level of existence the other party was. That is an existence on the same level as my ancestor. If you mess with that kind of guy, you will definitely die. So Lin Moyu wanted to escape and didn't dare to stay for a moment. Yu Feng sighed slightly, it's a pity that those puppets, the puppets of the divine realm, will all be wasted. It's okay, as long as I can escape. Lin Moyu didn't look distressed at all, but he didn't explain that it was not a puppet, but his own summons. Suddenly, Lin Moyu felt uneasy in his heart, and the hair on his body stood on end. His body froze, feeling like he was being watched. The light of the multicolored water flashed in his eyes, and the effect of the multicolored water continued. His gaze penetrated the battleship, crossed the void, and looked to a distant place. In the middle of the dark void, the terrifying beast from the other side was looking towards him at the moment. The sharp head, the huge eyes like black jade, the eyes are filled with terrifying red light, and countless bloodlines are entangled in them. The bloodline Lin Moyu is very familiar with. It is the bloodline of the black blood world, which exudes fatal power. The two face each other across an infinite distance. Lin Moyu even saw his own reflection in its jet black eyes. When you stare at death, death stares at you. There is no reason, Lin Moyu thought of such a sentence. 
Then he saw the blood in the giant beast's eyes pulsing, converging into a terrifying minister. Die. His head was roaring, the soul world was thundering and lightning, and the terrifying attack spanned tens of thousands of light years and came directly. The attack on the other side is extremely terrifying, just like the palm of the ancient Buddha back then. There are still traces of the ancient Buddha's palm, but the current attack is invisible and incomprehensible. Lin Moyu didn't know what the rules were, he only knew that he was facing a life and death crisis. The soul world is deformed and is under terrifying pressure, as if it is about to collapse at any time. Lin Moyu was shocked, he was the soul of the other side realm 487, and the opponent's attack was actually so strong. A drop of colorful water flew out from the ancient well of ancestral water and exploded in the soul world, like rain falling. The soul world stabilized instantly. Thousands of colors rose up in the soul world, and they were colorful, blocking the invisible attack. Lin Moyu felt that after the blow, the connection between the opponent and himself was weakening. With such a distance, even the other side realm could not attack him at any time. The picture of the giant beast quickly became blurry and was about to disappear. At the last moment, its eyes glowed red again, and its mouth opened slightly, seeming to let out a roar. Lin Moyu felt something bad in his heart and shouted in a low voice, Be careful! Yu Qingfeng also sensed something was wrong and shouted sternly, Be careful, defend! In an instant, the battleship's defenses were fully activated, shining brightly in the starry sky. A huge sharp claw suddenly appeared in front of the battleship and struck the battleship heavily. Boom! The battleship's defense was torn apart like paper and exploded on the spot. Yu Qingfeng and others were thrown out of the battleship in great embarrassment and flew hundreds of thousands of kilometers in the air before they could barely stabilize themselves. Fortunately, a battleship took the brunt and blocked most of the attacks, and they did not die. Yu Qingfeng was a little scared, this is the power of the other side realm, it's too terrifying. Several rays of white light flew over and fell on him. In the attack just now, several gods were more or less injured. Lin Moyu relied on his own talent to transfer all damage to the undead army. Many of the undead army died, but he himself was not injured. He unleashed the life force of the immortal law, and several gods treated his injuries. Yu Qingfeng asked anxiously, what happened just now? Before Lin Moyu could explain, he suddenly looked into the distance and said, they are coming. Just now, not only were the behemoths from the other shore realm attacking him, but hundreds of behemoths from the starry sky turned around and chased him and others. The expressions of several deities changed slightly, and one of them took out a brand new battleship. This battleship is slightly worse than Yu Qingfeng's, but it is still in the realm of a god after all, and its speed is not slow. Yu Qingfeng said, let's go. Lin Moyu whispered, wait for me. As he spoke, he took out the soul-shooting bow, and a drop of colorful water flew out and landed on the soul-shooting bow. At the same time, he poured all his soul power into it and condensed it into a purple soul. Lin Moyu did not use the original magic technique for fear of causing some bad reactions. With the existence of multicolored water, there is actually not much difference whether or not the original magic is used. The colorful water amplified his soul power a thousand times, and the purple soul arrow became extremely long. Lightning flashes appeared on the purple soul arrows, and the space around the soul arrows shattered and collapsed. Yu Qingfeng and others looked at this scene in shock. Yu Qingfeng felt that this soul arrow was enough to kill him. At the same time, he was also shocked by Lin Moyu's generosity. How precious the multicolored water is, if nothing else, you can tell, just by looking at the deities fighting for it. It's a material from the other side realm, but Lin Moyu just used it. Using colorful water to increase one's attack is really too extravagant. But he also realized another thing, and his heart was shocked, Mr. Lin, you got that well. Just as he was shocked, the arrow flew out. The purple soul arrow, carrying thunder and lightning, instantly penetrated the space and disappeared without a trace. Lin Moyu didn't even look at the result, turned around and got into the battleship, let's go. 
This arrow was given to the giant beast from the other side. Under the attack just now, his bone hell was broken. Although they were far apart, the bone hell still left a mark on the opponent. This arrow is just like that, going to the predetermined place. Lin Moyu didn't know if his attack would be effective, but he had to attack anyway. He is not the kind of person who doesn't fight back when he is beaten. Sometimes he has no way to fight back and can only keep accounts first. When you can fight back, you will never be soft. Like the palm of an ancient Buddha, Lin Moyu firmly remembers that sooner or later he will go to the Buddhist tribe. The warship started up, and the god lord urged the warship with all his strength to fly towards the distance. In the center of the dark void, in front of the giant beast's head, the space suddenly shattered, and a ray of purple light flew out and swished into its head. Ouch! A sharp cry resounded through the starry sky. The huge beast's eyes showed pain, and its whole body trembled. After a few breaths, its eyes emitted a fierce light, reflecting Lin Moyu's appearance. Lin Moyu was shrouded in blood, and the giant beast seemed to want to kill Lin Moyu. At this time, the man sitting on top of it whispered, getting down to business. The giant beast trembled violently and finally became quiet. It did not dare to disobey this man's orders. In the gushing ground, many skeleton gods were killed and injured, and the dead skeleton gods disappeared without a trace, leaving no traces in the starry sky. They were all taken back by Lin Moyu and resurrected in the soul world. Although he could be summoned again, Lin Moyu didn't want to just let the skeleton god die. During the war, many gods of various races were killed and injured. There were originally over a hundred gods, but now there are less than five thousand left. There were more than twenty dead gods, and more than thirty people left at the beginning of the battle. They had no grudges against Lin Moyo and did not want to offend the human race, so they left this place of right and wrong early in the morning. Suddenly, the remaining skeleton gods disappeared in large numbers, and in a blink of an eye, only a few were still fighting. Soon, these skeleton god generals were also killed and disappeared into the starry sky. In the land of Gushing, in the blink of an eye, only some gods from the Demon Clan, the Golden Eagle Clan, the Buddha Clan, and a dozen or so scattered people were left. What happened? Why are you all leaving? These puppets can actually be recovered remotely. What kind of puppet is this? It is not only large in number and powerful in combat, but can also be recovered remotely. With these puppets around, it might not be easy to kill Lin Moyu. The gods whispered. Although the demon tribe and the golden eagle tribe became comrades in arms for a short time, they were still wary of each other at this moment. After all, the two tribes had never dealt with each other and had a lot of hatred for each other. Of course, it cannot be compared with the hatred between human races, which are real enemies of life and death. Among the Buddhists, several Buddhas had sullen faces and looked very ugly. In the battle just now, two of their six Buddhas died. Compared to the two Golden Eagle Demon Clan, the number of people who died was relatively small, but they only had seven people in total. Among them, the Golden Buddha was killed by Lin Moyu, and now two more have died, resulting in heavy losses. Amitba. The Forbidden Buddha proclaimed the Buddha's name, take the bodies of the two junior brothers, and bring them to the paradise for burial. He looked around. For some reason, he felt uneasy, as if something bad was going to happen. At this time, he noticed the expressions of several other high-level gods. They all frowned, and seemed to feel something was wrong. The god's senses are very keen and he has some sense of danger. Especially after reaching high-level gods, the soul becomes stronger and the induction becomes stronger. This uneasy feeling made the Buddha want to leave here immediately. But the eruption of the colorful water is not over yet, and there will be several rounds of eruptions to follow. If you leave now, you will give up the colorful water, to go or not to go? After the corpse was restrained, the Buddha also made a decision and said in a low voice, Let's go. Several Buddhas were stunned for a moment, Can't we fight for the colorful water? The forbidden Buddha shook his head and said, No more arguing. The uneasiness in his heart suddenly increased sharply, and the Buddha's face changed greatly, single. 
At this time, the other high-level gods suddenly shouted in unison, run away. The feeling of uneasiness rose to the extreme at this moment, far more than when he faced a hundred thousand skeleton generals before. But it was still a step too late, and there were black shadows in all directions. Giant beasts in the starry sky covered the sky and the sun, surrounding them. The terrifying aura shook the starry sky, and the space continued to distort. With the roar of the starry sky beast, the space collapsed. The faces of the people there were extremely ugly, and they knew they were in big trouble. The forbidden Buddha's face was extremely gloomy, Lin Moyu found out early in the morning, so he left. Now he finally wanted to understand why Lin Moyu left so decisively without looking back. It turned out that he had known for a long time that facing so many god-level starry sky beasts, it would be useless no matter how many puppets he had. Among these giant beasts in the starry sky, there are dozens of high-level beasts alone. The Forbidden Buddha once again pronounced the name of the Buddha, Junior Brothers, follow me to break through the encirclement. As he spoke, he took out a string of Buddhist beads and threw them into the starry sky. Please honor the ancient Buddha Dayan. Several other high-level gods also used their trump cards to break out of the encirclement. A more fierce battle suddenly broke out. The same thing is happening in other gushing places. Lin Moyu seemed to smell the smell of blood. In the dark void, under the black tide, many gods were about to bleed. Lin Moyu sighed slightly in his heart, his manpower will eventually be exhausted. Unless he has reached the other side, it may be possible to save the human gods elsewhere. But now he is just a god king, with more than enough ambition, but not enough power. Yu Feng came to Lin Moyu, and his expression was a little solemn, counting the time, those starry sky beasts should have arrived. Lin Moyu said softly, they should have arrived, wish them good luck, they can do nothing but bless. In other gushing lands, there are many human gods, including Yu Qingfeng's friends. Yu Qingfeng was in a lower mood than Lin Moyu at the moment. However, as a high-level god, Yu Qingfeng has a firm mind and will not suffer from the cold. He also knew that he was lucky this time and happened to meet Lin Moyu. Otherwise, they will also be besieged by the giant beasts in the starry sky, and they may be killed among them. After all, it was Lin Moyu who saved them. Yu Qingfeng asked, Mr. Lin should have gained something, right? Lin Moyu did not deny it, yes. Yu Qingfeng showed a happy face, Mr. Lin is very capable, please contact the ancestor immediately after returning. The two of them seemed to be in a daze, and no one else could understand the content except them. The rules of the Yu family are very strict, and although other gods are a little curious, they will not come to inquire. If you don't understand, then practice hard. Once you reach a higher level, you will naturally understand. For 13, Mrs. Jade also often tells them that if they want to know more, then go to a higher realm. Otherwise, you will be deaf and blind for the rest of your life. The battleship flew at the fastest speed in the starry sky, covering a distance of more than 100 light years. In just two days, they returned to the human territory. Seeing the star field teleportation array again and feeling the majestic power of the human emperor's network, Yu Qingfeng immediately took out an array disk to activate it. The formation plate guided more of the human emperor's network power and at the same time, the figure of Madame Jade was projected in the jade plate. Mrs. Yu saw Lin Moyu and Yu Qingfeng through the projection, showing a trace of doubt, little friend Lin, why are you back so soon? She has experienced the black tide and knows that the black tide is not over yet. Now that they are returning early, something must have happened. Lin Moyu got straight to the point, I've seen Mrs. Yu. May I ask if Saint Hao is here? This matter is too big. Talking to Madame Yu is not enough. We need to go to Holy Lord Hao directly. Mrs. Yu seemed to sense the seriousness of the matter from Lin Moyu's tone, and immediately said, I will contact Saint Hao right now. Don't move here. Saint Hao will be here in a moment. The battleship stopped, motionless in the starry sky. This is the territory of the human race and the star field level teleportation array is not far away. It is very safe here. After waiting for only a minute, Wu Xingzuan did not come. 
Instead, the starry sky beast that had been chasing them arrived first. All of a sudden, there was a loud siren sound and thunder and lightning in the sky. One after another, powerful warships came rapidly from all directions, killing the giant beast in the starry sky. At the same time, many gods flew out from the stars and killed them at the same time. The human race moves very quickly and will not give the starry sky beast a chance to get close. Yu Qingfeng said, Leave this to Mr. Lin, let's go out and kill the enemy. Good. The seven gods of the Yu family rushed out of the battleship at the same time. Only Lin Moyu remained motionless in the battleship. The starry sky beast was infected by the power of darkness and had long lost its sanity. The order they received was to destroy the battleship and eliminate the people in the battleship. He doesn't care at all if he breaks into the human race's territory. The human warships launched attacks at the same time, firing out lightning-like attacks one after another, causing the starry sky beast to scream in agony. There are more than a million defenders here, and there are hundreds of divine-level battleships alone. This is not a small battleship used by the gods to travel, but a giant battleship that truly possesses the combat power of the gods. Every battleship is fully equipped with firepower and can rival the gods. Moreover, there are hundreds of deities here, and there are more than ten high-level deities. Dealing with these starry behemoths is no problem. The battle was fierce, and Lin Moyu waited quietly in the battleship. In the projection of the formation, Madame Yu appeared again, little friend Lin, Xingzu and Wu has already arrived and should be here soon. What happened this time? Lin Moyu said, when the holy lords arrive, let me tell you that some of the holy lords may die this time in our human race. The god is a precious power to any race, J. Occasionally, one or two people die, and the problem is not enough. For a powerful race like the human race, even if a dozen gods die, it won't be a serious injury. But what Lin Moyu was talking about was to kill some gods, and the number would probably not be small. Mrs. Yu said in a deep voice, it seems that the matter is very serious. Is there a change in the dark void? Yes, a change did occur, and it can also be considered a premeditated change. Do you know the black blood realm? Madame Yu trembled violently, and her calm face suddenly lost its color. As expected, Lin Moyu had already guessed from Mrs. Yu's performance that she really knew the world of black blood. As for how much is known, it is not clear. She probably doesn't know as much as Saint Hao. Xingzu and Wu once said that there are some things that only those who have reached the level of Saint Hao can come into contact with. That's why I went to see Holy Lord Hao directly this time. Mrs. Yu's expression has become very solemn, it seems that this matter is really not a trivial matter. When the Holy Lord arrives, you can tell him in detail. In the starry sky, the battle is no longer going on. There are many starry sky beasts, but the human race is equally powerful. Gradually, the balance of the battle has tilted towards the human race, and victory is only a matter of time. Five minutes later, the space outside the battleship was distorted, and a figure appeared out of thin air. Holy Lord Hao arrived, but what arrived was not his true body, but his clone. The main body is still in the Divine City, and it won't come so quickly. Wu Xingzuan has clones in various star regions of the human race. As long as it is not a big deal, the clones can handle it. Lin Moyu saluted to Xingzuan Wu, I have met Xingzuan Hao. Saint Hao grunted, tell me, what happened? Lin Moyu said, you should know that the power of darkness in the dark void actually comes from the black blood thought. What even Madame Yu knew, Wu Xingzuan naturally knew too. Lin Moyu continued, the Black Blood Realm invaded in ancient times, and there are survivors among them. What? Saint Hao looked shocked. At the other end of the formation, Madame Jade once again turned pale. How strong must be the survivors who have lived from ancient times to the present? At this time, even Wu Xingzuan could not remain calm, explain in detail. Lin Moyu quickly told what he saw. After Wu Xingzuan listened, he did not answer, but said, I will deal with those guys outside first. As he spoke, he flashed and appeared on the battlefield. 
A majestic power swept out, Lin Moyu felt the power of the rules and faintly saw a rune. One after another, the giant beasts in the starry sky exploded and died. The Holy Lord took action, even if it was just a clone, the battle was resolved with a single movement. Lin Moyu finally saw that the gap between Shinzuan and the other shore was terrifyingly huge. Saint Hao returned to the battleship and said, Follow me. Saint Hao led Lin Moyu to fly rapidly in the starry sky. The speed of the Holy Lord is too fast, even if it is just the speed of the clone, it is ridiculously fast. Almost in the blink of an eye, it has exceeded ten light years and rushed into the dark void. The power of darkness seems to have no effect on the Holy Lord, and he can still see the distant world. Saint Hao asked, How did you discover him at that time? Lin Moyun naturally knew who the Holy Master was asking, and immediately took out a drop of colorful water, split it into two, and drop it into the eyes. Luxury! Wu Xingzuan snorted lightly, but still took the water of ten thousand colors and divided it into two parts, dripping it into his left and right eyes. After dripping into the colorful water, Wu Xingzuan's eyes suddenly shot out two rays of light. The light contains all kinds of colors, breaking through the dark void and reaching infinitely distant places. One of the functions of colorful water is increase. Anything can be augmented. Whether it is laws, rules, soul power, runes, eyesight, or physical strength, they can all be increased. The rate of increase is huge, often hundreds of times. The specific amount of increase varies from person to person. This is similar to the power of faith, but as long as the quantity is sufficient, the power of faith can increase infinitely, which is impossible with colorful water. However, the power of faith can only increase attack and defense. If you want to enhance your eyesight, that is impossible. Generally speaking, both have their own advantages and disadvantages, and each has its uses. With the help of the colorful water, Xingzuan finally saw the picture of history in the dark void, but at this moment, the center of the dark void has changed. Wu Xingzuan's expression also became solemn, this guy is devouring blood. After hearing this, Lin Moyu took out another drop of colorful water and threw it directly into his eyes. The next second, he also saw it. In the center of the dark void, there was still that giant beast. It is motionless, and has not changed position from the beginning to now. Together with the ancient invader sitting above it, they were also motionless. But the surroundings became different. They were surrounded by a touch of blood. There is countless blood in the void, flying from all directions, turning into blood lines, flying into the body of the ancient invader. The ancient invader's body was covered with blood lines and looked a little oozing. Lin Moyu saw that he was absorbing the power in the bloodline. If I guessed correctly, he should have been injured and is being treated for his injuries at the moment. Lin Moyu expressed his opinion. Wu Xingzuan hummed but didn't say anything. He was still observing. At this time, Lin Moyu looked at the other gushing grounds and let out a sigh. There are a large number of corpses floating in every spouting ground. These are the corpses of gods. The bodies of gods from all races were beaten into mud, and all their blood was drained and absorbed by the ancient invaders. But among them, there are not many corpses of human gods. It wouldn't be surprising if a gushing land was like this. But every gushing ground is like this, so something is wrong. Lin Moyu couldn't help but look strange, our gods are all out. What do you think? Suddenly a voice came. And Lin Moyu turned his head sharply and saw a burly man standing only a hundred meters away from him. Lin Moyu was suddenly shocked. There was someone beside him, and he was so close, and he didn't even know it. This person's strength is too terrifying. Wu Xingzuan whispered, his name is Lao Sha, one of the human race's saints. It's no wonder he is the Holy Lord. Lin Moyu saluted the Killer Lord, this junior has seen the Killer Lord. Lord Killer waved his hand, don't be so polite. If you have anything to say in the future, just say it directly, don't come and go. I don't like this. I have basically saved all the gods in the eruption land. A few of them died. I can only say that they were unlucky. 
He spoke carelessly and his voice was thick, giving people an invisible sense of oppression. The Holy Lord is worthy of being a Holy Lord. He was able to rescue them all from such a long distance and in such a short time. Lin Moyu sighed in his heart that the Holy Lord was able to play beyond his imagination. Wu Xingzuan said slowly, this guy controls the laws of shadow. In the dark void, his movement speed is comparable to the laws of space. Lin Moyu suddenly realized that it was actually a shadow rule. The predecessor of the shadow rules is the shadow rules, which is also the rule that the shadow clan is best at. The Shadow Clan can hide in the darkness and become a troublesome assassin for all clans. The root of this is the Law of Shadow. Unexpectedly, there are also masters of the Shadow Law in the human race, and they have reached the level of the Holy Lord and sublimated the Law into rules. The Dark Void is dark, and in addition to darkness, it is also filled with Shadow Rules. It is indeed a paradise for killing saints. The saint killer grinned, revealing his white teeth, which looked a little penetrating in the darkness. You kid can do it. I killed the golden Buddha before and almost killed the Vidra Buddha too. It's really good. When we were trying to grab the water of ten thousand colors, the idiot demon clan and the god of the shadow demon killed him as soon as he was told. It was neat and clean. I like it. Please give me flowers. But it doesn't seem to matter if you rely on puppets, your own strength is also important. You can't always rely on puppets. Sha Xingzuan kept talking. First, he praised Lin Moyu, not stingy at all, and finally talked about Lin Moyu's shortcomings. Lin Moyu feels very good about this straightforward character. Just as Lin Moyu was about to explain, another voice sounded from the darkness, the skeleton is not Lin Xiaoyo's puppet. This is his magic, the summoning magic. This time the god of war was shocked. His shock was exaggerated. His eyes widened and his mouth opened, but it made people feel that it was not artificial at all. Lin Moyu did not look at the god of war, but looked at the dark void. There, another Wu Xingzuan came over, and together with Wu Xingzuan, there was also a man whose whole body was glowing with golden light, as bright as a star. The two saints held merged with each other, and Saint Wu's true body arrived, and the avatar naturally merged with the true body. The current Saint Wu is the real saint, and he can fully display the five aspects of the saint. Wu Xingzuan introduced to Lin Moyu, this is Tian Xingzuan and the Lord of the Divine City. Lin Moyu didn't know how many times he had heard the name Lord of the Divine City. That is the person most admired by countless human races. There is almost no human race who does not know the existence of the Lord of the Divine City. Everyone's dream is to enter the Divine City. If you ask them who they want to see the most after entering the Divine City, then the answer in all likelihood is the Lord of the Divine City. The Lord of the Divine City represents the supreme, powerful, and mysterious among the human race. Because Lin Moyu was not born in the big world, he was not much influenced by the big world. On the contrary, he did not show much performance. If it were anyone from the big world, even a god, I don't know how excited he would be at this moment. Lin Moyu saluted Tian Xingzun, this junior has met Tian Xingzun. Before Lord Tian could speak, Lord Killer had already spoken, you're here again, why are you being so polite to this big lantern? Tian Xingzun looked at Sha Shenzhen with a half-smile, old Sha, your skin has grown again, haven't you? Saint Killer laughed, why, you want to hit me? Don't forget where this is, I'm not afraid of you here. Tian Xingzuan laughed and said nothing. Lin Moyu clearly felt that he felt guilty about killing the Holy Lord. Obviously, this guy can't beat Tian Xingzuan. There is also a difference in strength between the Holy Lord and the Holy Lord. Saint Hao finally withdrew his gaze, that guy must have been seriously injured, and his strength is very low. Now is the best chance to catch him. When it came to business, Killer Lord also became serious. If he can survive from ancient times to the present, he must have transcended the other side. Even if he is severely injured and his strength is non-existent, we must still be careful. Tian Xingzuan said, We have prepared the colorful water. 
As long as the battle is resolved in a short time, there will be no problem. Saint Hell looked thoughtful. It would be safer if we could wait a few more years for Saint Fu's realm to be fixed and create ancient talismans from it. The killing saint shook his head slightly, I can't wait any longer. He has regained some strength this time by absorbing the blood of the god. If we wait a few more years and his strength recovers, it will be difficult for us to deal with him. The guy in the black blood world has many secret techniques. Even if he can't defeat him, it will be difficult for us to defeat him if he wants to. Here, I can still contain him. If I leave the dark void, I'm afraid I won't be able to suppress him. 267 If he goes crazy, breaks into the territory of the human race, and swallows the blood of the human race, he will be in big trouble. Shaoxingzuan has both coarse and fine details, and analyzes things clearly and logically. Wu Xingzuan sighed softly, well, I have thirty drops of colorful water here, and each of us has ten drops. I hope it will be enough. Saint Hao took out three bottles, each containing ten drops of colorful water. But looking at him, he seemed a little distressed. This was the first time Lin Moyu saw Wu Xingzuan with such an expression. He felt sorry for the water of ten thousand colors, no matter what kind of treasure he didn't have. Every time the black tide appears, the human race can get at least twenty drops of colorful water. After so many years of accumulation, there should be quite a lot. It seems that the level of Wan Kai has been being consumed, otherwise Saint Hao would not have such an expression. Lin Moyu interjected, Three holy lords, I actually have the water of ten thousand colors. The three of them looked at Lin Moyu at the same time, and then their eyes widened. The expressions of the three are all exaggerated, and the most exaggerated one is the killer lord. With his exaggerated expression, Saint Killer murmured, My dear, did you really get this thing? I thought you got some colorful water after you went in. Saint Hao's eyes were complicated, how did you do it? That water dragon is difficult to deal with. Lin Moyu held the Zushue ancient well with one hand, fortunately, I killed it. Tian Xingzuan looked at Lin Moyu with admiration, what we didn't do when we were young, we didn't expect you to do. Yes, it's really good. Lin Moyu pushed the ancient well of Zhu Shui over, with it, you won't have to worry about not having enough water of all colors. He can condense a drop of water of all colors every ten days. One drop every ten days is more than thirty drops a year. In the past, they had to wait for the black tide and the income from Wankai water was very unstable, but now it has become a stable income. A little adds up to a big difference, and the gap is huge. The three saints looked at each other, but neither of them took the ancestral water and opened it. Saint Hao said, This well belongs to you. We can't take it. Just give us some of the colorful water. Lin Moyu can see that the saints actually need the water of many colors but they still didn't want to take their ancestral water ancient well. This sentiment alone corresponds to the status of their holy lord. Although Lin Moyu met Sha Xingzuan and Tian Xingzuan for the first time, he felt like old friends at first sight. Especially when they looked at him, they looked at him like a junior of the human race. That feeling reminded him of Bai Yuan and others in the past. Bai Yuan and others also treated themselves with such sincerity at the beginning. If a person treats himself sincerely, he should also treat others sincerely. Lin Moyu took out the second ancestral water ancient well and said, Three seniors, please keep it, I have another one here. The three of them stared wide-eyed again, and Saint Killer's voice trembled, Where did you come from, and why do you still have one mouthful? Lin Moyu said, It turned out that I wanted to take a few more bites but it was too late. If I hadn't left at that time, I might not have been able to leave. Saint Killer said, I'm here, how could you not be here? Wu Xingzuan and Tian Xingzuan looked at him like an idiot. You didn't say where you were, how could anyone know? If you had said it early, maybe Lin Moyu could get a few more ancient wells, and then the human race would have endless amounts of colorful water. The look in their eyes said, it's all your fault, why didn't you come out earlier? The saint killer looked innocent and regretful at the same time, if I had known earlier, I wish I had spoken out earlier. 
Wu Xingzuan was not polite at the moment, if this is the case, then we won't be polite. He reached out and took over the Wanchue ancient well. Lin Moyu also removed the imprint of his soul, while Wu Xingzuan used his soul to imprint the Zushue ancient well. During this process, Wu Xingzuan's body trembled slightly and his eyes were tightly closed. An invisible pressure from the Holy Lord filled the starry sky. It lasted for a full minute before it dispersed. Wu Xingzuan successfully eliminated the Wankai water dragon. This ancient well of 10,000 waters has since changed its owner and has become the property of Wu Xingzuan and the human race. Lin Moyu was a little confused, Holy Lord, the colorful water dragon is difficult to deal with, but it does not pose a threat to the Holy Lord. Why don't you go get it? Killing the Holy Lord successfully answered, we also want to, but the other side realm cannot enter the deep space unless we can control the rules of the space. Deep space cannot support the power of the Holy Lord. As long as we forcefully enter, it will cause the space to collapse. When the time comes even we will fall into chaos, and life or death will be unpredictable. Tian Xingzuan added, The God Lord is the limit of entering deep space, and it also needs to master the laws of space, or use the props of the laws of space. But it is difficult for the God to deal with the colorful water dragon. We all tried it when we were young, but we all ended in failure. The best time was just a few dozen drops of colorful water. Lin Moyu recalled the process of his fight against the Wankai water dragon, and this was indeed the case. Even with the soul realm that he has reached the other side, coupled with the soul shooting bow, it is difficult to fight against the colorful water dragon. Ordinary gods would be lucky if they encountered immortality. If it weren't for the natural disaster scepter, I would be in big trouble. Therefore, it is really difficult to obtain the ancient well of Zhu Shue. For countless years, so many people of all races have never obtained the ancestral water tongue fat. Lin Moyu thought in his heart that the next time the black tide appears, he can enter the deep space again and get a few more ancient ancestral water 1.0 wells. There really is no such thing as too much good stuff like this. Wu Xingzuan took out several jade bottles and at the same time manipulated the ancient well of ancestral water to take out the colorful water. This time he didn't feel any distress at all and gave a full 100 drops from each bottle. This time he was really full. There are thousands of drops of colorful water in an ancient well, which is enough for a long time, and one drop can be replenished every 10 days. With a sufficient amount of colorful water, Saint Killer was full of momentum, let's go and beat him. Wu Xingzuan looked at Lin Moyu, do you want to go? If we fight, it might be a bit dangerous. Lin Moyu thought for a while, I also want to see the battle between the saints. Tian Xingzuan chuckled and said, it's okay, I'm trying to protect you. Saint Killer laughed loudly and said, what are you waiting for? Let's go. With a wave of his hand, he waved out a ball of pitch black energy that enveloped the four people, and the four people instantly disappeared into the darkness. The rules of shadow have unimaginable uses in the darkness. The four of them were wrapped in the power of the shadow rules, advancing silently and at an astonishing speed. Lin Moyu couldn't understand this way of progress for a while. He only felt that the whole world had become very close. That kind of feeling is like not moving forward, but the distant world actively approaching. It's like if you want to pick up something 100 meters away, but you don't move, the thing comes over on its own, and the earth 100 meters away takes the initiative to shrink. It is not the law of space, but it is like a fish in water in the dark world. Saint Killer clicked his tongue and smiled, my shadow rules are good, right? Darkness is my world. Even the guys from the shadow tribe will kneel down and call me daddy when they see me. Lin Moyu could only respond well, but in fact he couldn't understand it at all. Saint Hao said, rules are actually the sublimation of laws. When you become a high-level god, you can feel them from the galaxy of laws. You remember, the law galaxy is very important, there are no shortcuts. Any kind of shortcut is at the expense of your future. Since ancient times, all those who have taken shortcuts on this step of the galaxy of laws have been unable to reach the other side. 19. The nearest one is Dongfangs in the four-star realm. 
his way forward is cut off. The highest level in this life is the sixth level of God, and he cannot even reach the seventh level. Lin Moyu was suddenly shocked that Dongfangs had cut off his own path. This was something he never expected. No wonder Mr. Lin had such a bad attitude towards him at that time. It seemed that Mr. Lin had already figured out that Dongfang Ze had no future. Dongfangs could obviously become a god, but he forcibly interrupted the baptism of the law galaxy to keep himself in the realm of a minor god. It's like picking up sesame seeds and losing watermelon, because of Xiao Tian. Lin Moyu nodded slightly, I won't do anything stupid like that. Tian Xingzuan said slowly at this time, cultivation has always been one step at a time. Only when each step is solid can we go higher and further. Lin Moyu listened to the experiences of several saints and kept them in mind. The speed of killing the Holy Lord was too fast, no slower than the law of space. In just an hour, he had arrived at the center of the dark void. Arrive! Saint Killer stopped and said, You can't get any closer. If you get closer, it will be detected by it. At this moment, we are still millions of kilometers away from the ancient invaders. A million kilometers is just one step away for the Holy Lord. Here, Lin Moyu could already see the ancient invaders and the giant beast from the other side under him. Tian Xingzuan was covered in golden light, and a ball of light appeared in his hand. The light cluster is like a small star, glowing hotly. After the light group left Tian Xingzun, it gradually became dim, and finally turned into a golden ball. Take it, I'll keep you safe. Tian Xingzun was very confident. Lin Moyu took the golden ball and the three seniors were careful. Wu Xingzun hummed, I'll go first. As he finished speaking, a drop of colorful water was crushed by him and merged with his right palm. Lin Moyu saw an ancient talisman appear on his right palm. In the next step, Saint Health stepped out and suddenly appeared in front of the ancient invader as if teleporting. With one palm shot, the ancient talisman sparkled. Lin Moyu only felt that the entire dark void was trembling because the rules of the starry sky had changed. In the eyes of the soul, Lin Moyu saw that all the law lines in that area were broken. The area covered by ancient symbols has turned into a world of rules. What are the rules of Wu Xingzuan? Lin Moyu murmured, although he had been with Wu Xingzuan for a long time, he still didn't know what kind of rules the Xingzuan controlled. Seemingly hearing Lin Moyu's words, Tian Xingzun smiled and said, he controls the rules of the virtual realm. Virtual realm rules? Lin Moyu's memory was churning, and he immediately thought of a rule. The laws of virtual reality. A kind of law in the first echelon, a strange law that few people master. There is very little information about the laws of the virtual realm, and Lin Moyu does not know the details. But to be ranked in the first echelon, the laws of the virtual realm must not be weak. Saint Hao understands the laws of the virtual realm. When he reaches the other side, the laws of the virtual realm are sublimated into the rules of the virtual realm. How can he not be stronger? The ancient talismans suppressed the world with mighty force, and the rules dispersed other rules. The ancient invader did not move. It was unknown whether he was suppressed or unable to move. However, the beast from the other side beneath him moved. The giant beast roared, its huge body trembled and its eyes shot out two red lights that directly hit the ancient talisman. The ancient talisman sparkled, and after confronting the red light for half a second, it shattered the red light and continued to suppress it. The tail of the giant beast in the other shore realm suddenly pulled out, crossed the starry sky, and hit the tongue. Lin Moyu clearly saw that there was a rich black air on its tail. This blow contains one of extremely powerful darkness. The ancient talisman collided with the tail, and the entire space collapsed on the spot. Space turbulence raged in the starry sky, and the tail of the giant beast from the other side shattered on the spot, dripping with blood, exposing countless bones and flesh. But the ancient talisman also collapsed under the collision. Saint Hao raised his left palm and struck out with one palm. Void Realm, Open Lin Moyu seemed to hear a buzzing sound in his whole head between heaven and earth, 
and he lost consciousness for an instant. This state lasted half a second before recovering. Then he saw the starry sky beast on the other side, its eyes became lifeless, the red light dimmed, as if it was falling into a deep sleep. Tian Xingzuan explained, Holy Saint Hao dragged the other party into the virtual realm. It seems that he is still here, but in fact, he has been separated from reality. The ancient invader who had been sitting on the giant beast finally moved, and a pair of red eyes slowly opened. The moment he opened his eyes, the strong smell of blood filled the starry sky, and the power of darkness suddenly surged. The sharp sword in his hand flew up on its own and struck out towards Wu Xingzuan. A bloody sword energy cut through the starry sky, and the space exploded under the sword energy. From all directions, countless dark forces were crushing towards Wu Xingzuan 917. It's my turn. Tian Xingzuan snorted softly took one step forward, and came first, arriving at the side of Hei Xingzun in an instant. His whole body was covered in golden light, but his light did not spread outwards, but concentrated in front of him. The gold turned into a large golden shield, blocking the bloody sword energy. The golden shield and the bloody sword energy alternately made a violent roar. The sound turned into substance, and the sword energy was immediately bounced back. The ancient invader swung his sword again, and the sword energy that bounced back cancelled each other out. At this time, a black shadow appeared next to him, and a dagger stabbed into his body silently. The saint killer moved, manipulating the rules of shadow, and his actions were silent. Used for assassination, it is even more powerful than the shadow tribe. The dagger pierced the ancient invader's body, making him unable to move forward for a moment. Saint Killer gave a soft drink, and the power of the rules exploded. Amid the violent explosion, Saint Killer flew back and disappeared instantly. A hole the size of a fist was blown out of the wound opened by the dagger. Bloody lines emerged from it, filling the hole in an instant. In the blink of an eye, the hole disappeared and the wound was healed. At this moment, the golden shield was pressed down in the air and the shield was extremely bright, lighting up the void. The power of darkness collapsed under the golden light. The golden shield crushed the space, crushed the power of darkness, and seemed to crush the ancient invaders, together. Looking at this scene, Lin Moyu suddenly thought of another rule. The golden rule, the golden rule also belongs in the first echelon. Likewise, not much is written about the golden rule. It is said that the Golden Rule can be used both offensively and defensively, and has extremely strong defensive power as well as extremely strong offensive power. It is a law that integrates offense and defense. Although it is not as famous as space law, it is still in the first echelon, which is enough to prove its excellence and power. The ancient invader pointed his finger, and the long sword flew out, directly intersecting with the golden shield. In the roar that shook the starry sky, the golden shield exploded on the spot, and the long sword flew back. The two sides fought evenly. Lin Moyu secretly said, sure enough, he was seriously injured and his strength is at a loss. He knew that the realm of the ancient invaders was actually higher than that of the three saints. But because he was seriously injured, he can only compete with the holy lord now. The space is distorted, and the killing saint appears again. This time, his target is the giant beast from the other side. The dagger was poked out, and various colors flashed on the dagger, obviously having consumed the water of ten thousand colors. The giant beast from the other side that was dragged into the virtual realm showed no reaction and was directly stabbed by the dagger. The shadow rules exploded on the dagger and there was also an increase brought by the colorful water. Not only that, Lin Moyu also felt the power of faith, which increased for the second time. There was a loud bang, and the giant beast from the other shore exploded on the spot. The body was torn apart. However, Saint Killer did not stop there. He once again took out a drop of multicolored blessing and placed it on the dagger. He appeared under the giant beast's head and stabbed it with a knife. Boom! The beast's head exploded on the spot. Saint Hao snorted softly, and the starry sky shook again, as if illusion and reality overlapped, the virtual realm disappeared, and the giant beast returned. 
but the giant beast that came back had no body. Lin Moyu saw a lonely soul at a loss in the starry sky. After waiting for a long time, Saint Killer pierced his soul with the dagger. The giant beast in the other shore realm was completely dead. The starry sky is full of flesh and blood, and the beasts of the other side are extremely huge, with enough flesh and blood to fill half of the stars. Without his mount, the ancient invader finally got up. He opened his hands and shook them violently. In an instant, all the flesh and blood withered, and the blood in it turned into bloodlines and flew into his body. The originally dry body also became plump again at this moment, and the aura of the ancient invader rose sharply. The eyes of the three saints flickered, realizing that something seemed wrong. The ancient invader glanced at the three saints with blood-red eyes, slowly shook his head, TSK, 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 TISK. Three came, more than I thought. The energy of flesh and blood of the Divine Lord is too little, but the Holy Lord's is pretty good. After swallowing the three of you, my five stars can be restored to ten percent. There should be no supreme being in your world. There was cruelty and treachery in his voice, and he looked at the three holy lords like a hunter looking at his prey. As for little shrimps like Lin Moyu, he has completely ignored him. Lin Moyu's heart skipped a beat. This guy was the supreme being, and all he did was to attract the supreme being. What he really wants to devour is not the flesh and blood of the deity, but the other side and the saint. The next second, Lin Moyu realized something was wrong. The ancient invaders seemed to be strong, but in fact they were a bit weak. A skeleton appeared next to Lin Moyu, and at the same time he switched to the undead vision. Sure enough, his soul was damaged by more than two-thirds. He is actually at the end of his strength now and won't be able to hold on for long. Through the eyes of the undead, Lin Moyu saw the souls of ancient invaders. His soul was severely injured and riddled with holes, leaving only the remnant of his soul. And even now, his remnant soul is still deteriorating. Lin Moyu was shocked, his soul injury is getting worse, so he has to come out. 17. If he can't recover from his injuries, he will die. I don't know what method he used. It has survived since ancient times, but it finally reached its limit. At this moment, the faces of the three saints are not good-looking. They can feel each other's power more deeply than Lin Moyu. Although they are all rules, the opponent's power level is obviously higher than theirs. They also knew at this moment that they were hooked. No matter how much flesh and blood the god has, it is not enough to restore a supreme being to its previous strength. What the other party really needs is the other side realm, the flesh and blood of the Holy Lord. At this time, Lin Moyu's voice came, he is lying to you. The injury to his soul is very serious and is getting worse. He won't last long. The three saints heard Lin Moyu's voice and looked at each other. Wu Xingzuan shouted fiercely, Do it. The ancient invader looked at Lin Moyu angrily and snorted heavily. Invisible power washed through the starry sky and swept in. Lin Moyu did not panic, and the hell of bones instantly opened in front of him. The skeleton hell collapsed without any suspense, and then the golden ball in Lin Moyu's hand glowed forming a golden ball of light, firmly protecting Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu smiled, his goal had been achieved. The bone hell is under attack, completing the marking of the ancient invaders. The starry sky is filled with the corpses of giant beasts from the other side. Although the flesh and blood has disappeared, the body parts are still there. Void Realm, Takumi The sound of heaven and earth sounded again and the ancient invaders were momentarily stunned. The rules of the virtual realm are vast and mighty, trying to drag his soul into the virtual realm. Under the vision of the undead, Lin Moyu clearly saw that his soul was being pulled and almost torn apart. Wu Xingzuan's attack was like adding salt to his wounds. The ancient invader screamed in pain, the color of his body surged, and countless bloodlines appeared on his soul. The bloodlines formed a bloody garment, firmly covering his soul, but his soul did not enter the virtual realm. A golden sword appeared above Tian Xingzuan's head. The golden sword instantly bloomed with golden flames, 
and the entire starry sky began to burn with golden flames. This sword is the magic weapon of the other side. Lin Moyu saw that the sword sacrificed by Tian Xingzuan was extraordinarily powerful. At the same time, five drops of colorful water flew out and merged into the golden sword. The power of faith followed suit, and the golden sword became even more dazzling, cut. The sound resounded through the starry sky, the sword fell, the galaxy shattered, and the loss collapsed. Hundreds of thousands of kilometers of starry sky were completely destroyed at this moment. This sword was so powerful that the ancient invader's whole body was covered in flames and he could not move, so he could only bear the sword. He also waved the long sword in his hand, and rich blood rose into the sky, colliding with the golden sword. There was a loud bang, and Lin Moyu was knocked away by the terrible force. He was temporarily deafened and could not hear anything. The world has turned golden. Without the protection of the golden ball, Lin Moyu, Qian Hao, knows that he is dead. Even if he has the talent to be resurrected, it will be useless. He will die again in an instant, many times. The skeletons around him are the best example. They die instantly live and die again. The scream sounded, the sounds of ancient invaders. The golden world disappeared, and the sight returned. Lin Moyu saw that the dagger of Sha Xingzuan had penetrated into the opponent's neck. Colorful light flows on the dagger, and the blessing of colorful water makes the dagger extremely sharp. Do you really think I can't poke you in? Just blast me. The killing saint roared angrily and the shadow rules suddenly broke out. But this time, instead of blowing up the ancient invader's body like before, countless bloodlines surged up and entangled the dagger of the killing saint. Old Shah, retreat! Saint House shouted urgently. In the next breath, Saint Killer disappeared without a trace, and the dagger was no longer needed. The dagger was now wrapped in blood and melted quickly. If he had been a step too late, the bloodline would have wrapped around him. Saint Hao pressed down his right palm, and the ancient talisman shone brightly and suppressed it. This battle was the most thrilling battle Lin Moyu had ever experienced. No matter which war they fought before, at this moment, it was just like children playing house, having fun. The three saints used all their methods to break the starry sky and destroy the laws. The power of rules swept across the starry sky for millions of miles, and everything in the starry sky was blown to pieces. Lin Moyu relied on the golden ball, given by Tian Xingzuan, to reluctantly watch the game. Wu Xingzuan masters the rules of the virtual realm and wants to drag the ancient invaders into the virtual realm again and again. Although they failed to succeed, they also caused great trouble to the other party's soul and seriously interfered with the other party's actions. The golden rule of Tian Xingzun is extremely fierce. A golden sword from the other side realm can destroy stars and break through the world. It is the greatest threat to ancient invaders. The god of killing saint appeared and appeared, and he seemed to have endless daggers, using one after another. Every time he takes a shot, he can cause damage, but the damage is not big enough. This starry sky has been completely smashed and collapsed again and again, with turbulent energy flowing everywhere. The ancient invader manipulated the bloodline energy and fought against the three saints. He seemed to be at a slight disadvantage, but it was not easy to truly defeat him. The bloodline energy from the black blood world is extremely strange and elusive. With the long sword in his hand, he can break even rule 103. In addition, the ancient invader's physical bodies were also terrifyingly strong. If the killing saint didn't use the water of many colors, the dagger wouldn't even be able to penetrate his body. The body is powerful and the power is strange. A strong man from the world of black blood is indeed terrifying. In those days, we had to deal with such powerful people who were in the supreme realm, but now, because there is no supreme in the world. If we let it recover, the whole world will suffer. Lin Moyu has clearly seen that the power of the black blood world is incompatible with the big world. A strong man in the black blood world can devour the flesh and blood of living creatures to restore and strengthen himself. Such an existence cannot keep him alive. 
The saints did not want to kill him, but wanted to capture him and obtain information from ancient times from his mouth. The ancient information is obviously very important to the Holy Lord. But Lin Moyu had a different idea. If this kind of existence could not be killed, the consequences would be too great. Lin Moyu held a piece of minced meat in his hand. It was minced meat from a giant beast in the other side. He knew that he only had one chance. The battle became more and more fierce. The three saints used all their methods and their cooperation was perfect, giving no chance to the ancient invaders. After being strong for a period of time, the aura of the ancient invaders finally began to gradually weaken. The three of them were overjoyed and immediately stepped up their offensive. The ancient invaders tried to break out several times, but failed. The killing saint firmly restrained him, and the golden rule of the heavenly saint ignited a sea of golden fire, trapping him like a cage. The presence of the ancient invaders is weakening, and the situation is becoming more and more favorable to the three saints. I underestimated you. The ancient invader snorted coldly, and a blood-colored pill appeared in his hand. After hesitating for half a second, the ancient invader swallowed the elixir. In an instant, his energy and blood surged, and the bloody energy shot straight into the sky. His power is even stronger than before. He wants to escape, stop him. Old Shah, take action. Lord Tianqing and Lord Hao shouted in unison. Saint Killer chuckled and said, It has been prepared for a long time. If you want to escape, there is no way. Shadow Cage The sound of heaven and earth sounded and the starry sky with a radius of 100,000 miles solidified instantly. Space, laws, rules, everything is solidified at this moment. The movements of the ancient invader instantly froze and slowed down. Shadows appeared in the starry sky. The shadows appeared out of thin air, and they were gray, which was very strange. One of the huge shadows came from the ancient invaders. Saint Killer stepped on the shadow of the ancient invaders and drew a cage against the shadow. The shadow was stepped on by the slain saint, and the ancient invader's body became stiff and difficult to move. When the cage is drawn out, the control becomes more severe. Shadow rules directly control the shadow. The power of rules is so weird. At this time, the heavenly saint threw out a big net, a big golden net which was also a magic weapon of the other shore realm. The big net expanded instantly, enough to cover the stars, hooding the ancient invaders. Void Realm, Takumi Saint Hao once again tried to drag the ancient invader into the virtual realm, using a three-pronged approach and not giving him any chance at all. Before the blink of an eye, the ancient invaders were firmly under control. Lin Moyun noticed something was wrong under the sight of the undead. After the ancient invaders swallowed the elixir, their aura seemed to be greatly enhanced, but their combat power was not actually improved. This elixir seemed to be one that could temporarily increase strength. The side effects must be severe, otherwise he would not have hesitated before swallowing it. But now it looks like it was organized like this. Under the vision of the undead, countless bloodlines suddenly rose in the soul. The originally broken soul seemed to be healed at this moment. Then the entire soul flame turned into blood. The vision of the undead could only see gray, but through judging the shades, Lin Moyu came to the conclusion that his entire soul world had turned into blood. The ancient invader's eyes were red, tisk, tsk, tsk, you are very good, but the holy lord is the holy lord, you are still far from it. You have no idea what true Chang Ma is. After I swallow you all, I will destroy this world. Dark Blood Realm, open. In an instant, countless dark forces surged in from all directions, like mountains and tsunamis. Bloody light bloomed from the ancient invaders, forming a bloody world. The starry sky was shrouded in blood, forming a big ball with a diameter of more than a million kilometers. The outside is a thick force of darkness and the inside is an intertwining of the two forces of darkness and color. The light of the golden rule was covered, the shadow disappeared, and Saint Killer suddenly shouted, he escaped from the cage. Then there was a roar, bloody sword energy flew across the sky, 
and the heavenly saint also shouted in a low voice, he broke through the golden net. In the dark blood world, there is a bloody light in front of you, and you can't see anything. The three saints immediately retreated, wanting to escape from this world. But they all discovered that the world had been closed, and the power of darkness on the edge blocked them. Saint How activated the ancient talisman to destroy the dark vampire. Dark blood shook violently, but it did not break. The three saints gathered together, and the heavenly saint launched a defense, holding up several shields to defend against attacks that might come at any time. Lin Moyu opened the undead vision and stared closely at the battlefield. After casting the dark blood realm, the soul world of the ancient invaders became empty, and their souls were even more broken than before. He still wants to escape. The ancient invader didn't even think about attacking the Holy Lord. He was bluffing before, and his real purpose was to escape. He is not easy to kill, and the Holy Lord is also not easy to kill. So this choice doesn't seem wrong. Suddenly, the soul flame of the ancient invader suddenly enlarged in sight. Coming for me. Lin Moyu is also in the dark blood realm. Normally, he would not see anything. But Lin Moyu has undead vision and can see the other party's soul. When he saw the ancient invader rushing towards him, he knew that this guy wanted to kill him before escaping. After all, he is just a god king, pitifully weak. But this is just what I want. Colorful water flew out, hundreds of drops at once. All the power of faith accumulated in these days was used, and not a single bit was left. Stellar level magic. Corpse explosion, the ancient invaders are very powerful, surpassing the Holy Lord. If there were not three Holy Lords coming this time, but only one, then the outcome would be as the ancient invaders thought, with their flesh and blood being swallowed and becoming the nourishment for his recovery. But now, facing the three Holy Masters, the ancient invaders could only run away. But for a little shrimp like Lin Moyu, he wouldn't kill him by squeezing him before escaping. The colorful water brings out various colors, becoming the only brilliance in the bloody world. Even the bloody world cannot suppress the light of the colorful water. Hundreds of drops of colorful water turned into bubbles, and Lin Moyu's remaining faith power was also exhausted at this moment. The ancient invader saw this inconspicuous god king, raised his finger and pointed towards him. Can he see me? These were his last thoughts. Boom. A violent explosion rushed into his head, shaking his soul. The soul world was shattered in the explosion, and the soul was washed away by terrifying energy. His thinking stagnated at this moment, falling into eternal darkness. In the violent roar, the dark blood world shattered. Lin Moyu regained his sight and saw the situation in front of him. A bombed corpse floated quietly in front of him. The ancient invader was killed by the explosion. A hundred drops of color, combined with the power of faith, detonated the corpse of the giant beast from the other side. Lin Moyu didn't know how many times the increase was, but the power of this blow had already exceeded that of the Holy Lord. If the ancient invader chooses another direction to escape, he may not be able to do anything to him, but he had to flee in his own direction. It can only be said that he was destined to suffer this fate. He has been surviving since ancient times until now but he died at his own hands, before he could regain his former glory. What an unlucky guy! The three saints appeared in front of Lin Moyu at the same time, and the killer screamed strangely, Is he dead? Lin Moyu nodded slightly, Isn't this something that is right in front of him? The saint killer shouted again, Did you kill him? Lin Moyu nodded again, This is obvious. Saint killer wanted to speak, but Saint How interrupted him, Little friend Lin, did you explode the corpse of the giant beast from the other side? Among the three, only Wu Xingzuan knew some of Lin Moyu's techniques. He knew that Lin Moyu had a technique that ignored the difference in realm. The stronger the corpse, the greater the power. It is indeed possible to kill the ancient invaders with the corpse of the giant beast from the other side, coupled with hundreds of drops of colorful water and the increase in the power of faith. But thinking about it, it seems that it is not enough, but the facts are before our eyes, and we have to believe them. Wu Xingzuan didn't know that Lin Moyu's talent could amplify spells. 
The increase of 400 times may not be as good as water of colors, but it is not much different. This kind of increase, the stronger the corpse, the more terrifying the increase. Therefore, under various conditions, it is not impossible to kill the ancient invaders who have been severely damaged. Saint Killer said, What are you talking about? Lin Moyu explained his technique, and the killer saint suddenly opened his eyes wide, and showed that exaggerated expression again, You mean, if you are given the body of the saint, you can kill me instantly. Lose? Lin Moyu did not answer directly, but the answer is actually very clear, it is indeed possible. Saint Killer murmured in surprise, Dear boy, you have such perverted spells. Tian Xingzuan was also shocked by Lin Moyu's magic, but it was not as exaggerated as killing Xingzuan. He looked at the corpse of the ancient invader and sighed, It's a pity. I originally wanted to get some ancient information from him. Lin Moyu had already guessed the thoughts of the three saints and couldn't help but said, In fact, it is better to be dead. If you are alive, there may be trouble, and the dead can't lie. Dead men can't lie? This is a bit strange. Sha Xingzuan expressed his confusion, it's because dead people can't speak. He was a straight person, so he asked directly if he didn't understand. Saint Hal laughed and said, Little friend Lin also has a technique that can resurrect the dead and become his subordinates. You can ask whatever you want then. The shock that Saint Killer had just put away was revealed again, and it was even more exaggerated than before. Isn't that right? There is also this kind of magic? Lin Moyu nodded, it's not a complete resurrection, but a resurrection in another way. There is a time limit, and when the time is up, you will die. And with my current ability, I can't resurrect him. He will escape my control. Saint Hao asked, little friend Lin, what level do you think you need to reach, before you can completely control him? Lin Moyu thought for a while. At least wait until I get to the other side, it's safer, it's better to wait until I get to Xingzuan. The experience in the Tulu world is still fresh in my memory, and the guy after resurrection is not under my control at all. Those guys are all in the other shore realm. Lin Moyu feels that when he reaches the Divine Lord, he will have the ability to control the other shore realm. In other words, the resurrection of the dead can control existences one level higher than oneself. Then when you reach the other side, you may be able to control the Supreme. The Holy Lord also belongs to the other side realm, but his name is different, and he belongs to the same realm. But if you are safer, it is better to be a geek. After all, there is only one chance, and the opponent comes from the world of black blood. It is hard to say whether my magic can resurrect him. Still judging from the experience of the Tulu world, it should be useful. Wu Xingzuan looked at Lin Moyu, we are all waiting for the day when you become a saint. When Lin Moyu becomes the Holy Lord, perhaps the ancient mystery will be solved. Lin Moyu smiled slightly, I will work hard. I also want to know what happened in ancient times. Wu Xingzuan waved his hand and put away the corpse of the ancient invader, but did not put away the long sword that was left behind. He looked at Lin Moyu and said, If I remember correctly, you should be short of a good sword. Lin Moyu smiled, Yes. Then let's take this one and let the Holy Lord Tian transform it for you. Holy Lord Hao made the decision for the Holy Lord Tian. Tian Xingzuan didn't have any objections and stretched out his hand to point at the sword. The long sword squeaked slightly and it was gradually covered with a layer of golden light. Ten minutes later, the originally dark red sword turned into a golden sword. It looks very arrogant, like something only used by the nouveau riche. Tian Xingzuan said, This sword comes from the Black Blood Realm, and it contains a trace of the power of the Black Blood Realm. This kind of power is of no use to us. But it is extremely strong. Even we can't destroy it. I integrated the golden rule into it and sealed the power of the Black Blood Realm. Its grade can almost reach the high level of the God Sovereign Realm, but its sturdiness is far beyond the God Sovereign Realm. When you use it, you can exert a trace of the power of the Golden Rule. This sword can be used both offensively and defensively, so it's pretty good. Lin Moyu was overjoyed, it was a magic weapon at the high level of the Divine Realm. 
Being able to wield the golden rule, both offensively and defensively, is very powerful in itself. What's even better is that it's strong enough so that you don't have to take the sword from the skeleton god general every time. It would be embarrassing if you snatched the sword from one of your own men too many times, right? Lin Moyu smiled and said, thank you for your support. Tian Xingzuan waved his hand, compared to what you did, these are nothing. Just the ancient well of Zhu Shui, given by Lin Moyu, is worth an incredible amount. Holding a sword is actually nothing. Saint Hao said, if you have any other requests, you can ask for them and we will try our best to satisfy them. Lin Moyu looked at Sha Xingzuan at this time and said, Senior Sha, can you please send me to the Suzaku battlefield? I want to find Senior Zhu Chiwu. In the dark void, the speed of killing the Holy Lord is faster than the star teleportation array. It only took half a day to break out of the dark void. The path chosen by killing Saint Lord does not pass through the White Tiger Star territory. Instead, it goes directly around the Central Divine City Star Field and reaches the Zhu Star Field. Then go to the Suzaku Battlefield via the Teleportation Array in the Suzaku Star Territory. In the Dark Void, the speed of killing the Holy Lord is faster than the Star Teleportation Array. Even after leaving the Dark Void, the speed of killing the Holy Lord is still astonishing, no slower than the Teleportation Array. He doesn't even need to rely on flying magic weapons, he just relies on the rules of shadow and follows the lightless and dark areas along the way. Two days later, Lin Moyu arrived at the Vermilion Bird Star Territory. After Lord Killer sent Lin Moyu to the Vermilion Bird Star Territory, he turned around and left. Before leaving, he did not forget to tell him to practice hard and not be distracted. Obviously, several saints are very concerned about ancient things. Feeling the familiar aura of 907, Lin Moyu's memory was churning. He thought of what happened when he just left the small world, as if it was just yesterday. At that time, he was still in the super god realm, not even a true god, but in the blink of an eye, he had become a god king. The god king killed a lot, and the god lord also killed a lot. From an unknown young man, he became a genius praised by the world. All the changes seemed like yesterday. I thought of Gu Qingxian, this beautiful and refined woman. As a direct disciple of the god, he has his own arrogance. His qualifications are not bad, his practice is steady, and he dreams of entering the Divine City. With Gu Qingxuan's ability, it is inevitable to enter the Divine City, it just depends on it sooner or later. He also thought of Ren Chong. Ren Chong was one of his good friends. He had a bold personality, but was a bit funny. Now that things are over, you can come back and have a drink with Ren Chong. As for Gu Qingxian, whether we can meet her depends on our fate. Lin Moyu has a peaceful mind and doesn't take everything seriously. If we are destined, we will meet each other. The teleportation array was activated and after several transfers, Lin Moyu set foot on the Suzaku battlefield again. Each battlefield has its own unique atmosphere, and the atmosphere of Shuangwu battlefield and Suzaku battlefield are completely different. The familiar scent came to my face, bringing back memories again. He has experienced a lot here, growing from a true god to a god king, and has passed a very important stage. Here, Zhu Qiwu helped him a lot. For Lin Moyu, Zhu Qiwu is not only a respectable senior, but also half of his teacher. Without Zhu Qiwu, his cultivation would not be so leisurely. In return, as soon as Lin Moyu obtained the inheritance of the Broken Star Rules, he immediately wanted to find Zhu Qiwu, without even thinking of returning to the Divine City. Proceeding along the signpost, Suzaku Battlefield Fortress No. 1 comes into view. Entering the fortress, Lin Moyu regained a battlefield card. Holding the familiar battlefield card, Lin Moyu sent a message to Zhu Qiwu, telling him that he was here. After waiting for several minutes, Lin Moyu did not receive a response. This was somewhat beyond his expectation. Normally, Zhu Qiwu should be able to receive his news. And he said that he would not leave the battlefield for the time being. Even if he leaves the battlefield, as long as someone is on the network, he will receive the news, and at least he will tell himself. After waiting for a few more minutes, 
Lin Moyu did not wait any longer and sent another three picture messages. This time he got a quick response and immediately rushed to the trading center. In the trading center, Lin Moyu entered the backyard by a familiar route and saw the familiar pavilion. In the pavilion, the Chinese bamboo sat tall and graceful. Familiar people, familiar tea, familiar layout, nothing has changed. This picture is so familiar, as if time has been turned back a few years ago, overlapping with the past and memory. It's not that it hasn't changed at all. Yuzhu's eyes were filled with uncontrollable excitement and his smile was bright. Captain, you are finally back. Do you miss me? Yuzhu is still so beautiful, just a few years will not leave any mark on her body, since that mission, Captain is what Yuzhu calls Lin Moyu, and it will not change. Lin Moyu took a sip of tea first. It was still the iced tea of the ice tribe, which was refreshing and sweet, a little heavy. Yuzhu rolled his eyes at Lin Moyu and said softly, Captain, this is not good for you. Tell the truth. Lin Moyu gave full play to the characteristics of a straight man and really told the truth. Yuzhu snorted softly, Captain, you can't say something nice, such as missing me or something like that. Lin Moyu threw the question back to Yuzhu, Do you want to hear the truth or lies? Yuzhu tilted his head and thought for a while and suddenly thought of how to answer, I want to hear both the truth and lies. Anyway, I like to hear good things. Lin Moyu chuckled lightly, the truth is, I really have something to do when I come back to see Senior Zhu Wu, and I will also come to see you. Yuzhu's smile was bright again, it doesn't matter if you think about her or not, as long as the captain still remembers her. Lin Moyu chuckled, I will never forget it. No matter what. We are also comrades in arms, zero degree. Yuzhu poured tea for Lin Moyu, Captain, you said you want to find someone to calm you down? Lin Moyu hummed, I sent a message, but no reply. Senior Zhu Chiwu should still be on the battlefield. Do you know more specific information? Yuzhu shook his head, for a person of Zhu Zhenshou's level, his information is usually kept secret by the military, so it is difficult for us to find out. But a few months ago, we received news that Senior Zhu seemed to have left Fortress No. 10. I'll check to see if there is any latest news. Yu Zhu contacted Renhuang Network to find the latest news. The Yu family has its own intelligence system, and their intelligence system is also closely connected to the Su family. Anyway, the two ancestors are both strong in the other side realm, so it is normal for them to exchange information. A few minutes later, Yuzhu left Renhuang Network, there is indeed news, but it was already a month ago. Shouzhu left Fortress No. 10 nine months ago, wandering around various areas and attacking and killing the gods of various tribes. In just eight months, more than 300 gods have been killed by Zhu Zhenshou, including 50 high-level gods. A month ago, Zhu Zhenshou last appeared in War Zone No. 10, and then disappeared. Lin Moyu listened to the information and began to think. Zhu Chiwu suddenly took action and killed a large number of gods. Why was this? With Zhu Chiwu's combat power, it is not difficult to kill some of the gods, but why didn't he kill him before and only now? Lin Moyu recalled what Zhu Chiwu once said. Zhu Chiwu said that he was going to 0.5 to do something big. He said this when he was half stepping into the other side. Lin Moyu also thought of what happened shortly after Zhu Chiwu came to the battlefield. There was once a strong man from the enemy clan who killed many human gods. He kept encountering Zhu Chiwu, but was repelled by Zhu Chiwu. That battle was a sensation. The alien god was very powerful, and several high level gods from the human race died in his hands. Zhu Chiwu accidentally told himself later that although the opponent was repelled in that battle, Xing Chiwu himself was also injured. Each line is run through by Lin Moyu, and you can probably guess what Zhu Chiwu has been doing in the past few months. Lin Moyu wants to understand, but is not sure yet, whether the military will know more. Yu Zhu nodded, probably, if you want me to ask. Lin Moyu shook his head, no, I'll ask myself. When everything is done, I'll have tea with you and sell some things by the way. After leaving the trading center, Lin Moyu sent a message to Ku Yuan Jun, 
saying that he wanted to see him if he had anything to do. At the same time, Lin Moyu went to the teleportation array. Ku Yuan Jun responded quickly and came immediately. She ung dare not neglect Lin Moyu. As a Legion commander, he gets far more information than others. Not to mention the relationship between Lin Moyu and Zhu Qi Wu, his disciples still rely on Lin Moyu for treatment. Even the things Lin Moyu did after leaving the battlefield would occasionally reach his ears. No matter what the reason is, he does not dare to neglect a super genius like Lin Moyu. As soon as Lin Moyu arrived at the teleportation array, Ku Yuan Jun also arrived. The moment Ku Yuan Jun saw Lin Moyu, his body trembled slightly. For some reason, he felt that Lin Moyu exuded strong pressure. Although he is only a god king, he is more powerful than the god lord. This is his feeling, his intuition as a soldier. Lin Moyu got straight to the point, Captain Ku, do you know where Senior Zhu went? Ku Yuan Jun's expression changed, are you here to see Zhu Zhenshou? Lin Moyu hummed, I can't contact Senior Zhu. I learned some information from the Yu family before, but I don't know the more detailed information. Ku Yuan Jun said, let's go to Fortress Number 10. We'll tell you the details when we get there. As he spoke, Ku Yuan Jun picked up his battlefield card and quickly operated it a few times, giving Lin Moyu permission to go to Fortress Number 10. Fortress Number 10 is not something you can just go to if you want you need the corresponding permissions. The two opened the teleportation array and headed towards Fortress No. 10. Thousands of streams of light passed by. Standing in the passage of the teleportation array, Lin Moyu's face looked a little gloomy. Although Ku Yuan Jun said nothing, Ku Yuan Jun's reaction made him feel something was wrong. If there is nothing wrong, Ku Yuan Jun can just say it directly. There is no need to do this. The two of them looked at each other in silence along the way, and the atmosphere was a bit depressing. Ku Yuan Jun originally wanted to get close to Lin Moyu, but when he saw Lin Moyu's solemn expression, he consciously closed his mouth. The transmission ended in silence and depression, and the two arrived at Fortress No. 10. In front of the teleportation array, there was already a middle-aged man in white robe waiting. Ku Yuan Jun immediately introduced, this is the regiment commander of Fortress No. 10, Murong Tua. Lin Moyu saluted slightly, I have met Commander Murong, can you tell me what happened? Murong Tua had received the information from Ku Yuan Jun in advance. He also knew that the relationship between Lin Moyu and Zhu Qi Wu was not simple, and Lin Moyu was also an honorary soldier with the rank of captain, so he did not hide it. The Lord Guard went to the core of the battlefield. Lin Moyu frowned, where did he go, what did Senior Zhu do there? Morong Tua asked, Colonel Lin, do you know how to walk on a bloody road? Lin Moyu was slightly stunned, having never heard of it. Morong Tua and Lin Moyu explained what it means to walk on the bloody road. If you want to reach the other side, you should use killing as a guide and blood as a road. There is a stipulated rule in the other side realm of all races and the other side realm cannot be taken lightly. So looking at it from the outside, the God Lord has become the strongest force. Most people don't even know that the other side exists. But people like Zhu Qi Wu, who is half a foot on the other side and has surpassed the gods, but is not the real other side, are not restricted. As long as they don't break into other people's homes, other tribes' other side realms will not interfere in places like the battlefield. Therefore, once such a character appears in each tribe, they will take the opportunity to attack and kill the gods of other tribes. They call this the bloody road to the other side, and use the blood of their enemies to water their way to the other side, turning it into a road to the sky. Thousands of years ago, Zhu Qi Wu encountered such a character not long after he came to the battlefield. At that time, he was the pinnacle god of the demon clan, with half a foot on the other side killing everyone. Dozens of gods among the human race were killed, including several high-level gods. Finally, he found Zhu Qi Wu and wanted to kill Zhu Qi Wu, the human guard. After a great battle, he was repulsed by Zhu Qi Wu, who was also seriously injured and took hundreds of years to recover. 
In this battle, it is unclear who will win and who will lose, but Zhu Qiwu said that he did not lose. After thousands of years, it is now Zhu Qiwu who wants to set foot on the other side and relive his bloody journey. In recent months, Zhu Qiwu traveled to various areas of the battlefield and killed one god after another. This time, he went to the core of war zone number one. The reason was a piece of information, and several peak gods from various clans joined forces to kill Zhu Qiwu and prevent him from reaching the other side. No matter which race, even if it is a race that has no enmity with the human race, it does not want to have another other shore in the human race. No grudge today does not mean there will be no grudge in the future. After listening to Murong Tuo's words, Lin Moyu said in a deep voice, Commander Murong, do you know where this information came from? Chuan Tua thought about it and realized that Master Mamaru didn't say anything, but he mentioned it accidentally and said that it was given by a man named Lao Su. Lao Su, home. Lin Moyu understood that this information came from the Su family. Zhu Qiwu was born in the Divine City, so it was normal for him to have connections with the Su family. The Su family is the largest intelligence information family in the human race, tied with the Yu family, and a lot of information about the Yu family also comes from the Su family. You can see it just by looking at the Guanchur Hall in the Sacred City. After Zhu Qiwu obtained the Su family's information, he would not suspect it was false, and then left went there for a month and didn't return. There must have been an accident. You want to see people when you are alive, and you want to see corpses when you die. Lin Moyu decided to take a look for himself. But before you go, you have to do something. Anyone who wants to ambush Zhu Qiwu must at least be a peak god. Lin Moyu knows his own strength, and if he wants to deal with the peak god, he needs some preparations. He immediately activated the teleportation array and returned to Fortress No. 1, Consciousness Communication Renhuang Network, opening the military supplies warehouse. He also has three military points, plus 16 contribution points. With his current realm level, he can exchange it for most God-King realm items 160. If you add contribution points, you can even exchange for items in the Divine Realm. A corresponding prompt came from the Human Emperor Network, opening the munitions warehouse requires one munitions point, it is irrevocable, and it is determined whether to open it or not. Turn on. Lin Moyu said it with a thought, and it was confirmed to be turned on. The munitions warehouse is being opened for you, and the military points have been deducted. A huge warehouse appeared in front of Lin Moyu. The warehouse had a starry sky as the background, and all the treasures were placed in the starry sky, like a sky full of stars. Each treasure has a name on it. After making a selection, you can also get a detailed description of the treasure, including its level of use, how to use it, and other information. This is the second time he has opened the munitions warehouse. Lin Moyu is no stranger to this scene, and he knows what he needs. The dazzling array of treasures in front of him were all in the God King realm. Lin Moyu just glanced at them and stopped looking at them. He said loudly, it consumes four contribution points. After the words fell, the Human Emperor Network sent another prompt. Your realm is the God King realm, and the Redemption Limit is the God Sovereign realm. You need to use three contribution points to open the exchange. Are you sure you want to use four contribution points? Lin Moyu was not a fool, so he immediately said, please contribute. It consumes three contribution points and is irrevocable. Please confirm whether to consume it. Consumption. As he spoke, his contribution points dropped by three points. The God King's treasure in front of him rippled like water, and then disappeared. Immediately afterwards, new treasures appeared, and powerful auras rushed towards them. After spending three contribution points, it was directly upgraded to the level of the treasure. Magical weapons in the Divine Realm are too powerful and rare, and have many restrictions. With his cultivation level at the God King Realm and using one contribution point, he can directly see the low-grade magic weapons and materials at the God Sovereign Realm. For example, a magic weapon like the Belief Illumination Realm belongs to the lower level of the Divine Realm. 
With two contribution points, you can see medium-level magic weapons and materials in the Divine Realm. If you use three points of contribution, you can see the magic weapons and materials of high-level gods. Tiny and chaotic sounds rang in his ears. It was the sound of the spirit spirits discussing and talking to each other, but it seemed to be subject to some kind of restriction, and their voices were very soft. While Lin Moyu was sizing up the treasures, the artifact spirits of these treasures were also sizing up Lin Moyu. As his level of strength improves at any time, Lin Moyu's knowledge has become far better than before. At this moment, he clearly realized that he was at the junction of reality and reality. The munitions warehouse actually existed, and what he saw was real, but he himself was virtual. All the magic weapons and weapons in the munitions warehouse can see me. I can see them myself, but I can't touch them. This feeling is amazing. There are corresponding instructions on each item. Lin Moyu skipped all the magic weapons. These magic weapons were of no use to him. He has a soul shooting bow for soul attacks, a golden sword for normal magic weapons, and a golden eagle mount for transportation. Lin Moyu is very wealthy, surpassing most gods, and does not need to exchange magic weapons at all. This time, when he opened the munitions warehouse, what he wanted to exchange was materials. There were too many things in the warehouse. Lin Moyu did not waste time searching for them one by one. Instead, he directly said, show the body of the starry sky beast. The corpses of starry sky beasts are also a kind of material. What Lin Moyu can see now are all high-level materials of the God-Sovereign Realm, or at least the bodies of the starry sky beasts at the high level of the God-Sovereign Realm. There are tens of millions of species of giant beasts in the starry sky, and their corpses have their own uses as materials. Some starry sky beasts of the seventh level of gods are even better as materials than those of the starry sky beasts of the ninth level of gods. But Lin Moyu doesn't care about this. He only cares about level and vitality. Most of the treasures in front of him disappeared, leaving only corpses with hundreds of heads. These corpses are all complete, shrouded in space formations, and don't look big. But once they leave the space formation, they will reveal their true bodies and their bodies will become very huge. Lin Moyu found the body he needed immediately. The Corpse of Stellar Fire Vine Realm and Life, Ninth Level of Deity Main Purpose, Its Corpse is Suitable for Refining Whip-Type Magic Weapons and is a good material for the high-grade magic weapon of the Divine Realm, the Yang Fire Whip. Other uses, the main material for refining blazing fire pills, and also the auxiliary material for many fire-type pills. Lin Moyu read the description and silently added, it is also a good material for corpse explosion. The reason why he chose the body of the star fire vine was also very simple, because it was a ninth-level starry sky beast of the plant type. In the same realm, it is a consensus that plant-based starry sky behemoths have the most powerful vitality. The power of the corpse's explosion is closely related to the vitality of the corpse before death. The stronger the vitality, the stronger the power of the corpse explosion. After choosing the stellar fire vine, Lin Moyu opened the munitions warehouse for the second time, also consuming three contribution points, and once again exchanged it for a ninth-level starry beast corpse. The starry sky beast exchanged this time is called the Sun Swallowing Beast, and its vitality is equally powerful. There are three points of munitions points, and the last one point is left. Lin Moyu has not used all of them. Of the sixteen contribution points, six have been used up and ten are left. Then there was the quiet waiting. After the exchange is completed, he cannot leave. Renhuang Network will deliver the exchanged items as quickly as possible. Lin Moyu waited in Fortress No. 1 for half a day. A warship flew directly and delivered the things to Lin Moyu. The two corpses were placed in two storage magic weapons. With these two corpses, Lin Moyu felt confident. Even facing the peak god, he can raise his hand and kill him instantly. Moreover, the corpses of the two starry sky beasts are just introductions. The killed peak god will become a new weapon. Set off.
Lin Moyu didn't waste any time and opened the teleportation array again. After being transferred again and again, Lin Moyu returned to Fortress No. 10 after half a day. Morong Tua and Ku Yuan's army commanders were still waiting. They seemed to be discussing something, their expressions were a little solemn. After Lin Moyu came back, the three of them went directly to the outpost without saying a word. Morong Tua personally opened the teleportation array for Lin Moyu and sent Lin Moyu away. He is the commander of the army and cannot go out easily, especially when Zhu Chiwu is away, he must guard here. The same is true for Ku Yuan Jun, and with his strength, even if he goes, he will only be delivering food, and there is no need to die. Lin Moyu rode away in the teleportation array, and Morong Tua whispered, Colonel Lin is a true heavenly group. Ku Yuan Jun naturally agreed with Morong Tuo's words, but he was also a little worried, but Captain Lin is only a god king, after all. If even the guarding adults are in danger, Captain Lin will also be in danger here. Morong Tuo showed a mysterious smile, there were some things that were difficult to explain. According to the information from his family ancestors, Captain Lin met his peers in the Divine City. Ku Yuan Jun couldn't believe it, those people? You're not kidding, right? Morong Tua shook his head, do you think I'm joking? If not, why would I have agreed to Captain Lin's visit? You know, there is at least one peak god there, and there is more than one. Ku Yuan Jun naturally knew, so, Lieutenant Lin at least has the strength to compete with the peak god. Morong Tua thought for a few seconds, and then he was not very sure. From what my ancestor said, Lieutenant Lin should have a trump card, and judging from his appearance, he is fully prepared. Anyway, I hope Captain Lin and Lord Guard can come back safely. At this point, the two of them can only wish Lin Moyu and Yi Jiwu the best. The transmission ended, and Lin Moyu appeared in the dim starry sky. With the faint starlight, Lin Moyu found the corresponding direction, summoned the mount of the Golden Eagle God, Wang Yamo Zhao and flew towards the core area. Under the space leap, the speed quickly reaches 100 million kilometers per second. Lin Moyu held a formation disk in his hand. This formation disk could sense Zhu Chiwu's battlefield cards within a range of 1 million kilometers. As time passed, Lin Moyu opened his undead vision and looked for the target. Here, it is easier to use the soul flame to guide than the eyes of the undead in the other side. Getting closer and closer to the core area, blossoming soul flames appeared in sight. Each soul flame represents a giant beast in the starry sky. The starry sky beasts inhabit the starry sky in twos and threes, seemingly sleeping. Through the soul flame, one can judge the strength of its owner, most of whom are first or second level gods. The closer you get to the core area, the more powerful the starry sky beast will become. Boom! As if it had hit an invisible wall, the mount of the Golden Eagle God suddenly came to a sudden stop, interrupting its spatial leap. The space leap was interrupted, and Lin Moyu looked at the starry sky in front of him. The starry sky in front of him was blocked, using something similar to the airlocking formation, so the space leap failed. Lin Moyu also knew that he was looking in the right direction, Zhu Chi Wu should be here. He has entered the core area. Although he has not yet reached the central area, he can already feel the breath of the core area. The soul felt a slight burning sensation. In the core area, the soul of the sacred beast, Suzaku was there, as well as the egg. The starry sky is huge and wide-ranging. The blocked space may exceed hundreds of millions of kilometers. Moreover, it is still three-dimensional and billions of miles in the sky. If some hidden treasures or formations are added, finding Zhu Chiwu in such a large space is like looking for a needle in a haystack. Lin Moyu believed that in order to deal with Zhu Chiwu, those guys must prevent human rescue. It's a matter of course to hide it, and even the battlefield cards may be blocked, making it impossible to find them using person search. But it is a huge difficulty for others, but for Lin Moyu, it is not difficult. A large number of skeletons appeared in the starry sky. In order to find Zhu Qi 810 Wu as soon as possible, Lin Moyu was not stingy and summoned a total of 10 million skeleton generals. 
the skeleton god will turn into streams of light and fly in all directions. Lin Moyu stood still, waiting for news from the skeleton god general. At the same time, he is also connected to the vision of the undead, looking for the target together. Behemoths in the starry sky were discovered one after another, and the skeleton god kept sending news. Lin Moyu switched the vision of the undead and saw the soul flames. The closer to the core, the more starry sky beasts there are and the more powerful they are. However, these starry sky beasts were busy absorbing Suzaku's energy and did not care about the passing skeleton god general. It is said that the giant beasts in the sky are territorial, and any outsider who steps into their territory will be attacked by them. But there is obviously no such problem here. Even if the skeleton god general flies by only a hundred kilometers away from the starry sky beast, the starry sky beast does not react at all. It seems that as long as you don't disturb them, they don't bother to care about you. Except for the constant burning sensation in the soul, which seemed to have the sound of burning fire, the entire starry sky was extremely silent. Lin Moyu is very patient. He believes that Zhu Qiwu will not die so easily. The most likely thing is that he is trapped somewhere. Half a day later, Lin Moyu had determined that the diameter of this blocked area was approximately 1 billion kilometers. The meaning of space blockade is to trap Zhu Qiwu and prevent him from escaping. After all, Zhu Qiwu has a special battleship that can explode with combat power comparable to the other shore realm in a short period of time, and it also has an astonishing speed. But everything has two sides, and Space Blockade will also reveal their location. Once the scope area is determined, the rest is simple. No matter which method is used to block space, the blockade will spread outward from the center point. Now is no exception, Lin Moyu only needs to find the center point of this area. The mount of the Golden Eagle God turned into a golden light and rushed over. Just half an hour later, Lin Moyu arrived at the center point of the blockade. The center point was pitch black and there was nothing. This place is not far from the core area, and the nearby starry sky beast has reached the fifth level of God. They still had no reaction to Lin Moyu's arrival. The vision of the undead did not find it. Lin Moyu's soul moved and he started the soul eye. The world in my eyes changes, and lines of laws appear. The lines of the law are continuous and will not change if there is no interference from external objects. The entire big world operates under the interweaving of lines of laws. But at the center, the law lines are distorted. There are several laws that have obviously been disturbed by external forces, and their trajectories have changed. At a fixed position, some of the law lines disappeared, as if passing through an invisible but real object, and then reappeared. The size of this object is approximately 1 ccfb meter in diameter. Finally found it. It is indeed an independent space. Lin Moyu said softly. In a three-dimensional spherical area with a diameter of one billion kilometers, it is harder to find an independent space with a diameter of only one meter than to find a needle in a haystack. Now Lin Moyu has two methods. One is to find a way to enter this independent space, and the other is to break it and let it return to reality. Without knowing what was going on inside the space, Lin Moyu would naturally not rush in and take risks. He chose the simplest and crudest method and smashed it directly. A large number of skeleton gods will come from all directions, surrounding this area with a diameter of only one meter on three levels inside and three outside. Immediately afterwards, the white sword energy illuminated the dim starry sky. All the sword energy landed in an area of only one meter in diameter with incomparable accuracy. The starry sky exploded, and the bright light was like a newborn star, illuminating the starry sky. An invisible force carries violent spatial fluctuations, spreading outward like a tsunami. The silence was shattered, and many nearby starry sky beasts looked over as if they had been awakened. There was evil in their eyes as if they were blaming Lin Moyu for disturbing them, while also issuing a warning. Lin Moyu ignored them. Like the starry sky beasts, he would not care about them as long as they did not provoke him. If they made a move first, I wouldn't mind killing them. Selling their flesh and blood for wine would be a good choice. 
Lin Moyu stared closely at the center of the explosion. His independent space was shattered and he was about to return to the real world. There are figures and scenery, trembling in front of my eyes, from illusion to reality. There are quite a few people. Lin Moyu saw no less than ten people. In the sight of the undead, soul flames emerged, and at the same time a huge aura filled the air. The starry sky was trembling with the aura of the peak god, as if it could not withstand the pressure. In the breath, Lin Moyu also felt a hint of the power of rules. The power of the rules is very weak, incomparable to the other side realm, and even worse than the Holy Lord. The independent space merges with the real world. Both people and scenery are rapidly growing in size and returning to normal. Lin Moyu stood thousands of miles away, watching quietly while looking for Zhu Qiwu's whereabouts. Who is it? Court death. Amidst the roar, someone took the lead to fly out of the independent space with a touch of golden light. He is a god from the Golden Eagle clan. He is extremely fast and can rush to the real world in an instant. What greeted him was the sword energy attack of the skeleton god general. The dense and white sword energy occupied his entire field of vision. His whole body was covered with golden light, and the golden light turned into armor, blocking all sword energy. The skeleton god general only has the second level of god, which is far behind the peak level of god. You are looking for death. The golden eagle clan god roared, his wings vibrated, and thousands of golden lights fell. The golden light turned into a rain of swords, killing thousands of divine generals in an instant. The independent space finally merged with the real world, and Lin Moyu finally saw Zhu Qiwu at this moment. Found it, Lin Moyu's solemn brows relaxed, and Lin Moyu finally felt relieved. Zhu Qiwu was fine. He was sitting cross-legged with a barrier outside. He is trapped in the barrier. Outside the barrier, the six peak gods of the demon clan continue to provide power to the barrier and maintain its stability. In addition to the six demon clan gods, including the first Golden Eagle clan god to rush out, there are six more people. There are a total of twelve peak gods, respectively from the demon clan, the Golden Eagle clan, the Blackstone clan, and the Buddha clan. Among them, there are six from the demon clan, four from the Golden Eagle clan, and one each from the Blackstone clan and the Buddha clan. Lin Moyu frowned slightly and muttered softly, Buddha clan, Buddhist clan again. Except for the Buddha race, everyone present has enmity with the human race. The Buddhist clan has always claimed to be neutral and have no enmity with any other clan, but their actual approach is not like this. The fifteen gods saw Lin Moyu at the same time and were slightly startled. They thought that human reinforcements were coming and were ready for a war. But I never expected that there would be only one person coming, and it was only the god king. Although he brought many puppets of the divine realm, they were only second-level puppets of the divine realm, and no amount of them would be of any use. The demon clan god looked at Lin Moyu and felt that he looked familiar. The golden eagle clan god looked at Lin Moyu, and the next moment their eyes were filled with anger, and they shouted sternly, How dare you use our clan's god as a mount? Lin Moyu smiled and said, I have to say, it works quite well, but the level is a bit low and the speed is still not fast enough. I think you're pretty good, why don't you come and be my mount? The pinnacle god should be able to fly faster than this trash. Lin Moyu's understatement made the Golden Eagle tribe god feel extremely humiliated. He actually used them as mounts. The human god king in front of him really deserves to die. You deserve to die. Several Golden Eagle tribe gods attacked Lin Moyu at the same time. This kind of thing is an unbearable insult to them. Their speed was astonishing, drawing four golden lines in the starry sky and arriving in front of Lin Moyu almost instantly. Lin Moyu took out the golden sword calmly. The soul moved, activated the golden sword, and waved it gently. The golden sword bloomed with golden light, and the power of rules flew out from it, forming a golden shield. Boom! The four Golden Eagle clan gods took action at the same time, turning into golden claws and striking the shield. The shield didn't move at all, but the four people were knocked away. 
The Golden Sword has been transformed by Tian Xingzuan, and the power of rules contained in it is extremely powerful. The four peak gods of the Golden Eagle clan, who were knocked away, tried their best to stabilize their bodies. They gritted their teeth and said, the rule magic weapon of the other shore realm. How can you, a god king, activate the west of rules? Who are you? Lin Moyu naturally did not answer them, but smiled to himself, the effect is good. As he spoke, he patted his mount with the golden sword, come on, follow me into battle and kill the enemy, the scream will be so powerful that it will scare them to death. The horse heard it very well, let out a sharp cry, and rushed out. The golden shield flew over and surrounded Lin Moyu, becoming Lin Moyu's armor. Lin Moyu was like a general going into battle to kill the enemy, raising his sword and keeping away. But his behavior once again stimulated the four peak gods of the Golden Eagle clan. Especially, the phrase, the one who screams loudly, is extremely insulting. The mount screamed really cooperatively, more like a slap in the face, hitting them hard in the face. At the level of the peak god, face becomes extremely important. Their anger could no longer be described in words. The four of them took out their weapons at the same time, cast spells, and vowed to kill Lin Moyu. The law galaxy is bright, the golden streamer illuminates the starry sky, and golden light strikes from all directions, covering Lin Moyu. The golden shield sparkled, spinning rapidly to create countless shadows, blocking the golden light. Lin Moyu went straight towards him, waving his golden sword. A huge golden sword appeared in the starry sky. The sword smashed the spell of the peak god of the Golden Eagle clan and killed the four people. The golden sword carries the power of rules, tearing the void apart, and is extremely powerful. The expressions of the four people changed drastically, and they controlled their spells at the same time, and thousands of golden lights hit the golden sword. Under the bombardment of countless golden lights, the golden sword only paused. Even the peak god is so weak when encountering the power of the Holy Lord's rules. Knowing that they were unable to resist, the four of them spread out at the same time, flying in different directions to avoid Lin Moyu's attack. The sharp sword cut through the air and was lost in the starry sky. The four golden eagles dispersed and then returned like lightning. They came to the four corners of Lin Moyu like teleportation and surrounded Lin Moyu. The four laws of the galaxy connected together and turned into a law ocean, swallowing Lin Moyu. This is also a technique commonly used by the Golden Eagle clan. It can bring together the power of many people and create huge power. Gray light flashed across Lin Moyu's body, and the bone hell was shattered the moment it appeared, and the mount under his feet also disappeared. The bone hell completed its mission and marked four people. A smile appeared in Lin Moyu's eyes, you can't escape now. Please give me flowers. Once the mark is completed, not even the other side, let alone the god, can escape his lock. The golden shield exploded and turned into golden light, covering his whole body. Lin Moyu was safe and sound in the Sea of Laws. Refining it. The Golden Eagle tribe god roared with anger. They already hated Lin Moyu to death and vowed not to kill him. The Golden Law Ocean became sticky and ignited with blazing golden flames. At first glance, it is somewhat similar to Tian Xingzun's Golden Rule, but there is a huge difference in power. Lin Moyu has already tested the Golden Sword, and it is very powerful in both attack and defense. But he is still unable to fully exert the power of the Golden Sword. If he wants to kill the Peak God with the Golden Sword, it is almost impossible. Lin Moyu held the golden sword in one hand and took out the body of the sun-swallowing beast with his right hand. The realm of the sun-swallowing beast during its lifetime also reached the ninth level of god. Although its combat power is not as good as that of the peak god, its realm is actually the same. The peak god is essentially the most powerful ninth level god. While Lin Moyu took out the body of the sun-swallowing beast, several peak gods present felt uneasy at the same time. There was cruelty in Lin Moyu's eyes, pointing his finger towards one of the Golden Eagle clan deities. Stellar level magic, corpse explosion. Boom. Amid the deafening explosions, huge waves arose in the ocean of laws. There was not even a scream before death. 
The peak god of the Golden Eagle clan that Lin Moyu had targeted was blown to pieces on the spot. There was one less person in the Law Ocean and it immediately lost its balance. The golden flame quickly extinguished. Although the Ocean of Laws is still there, it is not as powerful as before. The expressions of the three Golden Eagle clan deities changed greatly. Not only them, the expressions of several other deities also became extremely ugly. What kind of magic is this? Can actually kill the peak god in an instant. As soon as their thoughts came up, Lin Moyu pointed at another Golden Eagle clan deity. Boom! Another explosion occurred under their noses. The second Golden Eagle clan god died on the spot. This time, Lin Moyu used the recently killed Golden Eagle clan deity as explosive material. Fresh materials are equally powerful. Facing the explosion of corpses, even the peak god has no resistance at all. The Ocean of Laws completely collapsed, and the remaining two Golden Eagle clan gods were so frightened that their livers and gallbladders split apart, and they turned around and tried to run away. At this time, a demon god screamed, He is Lin Moyu, human Lin Moyu III. One sentence woke everyone up. Lin Moyu, Lin Moyu, who ranks first on the must-kill list of all races. The gods present were all familiar with Lin Moyu's name. After all, he was at the top of his clan's must-kill list, so how could he be unfamiliar with it? Lin Moyu The only Buddhist person present, Pagoda Buddha, was also surprised at this moment and whispered Lin Moyu's name. Among the Buddhists, there is also a lot of information about Lin Moyu. The ancient Buddha once had a decree to give priority to Lin Moyu and extradite him into the Buddhist clan. If you can't do it, then try to kill it and don't let it grow. If you can't even kill him, then don't offend him. In any case, the Buddhist clan has not offended any clan on the surface, and their relations with all clans are not considered acceptable. As for what is done in secret, that is another matter. Now it seems that it is impossible to extradite Lin Moyu. The look Lin Moyu looked at just now contained murderous intent. Pagoda Buddha was a little puzzled. The Buddha didn't seem to have offended Lin Moyu, so why did he have such a murderous intention towards him? Before the demon clan god's voice could even finish, Lin Moyu's finger had already pointed out again. The two remaining gods of the Golden Eagle clan were so frightened that they turned around and ran away. They did not look like the top gods at all. But it's still a step too late. Boom! In the explosion, the third peak god died. The last peak god of the Golden Eagle clan was completely frightened and fled away without jumping. It's useless, you can't escape. Only tens of thousands of kilometers away, the starry sky was densely filled with skeleton generals. As early as the beginning, tens of millions of skeletons will have surrounded this place. Although the peak god of the Golden Eagle clan is powerful, it will take at least a few seconds to break out of the circle surrounded by the skeleton god general. These few seconds are enough to decide his life or death. If the space was not blocked now, he would have a chance to escape. The Golden Eagle tribe's space leap is difficult to stop. But now this opportunity is gone. Under the space blockade, space leap is also restricted, which can be said to be a cocoon. Get away, hurry up and turn off the space blockade. The previous sentence was yelled at the skeleton god general. Regardless of whether the skeleton god general could understand it or not, he just roared instinctively. The last sentence is said to the demon clan, because the space is blocked by them. With a panicked roar, he rushed into the encirclement of the skeleton god general and broke through with all his strength. The golden light was bright, and he used the law galaxy to forcibly create a passage. Golden feathers shot out from all over his body, killing tens of thousands of god generals. Boom! The fourth explosion came as expected, and Lin Moyu gave him no chance to escape. With four simple fingers, he instantly killed four peak gods, scaring the Golden Eagle clan gods into running for their lives, but they didn't escape yet. Lin Moyu brought terror to everyone present. A god king can scare the gods out of their wits and no one will believe it if he tells it. But that's the fact. When Lin Moyu looked over with a devilish smile, everyone's heart skipped a beat.
The six peak gods of the demon clan made a decision immediately, Pagoda Buddha, you control the barrier, we will kill this boy. When Pagoda Buddha was still struggling with how to treat Lin Moyu, the demon clan helped him make a decision. He knew that he had no choice now, but to kill Lin Moyu. Amit Ba. He declared the Buddha's name, and his whole body shone brightly, transforming into a huge Buddha statue. He recited the Buddhist sounds, which echoed in the starry sky, and a pagoda appeared above his head. The pagoda scatters bright yellow starlight, forming a light curtain, covering the Buddha statue and the barrier. Only then did Lin Moyu discover that there was also a pagoda in the barrier, which was exactly the same as the pagoda outside. The two pagodas echo each other and are related to each other. Although I don't know the reason, it can be seen that he has a share of credit for being able to trap Zhu Chi Wu. Buddhas are really disgusting. Lin Moyu said softly, swung the golden sword and struck the pagoda Buddha in the air. The 10,000-meter Buddha statue is in the starry sky, so there is no need to lock and aim. The golden sword turned into a huge sword shadow and landed on the Buddha statue. The golden light exploded, and the Buddha statue did not move at all under this chop. The bright yellow light curtain falling from the pagoda blocked the golden sword. Lin Moyu frowned slightly, the magic weapon of the other side. The power of this magic weapon is restrained and does not spread outward, so Lin Moyu did not notice it. Only when the golden sword collided with it did he feel the power of the rules. In essence, the golden sword is not a real magic weapon of the other side, but this pagoda seems to be the real magic weapon of the other side. The golden sword cannot cut it, but it is also a minister of reason. At this time, the pagoda Buddha did not attack himself, the bone hell did not complete the mark, Lin Moyu could not lock the opponent, and the corpse explosion was useless. Suddenly, a strange force exploded, and Lin Moyu felt his body sink as if there was an extra layer of shackles. In the starry sky, all the skeleton gods will disappear collectively. It seems that the connection between himself and the magic has been lost, corpse explosion can no longer be used, and all spells have been sealed. Looking up, a huge knot appeared in the starry sky. Forbidden Barrier Lin Moyu whispered, This is the demon clan's signature barrier, specially used to deal with human cultivators. Among the thousands of races in the world, the talent of the human race can be considered the most mediocre. The body is not strong, the soul is not strong, and there are no special abilities. The only advantage is that humans have extremely strong learning abilities. As long as the tribe is given enough time, various spells can give the Lu tribe a headache. Later, the demon clan invented the forbidden magic barrier which can restrict all spells below the level of God. Because of the existence of the Law Galaxy, the effect of the Forbidden Law Barrier will be greatly weakened. Up to the high-level gods, the Forbidden Magic Barrier has almost lost its effect because it has touched the power of rules. They have seen through Lin Moyu's realm. Lin Moyu is just a god-king. No matter how weird and powerful Lin Moyu's spells are, the forbidden magic barrier can restrict him and make his spells ineffective. As the pinnacle gods, their spells already contain a trace of the power of rules, and the forbidden magic barrier has no effect on them. Unexpectedly, as soon as the forbidden magic barrier opened, Lin Moyu's skeleton army also disappeared. This surprised and delighted them. What was surprising was that the army of tens of millions of skeletons was not puppets, but spells. The spell is much more terrifying than the puppets. No matter how many puppets there are, if it is the second level of the god, it is only the second level of the god. The laws of magic are different, and the magic will grow according to the cultivation level of its owner. If Lin Moyu reaches the high level of god in 1.6, how far will his skeleton army grow? Just thinking about it made all the gods present feel chilled. By then the disaster of annihilation for all their tribes will probably come. Fortunately, Lin Moyu is now restricted by them and cannot escape. This child must not be allowed to live. We must kill him, no matter the cost. Kill him immediately while he is still weak, otherwise all races will suffer. He is more terrifying than Xiao Zhantian. Everyone had the same idea, 
and their murderous intent increased several times. The bewitching demon god of the demon tribe made a low voice, Lin Moyu, give up resistance. Resistance will only make you more painful. Giving up will make you happy. 17. His voice was full of bewitching power, trying to drag Lin Moyu's soul into endless darkness. Unfortunately, it has no effect. Souls in the other side realm ignore this level of bewitching power. The demon clan, six peak gods, formed a special formation with strange positions and surrounded Lin Moyu. Among them are the bewitching demon and the illusion demon, as well as two flame demons from the Hell series, the Abyss Dragon Demon from the Abyss series, and the three headed giant snake demon. The devil of bewitchment is responsible for bewitching and interfering with the soul. Even the peak deity will be affected to a certain extent. And with the existence of the bewitching demon, Lin Moyu speculated that the demon clan even hopes to control Zhu Chiwu and turn him into a demon clan member. In that case, Zhu Chiwu would become the highest level traitor in the human race. Compared to killing Zhu Chiwu, the damage to the human race would be countless times greater. The phantom demon should cooperate with the bewitching demon. When these two demons cooperate with each other, the effects will be doubled. Whether they are bewitching demons or phantom demons, they are rare species among the demon clan. In particular, there are very few who can cultivate to the peak of god status. If they fail, it will be a huge loss for the demon clan if they are killed by Zhu Chi Wu. 22. Therefore, the demon clan made a huge gamble for this time. Accompanied by the bewitching voice, Lin Moyu thought a lot as his eyes swept across the six demons. The bewitching voice continues, trying to invade his soul. It's not easy to control Zhu Chi Wu, but it's much easier to control yourself. After all, he is just the god king. The phantom demon has also moved, and the power of laws and the sounds of bewitching are attacking, trying to drag him into the illusion. However, all intrusions are blocked by the soul world. The souls of the other side realm, the purple jade barrier, are not so easy to break through. The demons did not kill him immediately. Lin Moyu knew very well that they wanted to control himself more than killing him. While the demons were trying to control Lin Moyu, Lin Moyu was also thinking about how to deal with them. Flame demons are the main thugs among the demon clan. They are numerous and powerful. However, their shortcomings are that they are irritable and their brains are not very easy to use. As your cultivation level increases, this shortcoming will become more and more obvious. The result is that there are obviously many flame demons, but there are no more peak experts than other demons. The three-headed snake demon and the abyss dragon demon are from the abyssal family of demons, and they exude a strange and gloomy aura. Lin Moyu has dealt with the Abyss Dragon Demon and knows how powerful he is. The Abyss Dragon Demon is also one of the royal family. It is said that he has a trace of dragon blood, is powerful in combat, and can be said to be invincible in the same realm. Lin Moyu has never dealt with the Three-Headed Snake Demon, but has only read the information. The Three-Headed Snake Demon has three heads, and each head has an independent talent spell that controls three laws, which is extremely weird. Lin Moyu decided to attack the Abyss Dragon Demon. Among the six demon gods, the Abyss Dragon Demon has the most powerful attack and poses the greatest threat to himself. As for the bewitching demons and phantom demons, their main methods are to confuse and control them. They pose the least threat to themselves and can be left until the end. The soul shooting bow appeared in his hand. And when Lin Moyu was about to move, the barrier that trapped Zhu Chi Wu suddenly roared, and the entire barrier shook. The chanting sound of the Pagoda Buddha was interrupted, You guys move quickly, I won't be able to trap him for too long by myself. At this time, the only Blackstone tribe god said, I am quick. One of his arms was severed on the spot and flew directly into the barrier. The severed arm exploded within the barrier and turned into countless black powder which fell on Zhu Chi Wu. The barrier became quiet again. Lin Moyu heard Zhu Chi Wu's voice at this moment, kill the Blackstone clan first. His words instantly caused Lin Moyu to change his chosen target and aim at the Blackstone clan god. 
The problem is that now it cannot be soul locked, the spell is sealed, and it cannot be marked with the bone hell. The Blackstone tribesman felt Lin Moyu's gaze, trembled all over, and quickly retreated. The scene where Lin Moyu instantly killed four Golden Eagle clan gods, just now, is still vivid in his mind. Lin Moyu's magic is too powerful and weird. But at the same time, he thought that Lin Moyu's technique had been sealed and could not be used at all, and he immediately felt relieved. But the seeds of fear have been planted in my heart, and I am still a little scared. The Blackstone tribe god roared, hurry up and kill him. When the bewitched demons and phantom demons saw that their control methods were ineffective, they gave up immediately. The flaming demon spewed out demonic fire, and boundless fire rain fell from the starry sky, covering a hundred thousand miles in radius with dark green flames. Demonic fire is not only extremely hot, but also highly corrosive. Lin Moyu waved the golden sword and the golden rolls formed a defense and firmly protected him. The abyss dragon demon sprayed out dragon breath, which turned into black lightning and kept blasting towards Lin Moyu. The head on the left side of the three-headed snake demon has gray light shining from its eyes. Lin Moyu's body stiffened, and his skin was covered with a layer of lime substance. Petrification of the Law of Stone? Lin Moyu instantly understood that this was a technique from the Law of Stone, which could turn the target into stone. The spells are banned, and even passive spells are affected, making them unable to be immune to various abnormal conditions. The situation is very unfavorable for Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu didn't panic. He drank lightly and his breath began to surge. In the blink of an eye, Lin Moyu has reached the level of Little God. A second later, Lin Moyu broke through the Little God and officially stepped into the God. His aura climbed all the way up to the fifth level of God. A dazzling gray and white galaxy emerged from Lin Moyu's head, and strange stars rose from behind, leaping into the law galaxy. Gray and white starlight falls, forming a strange scene of moonlit stars and rivers. All the gods present were extremely shocked at this moment and said, I can't believe it. Law Vision And it is integrated into the vision of the law galaxy. Isn't he the God King? Why did he suddenly become the God King? What kind of secret method is this? It's so terrifying. Shouldn't magic be banned? Why isn't the secret technique banned? The spells are indeed banned, but only ordinary spells are banned, and the 790 original spells are not included in this list. The level of the original spell is too high. It comes from the Source Bird and contains the power of the Source which cannot be restricted by ordinary methods. Using original technique, gathering strength, Lin Moyu broke through to the Supreme God, and the effect of the forbidden magic barrier was immediately greatly reduced. Lin Moyu got in touch with his magic star again. The spells can already be used, but the power of attack spells such as corpse explosion and curses needs to be weakened. However, spells such as summoning and bone hell are completely unrestricted. Lin Moyu's heart moved, and the hell of bones emerged instantly, covering the starry sky. A large number of slaves rushed out of hell and killed the guest god. Four of the slaves of the Golden Eagle clan's god were killing the Blackstone clan's god at the same time. At the same time, thousands of skeleton gods will reappear in the starry sky, surrounding several gods. For a moment, the sword energy dispelled the darkness and the white sword energy intertwined into a sea in the starry sky. What? What kind of magic is this? Except for the Pagoda Buddha, all the gods and deities have sutras. I am not afraid that you will fight back, but I am afraid that you will not fight back. As soon as the Blackstone tribe god made his move, the bone hell was instantly marked, and Lin Moyu also completed the lock simultaneously. The ancient talisman Jade Peace appeared in the hand, and all the soul power was poured into it. At the same time, a drop of colorful water appeared on Lin Moyu's fingertips, and was sent into the auspicious talisman Jade Peace. The Jade Peace of ancient talisman bloomed with bright light, and a giant fist formed instantly and blasted towards the Blackstone tribe god, water of many colors. The eyes of all the gods shrank sharply. At their level, how could they not know about the water of ten thousand colors? 
using colorful water to amplify the attack, coupled with the power of rules brought by the ancient talisman and jade piece, the power of this punch is probably beyond imagination. The Blackstone tribe god's hair exploded on the spot, and the rocks all over his body made a harsh friction sound. Without even thinking about it, he wanted to run away on the spot, even without his own severed hand. Let alone sealing and trapping Zhu Chiwu. The most important thing now is to save his life, and nothing else can be taken care of. His instinct told him that if he was hit by this punch, he would die. Lin Moyu shook his head, you can't escape. The ancient talisman's giant fist shone brightly, and there was a terrible suction force on it, firmly grasping the Blackstone clan's god. Not only did the Blackstone tribe god fail to escape, but he involuntarily moved closer to his fist. Lin Moyu stopped looking at him, the Blackstone tribe god was dead. With the blessing of the colorful water, the punch from the ancient talisman jade piece has surpassed that of the peak god. Even if we don't reach the other side, the difference won't be too much. Quickly, kill Lin Moyu. Don't hold back, kill him with all your strength. The demon clan god roared, and the attack became even more frenzied. But under the protection of the golden sword, they couldn't capture Lin Moyu for a while. The screams of the black stone tribe's god rang in his ears, and his body turned into smoke and dust under the ancient talisman's giant fist. As soon as he died, countless black energy flew out of Zhu Wu's body. The barrier that had just been stabilized began to vibrate violently again. Pagoda Buddha went all out to guard the boundary. The pagoda above his head was shining with starlight, and the pagoda inside the barrier was also shining with starlight, shrouding Zhu Wu. It can be seen from his face that it is difficult for him to trap Zhu Wu alone. Lin Moyu also knew that as long as he delayed a little longer, Yi Ji Wu could get out of trouble. Now they are competing for time. The demon gods want to kill Lin Moyu in the shortest possible time. Once Zhu Wu escapes, they will be the ones who die. The abyss dragon demon roared, let out a fierce dragon roar, and at the same time spurted out the black blood of starfish. Black blood gathered in the starry sky, emitting a pungent smell of blood. With my blood, I honor our ancestors. A huge sound rang out, and blood exploded, forming a rain of blood. In the rain of blood, a huge dragon eye appeared, followed by the entire dragon body. Not the real body, but the shadow. The phantom projected from the other shore realm. Lin Moyu took a look and found that Yuan Ran was still an old acquaintance. The one who came was none other than the abyss dragon demon whose clones were killed by him. It's you. The dragon demon projection looked at Lin Moyu and roared suddenly. Lin Moyu smiled slightly, long time no see. When the enemy met, he was extremely jealous, and the dragon demon projection roared, I will eat you. He opened his bloody mouth and rushed towards Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu completely ignored him. He believed that the golden sword could protect him. He locked onto the body of the abyss dragon demon present, and a soul shooting bow appeared above his head. The soul was injected into it, forming a purple soul arrow. With his fifth level divine realm, even with his own soul of the other side, this arrow can at most be able to deal with a sixth level divine being. However, this arrow was only the foundation. Lin Moyu took out five more drops of colorful water and put them all into the arrow. The soul arrow was suddenly dyed with various colors and turned into mist, then the power of faith amplified the soul again. Today, the power of faith is not much, but it can increase to some extent. The law galaxy pours out, and a large amount of law power is integrated into the soul arrow. The gray and white colors on the soul arrow flashed and became sharper. The space around the soul arrow began to collapse, and strands of the power of rules began to emanate. Another colorful water. And it's not just one drop, there are five drops. Where did he get so much colorful water? Those old guys from the human race treated him too kindly. Is he the illegitimate son of the Holy Lord? The abyss dragon demon has become frightened, this arrow is very dangerous. Whoosh. The soul arrow flashed past and shot towards the abyss dragon demon. The middle head of the three-headed snake demon shot out a dim light at the same time. 
The dim light came last and hit the soul arrow. The three-headed snake demon retreated amid the screams, its scales almost bursting. The head in the middle will spurt out blood, and the same blood will scatter into the sky. But because of this blockage, the attack power of the soul arrow was weakened by at least 30%. The abyss dragon demon's heart sounded alarm, and he spurted out a gray-shaped bell, which hit the soul arrow. The bell echoed in the starry sky, and the soul arrow was finally blocked. The abyss dragon demon's eyes finally felt a little relieved. He couldn't imagine why Lin Moyu could perform such a terrifying attack. If the arrow just hit me, my skin would peel off even if I didn't die. The dragon demon projection roared, I'll eat you. He opened the dragon's mouth, and boundless suction was born in the dragon's mouth, trying to swallow Lin Moyu. As the projection of the abyss dragon demon in the other side, he can also control the power of rules. Lin Moyu snorted, the golden sword glowed brightly, and he swung it towards the dragon demon projection. At the same time, five drops of colorful water flew out and landed on the golden sword. A huge golden sword suddenly appeared in the starry sky. The sword was burning with golden fire, and it slashed towards the dragon demon projection. The golden rules of the heavenly saint. How could you possess the magic weapon of the heavenly saint? The dragon demon projection was struck by the golden sword, instantly ignited, and burned to ashes in the golden flames. It's water of many colors again, where did you get so much water of many colors? The abyss dragon demon screamed, and the phantom of the ancestor he summoned was destroyed so easily. You must know that although it is just a shadow of the other side, its true strength is not weaker than your own. Lin Moyu had a sneer, so naturally it was impossible to answer him. After repeated attacks, his soul power was exhausted. He let out a light drink, and his aura once again increased to the sixth level of God. The soul collapsed on the spot. All the gods were stunned for a moment. Lin Moyu actually committed suicide? His soul collapsed and he could no longer die. But just for a moment, their expressions changed. A flash of purple light flashed, Lin Moyu completed his rebirth, and then the original spell was activated, and his aura increased sharply again. A second later, Lin Moyu returned to his peak and returned to the fifth level of the Divine Lord again, with abundant soul power and powerful aura. What the hell is he doing? What did he do? Puzzled, unable to understand. What happened in front of them was far beyond their understanding. Why is Lin Moyu's secret technique so powerful, why can he resurrect from the dead, and why does he transform from a god king to a god, Zhao, without having to pay any price? What answered them was Lin Moyu's more aggressive offensive. The purple soul arrow appeared again on the soul shooting bow, and at the same time, ten drops of colorful water flew out and merged into the main body. Lin Moyu poured all the remaining power of faith into it. The soul arrow pulsed with purple light, the power of rules emerged naturally, and the surrounding space began to collapse. The soul arrow exuded an aura that made the peak god tremble. Water of ten thousand colors, water of ten thousand colors again, why do you have so much water of ten thousand colors? Several gods screamed. Even they rarely get a drop of colorful water, but Lin Moyu can take it out easily. Is he really the illegitimate son of the Holy Lord? Even the Holy Lord doesn't use it like this, they have already decided to give up. The third head of the three-headed snake demon automatically fell off and turned into lightning and shot to Lin Moyu. A dark law galaxy appeared with a snake head, and then the snake head suddenly exploded, the starry sky collapsed on the spot, and a black hole appeared in the starry sky. The snake head suddenly self-destructed, detonating together with the law galaxy, which was extremely powerful, comparable to the self-destruction of a peak god. The explosion shattered the starry sky and caused countless turbulent flows of energy. A black hole was formed at the center of the explosion, and Lin Moyu was swallowed by the black hole. The black hole seems to have swallowed up everything, even the light of the golden rule has been obscured. A powerful force burst out, forming a violent shock wave and impacting everyone. The pagoda above the Buddha's head sheds thousands of starlights, protecting him firmly. 
The demons also used the power of the peak gods to resist the shock wave. They stared at the center of the explosion without blinking. The pagoda Buddha's face was expressionless. He was also staring at the black hole caused by the explosion. At the same time, he was wary of the three-headed snake demon. The self-destruction of the three-headed snake demon has reached the true limit of the peak god, and the rules have been promoted and the power of the rules has been activated. This kind of power is enough to kill any peak god. Just die. Should be dead. The three-headed snake demon, which is missing one of its heads, is slightly sluggish at this moment. I used the abyss black crystal to attract the black hole law. It has been raised in the snake head for two thousand years. I detonated it in one go. There is no reason why it can't be killed. Two thousand years of accumulation exploded at this moment, and its power was indeed astonishing. However, the three-headed snake demon paid a high price of two hundred and fifty. He lost a head. It is not difficult to regenerate the brain. What is difficult is to restore it to its original state. After two thousand years of accumulation, it is almost impossible to fully recover. But the thought of killing Lin Moyu seemed worth it. At this time, the barrier suddenly shook violently. Zhu Chi Wu seemed to sense the situation outside and began to struggle wildly. Pagoda Buddha's expression changed, I can't control him anymore, come and help me. Several demons immediately flew towards the barrier to regain control of the barrier. Suddenly, an inconspicuous purple light flew out of the black hole and instantly penetrated into the head of the abyss dragon demon. The abyss dragon demon immediately stopped in the starry sky and lost its response. The light in its eyes dimmed and its soul was annihilated on the spot. Then there was a loud bang, and the body of the three-headed snake demon exploded on the spot. At the same time, the body of the Golden Eagle tribe god who was finally killed was completely turned into smoke and dust. Everything happened so fast that even if they were peak gods, they couldn't react. The soul arrow killed the abyss dragon demon, and the corpse exploded to kill the three-headed snake demon with only half-life left. Lin Moyu accomplished two things in an instant. No, Lin Moyu is still alive. Just as the thought arose, a golden sword light cut through the black hole and struck the barrier heavily. The Kfa barrier that was shaking violently exploded completely with this sword. It's over. The same thought came to everyone's mind. Crazy laughter resounded through the starry sky, and the incomparable Law Galaxy emerged in the starry sky. In the galaxy of laws, countless stars are falling apart and disillusioned. The entire law galaxy is filled with terrifying power of destruction. Among the second echelon, one of the most powerful laws is the broken star law. Under this law, stars disintegrate and nothing remains intact. On the law galaxy, Xu Qi's figure appeared. Other people's law galaxies are emerging above the head, but Xu Qi Wu's law galaxy is surrounding it, and some of it has even entered his body, making it difficult to distinguish them from each other. Run away, the remaining four demon clan gods and Pagoda Buddha turned around and fled. Zhu Chi Wu sneered, You can't. As soon as he finished speaking, the law galaxy suddenly expanded, covering thousands of miles of starry sky in an instant. The galaxy of laws swallowed them all up. The five people were hit by the law at the same time, and they all groaned. Pagoda Buddha has a pagoda above his head, which sheds light and protects his body. He is also holding a pagoda in his hand, which is the same as the pagoda above his head, but smaller. This pagoda is the one that suppressed Zhu Chi Wu in the barrier before. The pagoda in his hand released dense lightning, forcibly blasting a path through the galaxy of laws. Protect yourself with the pagoda on your head, and open the pagoda in your hands. The two pagodas attack and defend in perfect coordination. It seemed that the pagoda Buddha was not in danger for a while but under the continuous bombardment of the broken star law, he could not hold on for long. The four demon clan gods are having a hard time, especially the bewitching demons and phantom demons. They are not the main battle demons in the first place. Whether it is defense or attack power, it is far inferior to the main battle demon. In the realm, frontal combat ability is almost at the bottom. 
they are struggling to survive in the galaxy of laws. The black hole, caused by the explosion disappeared, and Lin Moyu flew out surrounded by golden light. It seemed that he was safe and sound. But if you look closely, you will find that the golden sword in his hand has become much darker. It seems that the power of the rules is about to be exhausted, far less than before. There is still a purple light lingering around Lin Moyu's body. The golden sword in the self-destructed black hole just now did not completely protect him. He died once and was reborn through his talent. Finally, he used the colorful water to amplify the golden sword and block the subsequent attacks. Lin Moyu had a touch of joy in his eyes, fortunately, there is Wan Kai water, otherwise it would have been dangerous this time. The pinnacle god is indeed not someone to be trifled with. If they had been prepared, I might also be in danger. I must not be careless in the future and must be careful. Seeing Lin Moyu, Zhu Chiwu laughed loudly, here comes the boy. Watch me kill these bugs. Let's drink and chat again. Zhu Chiwu was in a good mood at the moment, and with one palm strike, huge waves surged in the Law Galaxy. Stars exploded into pieces in the Galaxy of Laws, unleashing a terrifying impact. Amidst the screams, the most fragile phantom finally failed to hold on and was blown into pieces. Then came the bewitched demons, who soon followed in the footsteps of the phantom demons. There were only two flame demons left in the Law Galaxy. They knew they could not escape and began to fight back crazily. All kinds of magic weapons were thrown away by them, and Japanese items exploded in the Galaxy of Laws. The power of the magic weapon's self-destruction is also not small, causing the Law Galaxy to shake. It's useless, stop struggling, just accept death. Zhu Chiwu laughed loudly. The Law Galaxy became more violent, and Zhu Chiwu stood high in it, like a god in the galaxy, controlling life and death. After being stained with the blood of the God Lord, the Law Galaxy added a touch of blood. Lin Moyu felt that Zhu Chiwu's rules began to sublimate, and the characteristics of rules appeared. The starry sky became distorted and its power increased significantly. The twisted power fell on the flame demon, and large areas of cracks appeared in the flame demon's body. They screamed in agony, as if they were enduring unimaginable torture. The Pagoda Buddha is also under the attack of the Broken Star Law at this moment. The starlight falling from the Pagoda is also distorted. Cracks are constantly appearing on the Pagoda and it is about to collapse. The Buddha from the Pagoda took out a Buddhist bead and crushed it into pieces with such force, I invite you, the ancient Buddha of many treasures, to come. A ray of Buddha's light appeared out of thin air, and the Buddha's voice seemed to fly from the farthest place, echoing in the starry sky. On the Law Galaxy, an ancient Buddha appeared out of thin air. The ancient Buddha is sitting on a lotus throne, with a majestic appearance and a commanding presence. This is a trace of the ancient Buddha's soul. Lin Moyu immediately discovered that there was a trace of the soul of the ancient Buddha in the Pagoda Buddha's crushed beads. Use the soul as a guide to attract the power of the multi-treasure ancient Buddha. This is the power of the real other side realm, and the galaxy of laws and regulations of Shenkiwu suddenly became unstable. Zhu Chiwu laughed loudly, a trace of the soul of the ancient Buddha, okay, okay, Lao Zhu. I will use the spirit of the ancient Buddha as a stone to reach the other shore. The next second, a purple light flashed past. The purple light seemed to contain thousands of colors, beautiful and dreamy. Wherever the purple soul arrow passed, the space collapsed. The power of rules is on the soul arrow. Hundreds of drops of multicolored water blended into it, raising the power of the soul arrow to an astonishing level once again surpassing the gods and reaching the other shore. The purple soul arrow flashed past and engulfed the Duobao ancient Buddha. The ancient Duobao Buddha that just appeared had no time to make a sound, and the entire projection collapsed on the spot. How dare you kill the ancient Buddha? Pagoda Buddha screamed with an expression of disbelief. Zhu Chiwu also looked at Lin Moyu in shock. You kid, you are too quick to start, Infu is still being used as a stepping stone. Lin Moyu said in a low voice, there are many stepping stones. If you want to find them, just go directly to the Buddha clan. There should be a lot of ancient Buddhas there. 
Zhu Chiwu looked strange, you are teasing me. To break into the Buddhist clan, even Ichiwu's ten lives are not enough. Unless he becomes a saint one day, he can go to the Buddhist clan. Zhu Chiwu snorted, you are so capable, I leave this Buddha to you. As he spoke, he raised his hand to deal with the remaining two flame demon gods. Lin Moyu burst into laughter. Zhu Chiwu's temper was really petty. He just robbed him of his stepping stone and just found another one. The two of them were talking to themselves, not caring about the feelings of Pagoda Buddha and not taking him into their hearts. Even though he had killed them all, he still asked how he dared. Pagoda Buddha felt that his words were somewhat removed. He was indeed frightened by Lin Moyu, the projection of the ancient Buddha, who killed him whenever he asked, showing no mercy at all. The starlight falling from the pagoda is constantly distorting under the galaxy of Zhu Chiwu's laws, and is about to burst. Lin Moyu stretched out his finger, and the bone hell emerged, covering the pagoda Buddha, do you have any other means? If not, prepare to go to the paradise. Pagoda Buddha strives to control the pagoda above his head, which is his most important support, Donor Lin, our Buddhist race has always had a relationship with the human race. You Buddhists all have something wrong with your heads. Lin Moyu interrupted him, now that the two sides are fighting to the death, they still want to talk about the relationship between the two races. Is it useful? The four Golden Eagle clan deities from the Skeleton Hell flew away, and in conjunction with the Skeleton God Generals they had summoned earlier, launched an indiscriminate bombardment attack on the Pagoda Buddha. In normal times, with the realm of my Pagoda Buddha, no matter how many skeleton gods and generals there are, it would be difficult to cause harm to him. But now, his Pagoda is about to collapse. Skeleton Hell and Skeleton God General came in to finish the job like the last straw. The Pagoda continued to tremble during the attack, and there were more and more cracks on it. Duobao Buddha also felt Lin Moyu's murderous intention. Once the pagoda collapsed, he would definitely die. The only way now is to fight for Halloween. If not, then go to bliss. If it succeeds, then continue to be his Buddha. On second thought, he made a decision. Amitba. The pagoda Buddha chanted the Buddha's name, took out another Buddhist bead, and threw it directly into his mouth. The beads entered his mouth and melted like elixir, and his breath rose sharply. The laws in him gradually transformed into the power of rules. Using the secret method of elixirs to forcibly improve the realm, although it is not yet the other side realm, it has surpassed the god. The state of the pagoda Buddha at this time is very similar to Zhu Chiwu, with half a foot crossing the law galaxy and stepping into the other side. But Zhu Chiwu went up through self-realization, while pagoda Buddha went up through the secret method of elixirs. In Lin Moyu's view, this is self-destruction. In the future, the Pagoda Buddha may never have the chance to become a Buddha. But now it's important to save one's life, so it's understandable that he would do this. Even if one's life is gone, it is naturally impossible to become an ancient Buddha. When the Pagoda Buddha completed the secret method, the Pagoda Buddha's light exploded at the same time. The Pagoda magic weapon finally reached its limit was covered with cracks and lost its effect. The Pagoda Buddha is shining brightly at this moment, and a law galaxy full of golden light appears around him. The law galaxy surrounds him, no longer appearing above his head, but surrounding him. The stars surrounding him are also a sign that one foot has stepped into the other side, which is different from other gods. Zhu Chiwu glanced at him and said, Boy, do you want some help? No need. Lin Moyu didn't panic. He held the golden sword to protect himself and controlled the skeletons to attack crazily. The slaves in the skeleton hell were also attacking crazily. The attack seems strong, but it is difficult to really shake the pagoda Buddha. He was safe and sound under the protection of the law galaxy. Amitba. The pagoda Buddha proclaimed the name of the Buddha and looked at Lin Moyu with hatred in his eyes. The cause of today will be the result of tomorrow. Donor Lin and Donor Zhu, you are pressing each other step by step. This Buddha can only fight with death. He also held a small pagoda in his hand. The pagoda bloomed with Buddha's light, 
and then golden thunder and lightning blasted out. As the realm improves, the power of the magic weapon also becomes greater. The golden thunder and lightning turned into a sea of thunder, and then combined with the galaxy of laws of the Pagoda Buddha, forcefully creating a space in Zhu Chiwu's galaxy of laws. The laws and galaxies of both sides began to compete, refusing to give in to each other. The hell of bones shattered, and the slave thugs inside also disappeared at the same time. A smile appeared on Lin Moyu's lips, I caught you. Pagoda Buddha defeated the bone hell, allowing Lin Moyu to successfully complete the mark. Lin Moyu's expression made Pagoda Buddha feel bad. At this time Lin Moyu pointed out. Stellar level magic, corpse explosion. Boom. A violent explosion occurred out of thin air. Just like when he killed the Golden Eagle clan god before, it was silent and without any precautions. Pagoda Buddha only felt a terrifying force falling on him, as if countless terrifying fists were hitting him at the same time. The body seemed to be torn apart. It was not only the body that was attacked, but also the soul. The corpse of the bewitched demon turned into smoke and disappeared at this moment. Lin Moyu was slightly startled, not dead? Life is tough. At this moment, the influence of the forbidden magic barrier has long disappeared, and the Pagoda Buddha was not killed in one blow. It can only be said that the vitality of the bewitching demon is too weak. The power of the house explosion is also weakened accordingly. At the same time, it was because the Pagoda Buddha stepped into the other side with one foot and became stronger that he blocked this attack. But it doesn't matter, there are still bodies around. The Phantom Demon, the Abyss Dragon Demon, and the Three-Headed Snake Demon, their corpses are all weapons. In addition to them, Lin Moyu also has the body of the Star Fire Vine. The finger clicked again, and the second explosion broke out immediately. The Pagoda Buddha had no way to dodge or resist. There was another loud noise, and the Pagoda Buddha was blown to pieces. The Buddha's light on his body was dim, and even the Law Galaxy was on the verge of collapse. Zhu Chiwu's Law Galaxy took advantage of the situation and came over. Pagoda Buddha is in despair, Lin Moyu's attack is too strange and powerful, he didn't understand why he was just a god king and could kill him so easily. He is the Pinnacle Buddha, equivalent to the Pinnacle Buddha of the human race. Now he is destroying his foundation and forcibly raising his level but it is still useless. At most, he can only block it twice more. Why is this happening? Why is Lin Moyu so powerful? There were too many doubts in his heart, but these doubts were destined not to be answered. The sound of the third explosion reached his ears, and Pagoda Buddha felt that his body had completely collapsed and his soul began to disintegrate. Consciousness is sinking into boundless darkness. Amitba. The soul proclaimed the Buddha's name for the last time in its life. After being blown up three times in a row, the Pagoda Buddha finally went to the paradise he had longed for. Two screams were heard not far away, and the bodies of the two flame demons were torn apart, like the stars in the galaxy of laws being disillusioned. If you die under the broken star law, there will be no whole corpse. The galaxy of laws gradually dissipated, and the great war finally came to an end. There were many corpses floating in the starry sky. Lin Moyu would not waste it and immediately asked the skeleton god to collect them. Two corpses of the flame demon, one corpse of the abyss dragon demon, and one corpse of the pagoda Buddha. After a big battle, four corpses of the peak gods were obtained, plus the corpses of the stellar fire vine that were exchanged. Lin Moyu possesses five copies of the ninth-level corpse of the deity. This is equivalent to five powerful weapons, each of which can unleash an attack that surpasses the peak of the god. In addition to the corpses, there are also storage props left by several gods. 303. They are the pinnacle gods. They have lived for thousands of years, and they will definitely collect a lot of good things. There are also two pagodas, one large and one small, left by the Buddha. These two pagodas are obviously a pair, the big one is mainly for defense, and the small one is mainly for offense. They are a good thing that integrates offense and defense. 
It's a pity that the big pagoda is now full of cracks and damaged. But Lin Moyu's eyes were shining, it didn't matter if it was broken, it was still of great use to him. Zhu Chiwu came to Lin Moyu, why did you come to me? Lin Moyu smiled and said, I heard that you are doing something big, so I came over to see if I can help. Do you think I will believe what you say? Zhu Chiwu looked at Lin Moyu with a smile, as if a genius would believe you. Lin Moyu smiled and said, I got a good thing, it may be useful to you. Zhu Chiwu's curiosity was aroused, oh? It seems to be a good thing. Given Zhu Chiwu's level, there were very few things that were useful to him. Lin Moyu chuckled, and rarely gave up, this is not urgent, I am very curious, why are you trapped here? Zhu Chiwu frowned slightly, looking a little depressed, it's okay not to mention this matter. Lin Moyu knew from the look on his face that Zhu Chiwu must have suffered a loss, otherwise it wouldn't be the case. But this aroused his curiosity again, but it doesn't hurt. The meaning behind the words is, if you are unhappy, tell me, and it will make me happy. Zhu Chiwu stared at Lin Moyu and bit out, how come I didn't realize you were like this before? Is it so fun to hear other people's bad luck? Lin Moyu chuckled, just tell me, I promise not to laugh, and I will be like you in the future, so I don't get fooled by others. Zhu Chiwu looked at Lin Moyu, just you? It's good if you don't cheat others, but you are afraid that others will cheat you. Although he didn't really want to say it, he finally told Lin Moyu. He came here for two reasons. One is what Lin Moyu knows and the information given by the Su family. The top gods of several tribes were ready to attack him and prevent him from truly reaching the other side. Similarly, Zhu Chiwu also wants to use them as stepping stones and step on them to take a step further. The gods of all races want to snipe Zhu Chiwu. If Zhu Chiwu shrinks back after learning about it, it will affect his Taoist heart and eventually lead to slow promotion or even failure. So Zhu Chiwu had a reason to go. In Zhu Chiwu's explanation, Lin Moyu understood one more thing. The so-called step on the bloody road, use killing as a guide, and use blood to make the road is not a slogan. Its true meaning is to bathe in blood in battle, sublimate one's power in battle, use the blood of the enemy as a stepping stone, and truly leap to the other side. Even if one foot has already set foot on the other side, it will take a long time to truly enter the other side. It can be as short as ten years, or as long as hundreds or thousands of years. Going on a bloody road, fighting all the way, and boiling blood and fighting spirit can effectively shorten this part of the time. Therefore, most of the gods will choose this path after understanding the true meaning of the other side and stepping into the other side. This reason alone was enough for Zhu Chiwu to come. The second reason is also the information from the Su family. The Buddhas seem to have discovered a way to obtain Suzaku's eggs. This time, Pagoda Buddha came over just to try and see if this was possible. If it is feasible, the ancient Buddha or even the Buddha will take action next time and come to collect the Suzaku eggs. The Suzaku battlefield is Zhu Chiwu's territory, and E. Jiwu will naturally not sit idly by. Zhu Chiwu came, but he didn't expect that all the tribes would really lay a dragnet against Zhu Chiwu. The first line is the barrier. This barrier has been specially modified to target Zhu Chiwu. The barrier contains the power of the rules of the other side of the demon clan, which greatly reduces the power of Xing Jiwu's broken star rules. The second is the Blackstone clan. The peak god of the Blackstone clan, at the cost of self-destruction, turned into a black powder prison, making it impossible for Zhu Chiwu to escape. Then there is the Buddha clan. The Pagoda Buddha uses his mother-child Pagoda to constantly attack Zhu Chiwu, consuming his power and leaving him with no time to care. The Golden Eagle clan also used high-level divine magic weapons to create an independent space. In this space, isolated from the world, Zhu Chiwu could not escape from the emotional laws of the outside world. In this way, as long as the time is delayed long enough, even if Zhu Chiwu cannot be killed, his path to promotion to the other side can be cut off. Everything was planned perfectly, and Zhu Chiwu was indeed trapped. Unexpectedly, Lin Moyu came and ruined the whole plan. None of the twelve peak gods from each clan escaped, and they all died. Moreover, 
Because of the special environment here, the space was blocked in advance, and even the news could not be sent back. After Zhu Chiwu finished speaking, he looked at Lin Moyu and said, Okay, this is what happened. You can laugh if you want. Zhu Chiwu admitted that he was careless this time. It could also be said that he was too confident in his own strength, otherwise he would not have fallen into a trap. Lin Moyu did not laugh, but asked, doubtfully, where is your battleship? Zhu Chiwu said, the battleships are naturally handed in. Since I started my bloody journey, the battleships will be turned in according to the rules. When the superiors appoint a new guard, he will bring the battleship over. Only then did Lin Moyu understand that what he had been thinking was that with a warship comparable to the other shore realm approaching, Zhu Chiwu could attack and retreat, and he would not be trapped at all. Unexpectedly, it turned out that the battleship had been handed over. Lin Moyu asked again, Do you know how to obtain Suzaku eggs? 4.2 Zhu Chiwu gave Lin Moyu a strange look, Didn't you kill the Pagoda Buddha? Go and ask him yourself. Well, it seems he doesn't know. But the matter is not urgent. Lin Moyu already understands the cause and effect, and is slightly wary. If you embark on a bloody road in the future, you must not be careless. Especially since he has become a thorn in the eyes of all races, he has become increasingly cautious. Zhu Chiwu asked, Now you can tell me what good things you got. 117 Lin Moyu stopped playing tricks and took out the jade sign containing the broken star rules and threw it to Zhu Chiwu. Zhu Chiwu took the jade token with doubts and checked the information inside with a movement of his soul. The next second, he stood as stiff as iron, his eyes widened, motionless. He muttered something, the inheritance of broken star rules. How could it be the inheritance of rules? Zhu Chiwu looked at the jade plaque and then at Lin Moyu, his voice trembling, how did you get this thing? Lin Moyu talked about his experience in the dark void and talked about the broken star supreme. When Zhu Chiwu heard the name of the supreme, his expression changed again. He murmured, according to this, the one above the saint is the supreme. Lin Moyu nodded, probably. The other shore realm and the holy master actually belong to the other shore realm. The holy master is just a more powerful version of the other shore realm, and its essence has not changed. The supreme is another realm, and it is extremely difficult to achieve this realm. The previous intruder from the black blood world, he once said that there is no supreme in the big world now. Obviously, he is afraid of the Supreme, which not only shows the power of the Supreme, but also shows how difficult it is to become the Supreme. The former Supreme Being could guard the void by one person. Intruders as powerful as the Black Blood Realm can hardly get past the Thunder Pond. Lin Moyu couldn't imagine, for the time being how powerful the Supreme could be. Maybe one day, when I become the Supreme, I will understand. Lin Moyu looked at Zhu Chiwu and said, Senior, is this thing useful to you? Zhu Chiwu snorted lightly, 22, just SOSO. He said this, but he moved faster than anyone else, and he had already put away the jade token before he finished speaking. With the inheritance of broken star rules, not only can Zhu Chiwu sublimate the power of rules into the power of rules more quickly, but he can also enter the other side of the world more smoothly. And after entering the other side realm, he can still advance with great success and continue to move towards the Holy Lord. You must know that even though they are both in the other side realm, their strengths are very different. Not to mention the other side realm, even if they are both saints, their strength is very different. The killing saint is very strong, but he cannot beat the heavenly saint. The combat power of Saint Hao is a mystery. The laws of the virtual realm are very special. When dealing with opponents who are stronger than themselves, their use will be greatly weakened, but when dealing with opponents weaker than himself, he is a supreme killer, extremely terrifying. Lin Moyu asked, Where do you plan to go next, senior? Zhu Chiwu rolled his eyes, Of course it's killing. We humans have a saying, it's disrespectful to come back and not go back. Since they have prepared a big gift for me, I naturally have to give something in return but I still need your help. When he said these words, there was murderous intent rising in Ijiwu's eyes. 
If the murderous aura had substance, the newly restored starry sky crackled, and spider web like cracks appeared again. Lin Moyu seemed to have guessed what Zhu Chiwu was going to do, I'll do something first. Zhu Chiwu nodded, You do it, the saint's affairs are not urgent. As he spoke, Zhu Chiwu stepped aside, took the jade plaque, and began to study it. The inheritance of the broken star rules and the powerful supreme from ancient times have great appeal to Zhu Chiwu. There are a large and a small pagoda floating in front of him. Lin Moyu guessed that the name of the Pagoda Buddha is probably because of these two pagodas. From the perspective of magic weapons, this mother-child pagoda is indeed very good. Its quality reaches the high level of God Realm and is better than ordinary God Realm magic weapons. It's a pity that the main tower responsible for defense has collapsed, and the sub-towers can still be used, but as an offensive magic weapon, they are overkill. The pagoda should be famous, but Lin Moyu doesn't need to know it. It doesn't matter. Immortal flames burned in the palm of his hand, and a spell that had not been used for a long time was used. Stellar level spell, summon the elemental lich. Summon elemental lich, fusion degree 150% use materials of different elements to summon different types of elemental liches. The quality of materials will determine the level and growth limit of the elemental lich. The elemental lich can also increase its growth limit by absorbing higher quality materials. The elemental lich will not really die. After being fatally attacked, it will be reborn in the magic star. Only one elemental lich of the same type can exist at the same time. The immortal flames burned blazingly surrounding the mother-child pagoda and refining it. The level of the mother-child pagoda is very high, and the refining speed of the immortal flame is very slow. Lin Moyu was not in a hurry and waited quietly. As long as the spell doesn't fail, refining will be a matter of time. Time passed by, and five minutes later, some changes finally appeared in the mother-child pagoda. Their surfaces began to soften and they followed some strange method and began to transform into another form. Ten minutes later, a ticking sound sounded in the starry sky. The mother-child pagodas began to melt, they turned into liquid, and merged into one with the help of the immortal flames. When the tower body completely melted, the immortal flames soared into the sky, and a powerful aura swept across the starry sky. The flames expanded, covering a hundred thousand miles of starry sky. Lin Moyu frowned slightly and backed away quickly. Zhu Chiwu was also awakened and retreated quickly. He saw how extraordinary the immortal flame was and did not want to come into contact with it. Looking at Lin Moyu's technique, Zhu Chiwu already roughly knew what was going on. Lin Moyu once used Summon Elemental Lich in front of him, and the training room almost exploded. The movement at that time was not small, but it was far less than it is now. If the movement at that time was the same as now, the immortal flames would be enough to devour the entire fortress. The powerful aura spread wantonly in the starry sky, spreading farther and farther. Many starry sky beasts were awakened and looked towards here. Zhu Chiwu snorted, and the pressure beyond the realm of gods erupted. The starry sky beasts immediately fell silent, closed their eyes one after another, and no longer paid attention to this place. Just like during the war just now, which one of them dares to come over, all ten of them are pretending to sleep. The movement of the immortal flame is getting louder and louder, and its scope is also expanding. Lin Moyu and Zhu Chiwu retreated again and again, and in the blink of an eye, they had retreated 300,000 kilometers. Zhu Chiwu said, Can't the noise be quieter? Lin Moyu looked a little helpless, I didn't expect the movement to be so big. Lin Moyu really didn't expect that the movement would be so big. It seems that the quality of the Zima Tower is indeed extraordinary. Lin Moyu is also looking forward to what kind of elemental lich he will eventually summon and what kind of abilities he will have. He now has no shortage of summons with powerful combat power. Instead, he hopes to have summons with 670 special abilities. The immortal flame burned for an hour and under Lin Moyu's expectation, an elemental lich gradually took shape. Its appearance exudes metallic luster, and it looks like countless stars are twinkling. 
Compared with other liches, it looks more slender, a little less cute, and a little more fierce. Owner. A clear voice sounded in his mind, and Lin Moyu received the lich message. Star Tower Lich. Realm, sixth level of God. Grade, high. Growth limit, none. Spell, Incarnation Star Tower. Incarnation Star Tower, transform yourself into a star field, scattering starlight to form a defense, which can withstand all attacks from high-level gods and below, while amplifying first-level attacks. The Star Tower can act on the owner himself or on the entire undead army. Regardless of the number, the effect remains unchanged. Seeing the effect of the Lich, Lin Moyu's eyes flashed with joy. It is indeed an auxiliary Lich. As the level of the undead army increases, the enemies it faces become stronger and stronger, and the speed of its effects decreases. The Golden Armor Talisman can only block the second level attack of the god. If it cannot be upgraded, it will be useless. But the transformation of the Golden Armor Talisman cannot be accomplished overnight, it will take time. The emergence of the Star Tower Lich brings powerful defense to the undead army, perfectly replacing the Golden Armor Talisman. The attack power is further increased, and the combat power of the undead army is greatly improved. Zhu Chiwu leaned over and said, Looking at you, this guy should be pretty good. Lin Moyu nodded, integrated offense and defense, very good. Zhu Chiwu did not ask further questions, but commented on Lin Moyu's technique, your technique is really good. When you used this technique just now, I felt a strange power. It's not a law, and it doesn't look like a rule. It's a very strange force zone. Lin Moyu actually feels a bit like the mysterious power that seems to come from ancient times. It is indeed different from the law and somewhat different from the rules, but Lin Moyu couldn't tell what the real source of this power was. Zhu Chiwu's words reminded him of the system that had disappeared for a long time. The system appeared for the last time and killed the soul of Kongwen Buddha. The fourth grade soul of the dignified god is extremely fragile in front of the system. Thinking back now, the power of the system still shocks Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu had to consider whether the power of the spell came from the system. But when I think about it carefully, I feel that something is not right. There is really a sense of confusion that I cannot understand. In the final analysis, I still don't have enough strength to see clearly. Lin Moyu suppressed his thoughts and said to Zhu Chiwu, It's time to get down to business. Let's ask about the situation of Suzaku Egg first. Saying this, he took out the body of Buddha from the pagoda. The bodies were mutilated, but that didn't matter. Even if there is only a piece of flesh and blood, it is enough to cast spells. Stellar level magic, resurrection of the dead. The immortal flame burned again, the pagoda Buddha's flesh and blood was reborn, and the annihilated soul also reappeared under the mysterious power. Zhu Chiwu clicked his tongue and praised, it's really a magical technique. The dead can be resurrected. I have never heard of this kind of technique. I doubt that you have the bloodline of some ancient powerful man. These techniques should not be available in this era. Lin Moyu smiled and shook his head, I don't know either. I will tell you when I find the answer. Zhu Chiwu chuckled, when you find the answer, I will call you senior. Lin Moyu is not polite, there will be a day. Zhu Chiwu hesitated, knowing that he was being taken advantage of, you are so rude, kid. In the flames, the pagoda Buddha transformed into a resurrected being and quietly knelt down at the feet of Lin Moyu. As Lin Moyu judged, he is the god king, and the resurrection of the dead is enough to resurrect and control the god king. Even the peak god can still control it. If it's the other side state, that won't work. The other side state is too strong, and it will break away from the control of the resurrection of the dead, and even attack itself. Although he will eventually be counterattacked by magic, losing control, for even a second is extremely dangerous. Lin Moyu asked, tell me how to obtain Suzaku eggs. Pagoda Buddha became a resurrected being and could not disobey Lin Moyu's order, so he immediately told what he knew. In fact, the method is very simple. In a mysterious place, they discovered a material they had never seen before. 
Integrating this material into the soul world can make the soul world extremely strong in a short period of time. The most troublesome thing about getting the Suzaku egg is its flame. It will not only burn the body, but also the soul. As long as you can block its flames, it shouldn't be difficult to get the Suzaku egg. Burning the physical body is not a big problem since the Pagoda Buddha has a starlight pagoda to protect him. Coupled with the newly discovered materials, the soul world can ignore the flames in a short period of time. And his purpose this time was not to take away the Suzaku egg, but to try to get close to Suzaku. The one who really came to get the Suzaku eggs was not him, but another Buddha. It happened that the demon clan contacted the Buddha clan and wanted to launch a sniper attack on Zhu Chi Wu, and they happened to be in the Suzaku battlefield. So this matter was also handed over to him. Unexpectedly, the pagoda Buddha died at the hands of Lin Moyu, and he also told the Buddhist method. Lin Moyu found this material from the storage props left by the pagoda Buddha. This is a silver liquid, only the size of a fist. It's thicker than water and slightly sticky, but not much else. The detection technique has no results, only that it is an unknown thing. Zhu Chi Wu looked at the silver liquid curiously, what is this? I have never seen it before. Lin Moyu had never seen it before, but he felt a sense of familiarity and thought for a moment, it seems to be somewhat similar to water of 10,000 colors. Zhu Chi Wu nodded, there is indeed some similarity. Could it be that he is a treasure at the same level as the water of 10,000 colors? However, he was not very sure and was a little unsure. He thought for a moment, how about I try it? Lin Moyu shook his head, I still don't want it. There is only one copy of this material. Once you use it, it will be gone. The resurrected one will not lie. I plan to take it back to the Holy One and let the Holy One study it. Zhu Chi Wu thought it right, okay, let's study it with your respect. Lin Moyu put away the silver liquid and then took out the body of the flame demon. Cast resurrection of the dead again to resurrect the flame demon. Seeing the flame demon and the pagoda Buddha kneeling side by side, Lin Moyu couldn't help but feel a little sad. The two peak gods had wanted to kill him before but now they were kneeling in front of him. The big world is so cruel, life and death can happen in an instant. Lin Moyu asked, tell me the location of the demon fortress in Suzaku battlefield. This is the purpose of resurrecting him, telling the location of the devil's fortress, and Zhu Chi Wu going there to kill people to clear the way. Reciprocity, that's what it means. But this time, Lin Moyu didn't get the answer. The flame demon who had become a resurrected person shook his head vigorously and said, I have sworn an oath to return to my master, but I cannot say it. Lin Moyu and Zhu Chi Wu looked at each other and immediately understood why they couldn't say anything. He had sworn the Great World Oath, but maybe even before he revealed his location, the Great World Oath had already backfired. Even the peak god cannot bear it, and his soul will be annihilated in an instant but it doesn't matter if you can't say it. Lin Moyu has other methods. You go back to the fort. A brand new order was issued, and at the same time Lin Moyu found a demon warship from its storage items. The method of refining the demon warship was also stolen from the human race back then. Its performance is not as good as the human battleship, but it is worse than the Golden Eagle battleship, and it is enough for traveling. Several people jumped on the warship and flew towards the fortress controlled by the flame demon. The warship kept beating and flickering in the void, constantly approaching the demon clan's fortress. On the battlefield, once the fortress stronghold is exposed, it will be attacked by the enemy with all its strength. The human races know, ten fortress had been exposed once, but Zhu Chi Wu was guarding it in the starry sky at that time and waited until the fortress changed its position. The human race has also been looking for the location of the demon race's fortress, but unfortunately the battlefield is too large and they have never been able to find it. Now, the demon clan's fortress is finally found by them. The arrival of Zhu Chi Wu means the arrival of Shi Wei Xing. Huh. In the Buddhist star field, the ancient Buddha Duobao is chanting sutras and preaching to his disciples. Suddenly, he frowned and the sermon was suddenly interrupted. 
Then he said in a deep voice, You can figure it out on your own, I have something to do, and I will leave temporarily. As he spoke, his figure disappeared and came to another space. The atmosphere of ancient Buddha is permeated here, and each ancient Buddha has a solemn appearance. There are even three Buddhas sitting on the highest position. Seeing the ancient Buddha Duobao, a Buddha said, Duobao, why did you interrupt your sermon, but something happened? Duobao saluted the Buddha, something has indeed happened. In the Buddhist world, mournful bells are ringing and a heavy rain is falling out of thin air. When the Buddha died, the whole family was sad. Especially, the one who died this time was the Pagoda Buddha. The Buddha was at his peak and very close to the ancient Buddha. As the master of Pagoda Buddha, Duobao ancient Buddha gave Pagoda Buddha a Buddhist bead that contained a trace of his soul. If there is danger, the Pagoda Buddha can crush the beads and a trace of his own soul can save his life. Duobao ancient Buddha is equivalent to a strong person in the other side realm of the human race. Even with just a trace of his soul, his combat power can surpass that of the peak god in a short period of time. Normally, saving the Pagoda Buddha would not be a problem. But he never expected that Lin Moyu would be so powerful. His soul was destroyed as soon as it was projected, and it was destroyed very simply. This was not something that ordinary gods could do. He felt that someone from the other side realm had taken action. His soul was extinguished. The morning bells rang again in the Buddhist clan, and the heavy rain poured down, which meant that the Pagoda Buddha was also dead. After listening to what the ancient Buddha Duobao said, the three Buddhas looked at each other. Each of the three Buddhas has his own title. The one on the left is the future Buddha, the one in the middle is the present Buddha, and the one on the right is the past Buddha. Today's Buddhist clan is in charge of the current Buddha. And now Buddha has another title in the outside world, Great Sun Buddha. His spells are often performed with the sun above his head, hence the name. There are only 200 high-level people from each tribe. In fact, the Great Sun Buddha in the Buddhist tribe is the current Buddha. In the past, the Buddha held the lotus in his hand, and the fingertips bloomed with strange colors. A crescent moon rose up from his back, just like the passing moon. It is a pastime. A certain special law is triggered, and the law is sublimated to form the power of rules. After a moment, the past Buddha whispered, judging from the feedback from the law of time, the person who killed Pagoda Buddha is the same person who killed your soul. Ancient Buddha Duobao immediately asked, has the Buddha seen who it is? The past Buddha shook his head and said, the other party is protected by rules and cannot be seen clearly but it is certain that it should be related to the heavenly saint of the human race. Hearing that it was related to the human celestial saint, Duobao ancient Buddha blurted out, could it be said that our method was discovered by the human celestial saint? In the past, the Buddha still shook his head, it's hard to say, but I feel the aura of the demon clan, the golden eagle clan, and the black stone clan, from the law of time. You can ask someone to ask Pagoda Buddha if there is anything else involved in this dharma. After thinking about it, ancient Buddha Duobao said, I know this, I sent Pagoda to do it. So he told the demon clan about contacting the Buddhist clan and joining forces to snipe Xu Chi Wu. Pagoda Buddha has two tasks during this trip. One is to try to get close to the Suzaku egg, and the other is to join forces with the demon clan to prevent Xu Chi Wu from reaching the other shore. He did not report this matter to the three Buddhas, but he did not expect an accident this time. The faces of the three Buddhas showed sadness at the same time. Now the Buddha whispered, if the heavenly saint of the human race really takes action, then this matter may be a bit troublesome. As he said this, he looked at the future Buddha and said, future Buddha, please look at the laws of time to see if our Buddha clan has been retaliated against. The future Buddha nodded, closed his eyes, and invoked the law of time. Slowly, he frowned, I can't see it. The future seems to be shrouded in a layer of fog and cannot be seen. Now the Buddha whispered, it seems that it is really related to the Holy Lord. The Holy Lord is at the same level as them. If it is related to the Holy Lord, they will be disturbed and unable to obtain specific information from the laws. Now the Buddha said, Duobao, 
you pass on my teachings and make all the Buddhas vigilant and pay attention to the movements of the human race. Duobao Buddha was shocked and said, Buddha, are you afraid that humans will come and take revenge? Now the Buddha did not answer and closed his eyes again. The three Buddhas said no more. The demon warship continued to fly in the starry sky, flying towards the area where the demon fortress was located. After flying for several days, it finally stopped in an uninhabited star field. This starry field is extremely dark. There are no stars within 100 light years around it, let alone other stars. It can be considered extremely desolate. Zhu Chi Wu sighed, I have been to this area before, but I didn't find anything at that time. I didn't expect the Devil's Fortress to be here. This star field is very large, even if it is missed, it is normal. Lin Moyu also looked at this star field and felt something was wrong. His soul is stronger than the current Zhu Chi Wu, and his senses are also sharper. If compared with the former Zhu Chi Wu, it would be even more impossible. Lin Moyu felt the aura of a starry sky beast here. The breath is very ethereal, and it feels like it was left behind by CDCH a long time ago, but it is also very real. Lin Moyu was thinking in his memory and suddenly thought of a special starry sky beast, and muttered in a low voice, There is the breath of the black star beast here. Zhu Chi Wu glanced at Lin Moyu in surprise. He didn't think about it at all. After Lin Moyu reminded him, he finally felt something was wrong. After careful sensing, he confirmed Lin Moyu's words, It is indeed the black star beast. No wonder it was not discovered before. I didn't expect that the devil actually controlled the black star beast and used the black star beast to cover up. The black star beast is a special kind of starry sky beast. It looks like a piece of black cloth and can become very large, enough to cover the stars, hence the name black star beast. Black star beasts do not have much fighting power. In order to save their lives, they have evolved extremely strong concealment abilities. Those high-level black star beasts can even cover up an entire star, including their own aura. As long as you don't touch them, they are difficult to detect. There was once a black star beast that covered a lonely star. He took this star and wandered in the starry sky, passing through the territories of one race after another without being discovered. In the end, he met a strong man from the other side realm and was found. There are bewitching demons among the demon clan so it is not impossible to control the black star beast. Use the black star beast to cover your castle. As long as the other side does not come, it will not be easily discovered. I just happened to meet Lin Moyu and was brought back by my family this way. It can be said that this time it is really unavoidable. Zhu Chi Wu sensed carefully and locked the position of the black star beast. When he was about to take action, he was stopped by Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu said, Don't rush, let's make some arrangements and wipe them all out, leaving no one behind. Zhu Chi Wu nodded, What are you going to do? Lin Moyu smiled slightly, Surround them, we close the door and beat the dogs. As he spoke, he took out a hundred drops of colorful water and handed it to Zhu Chi Wu. Zhu Chi Wu's eyes widened, Where did you get so much colorful water? It's not like he has never seen colorful water before. This is a good thing, and the amount that the human race can collect every year is not much. Normally, the people in the other shore realm don't have enough points. He has only seen it but never used it. Lin Moyu gave himself a hundred drops at once, and Zhu Chi Wu couldn't believe it was real. Lin Moyu did not answer Zhu Chi Wu, but whispered, Senior, I will leave those guys of fourth level and above to you in a moment. Leave the rest of them to me. Zhu Chi Wu nodded, no problem, I will crush them to death one by one with each hand. They left the warship and retreated thousands of kilometers away. Then Lin Moyu released all the skeleton generals. Fifty million skeleton generals densely occupy a large area of the star field. Zhu Chi Wu was shocked again, there are so many, how many can you recruit? Lin Moyu said honestly, fifty million. Zhu Chi Wu swallowed his saliva and said, Hey, darling, 5,000 second-level skeletons of a god, it's scary to think about it. Lin Moyu shook his head, It's not the second level, 
but the third level. At this time, the star tower Lich flew out and turned into a tall tower above Lin Moyu's head. The tower shed starlight, and most of the starlight exploded in the air, falling on every skeleton general. The defense of the skeleton god general was immediately increased to the sixth level of the god, and the attack power was increased by one level, reaching the third level of the god. Against the fortress, Lin Moyu has experience. On the Shuangwu battlefield, he successfully annihilated all the Golden Eagle clan fortresses without sparing anyone, and more than once. When the skeleton god general with an attack power of 50 million reaching the third level of the god and a defense power of the sixth level was dispatched, Zhu Qiwu didn't want to say anything. He said he was speechless. Even if he saw this kind of lineup, he would just turn around and leave. Even if 50 million skeleton god generals stand still and let him kill them, it will take him a long time to kill them all. Even if his strength is exhausted, he doesn't know if he can kill them all. Unless he really steps into the other side, he can clean up these skeleton god generals in a short time. Zhu Wu clicked his tongue and said, Boy, you seem to be getting more and more perverted. While Lin Moyu was commanding the skeleton god general, he was very humble at the same time, you're too kind. Compared with my predecessors, I'm still far behind. Zhu Wu chuckled and said, You brat, I haven't seen you for a few years, I'm so timid. Lin Moyu smiled and said, I learned it all from you. You have to be bold when doing things. Zhu Wu snorted, It seems that you have experienced a lot in the past few years. After winning the first place in the four-star region competition, you should have gone to the Divine City. Lin Moyu hummed, Yes. Tell me, how do you feel about the city? Zhu Wu asked with a smile. Looking at the skeleton god flying deep into the starry sky, he narrowed his eyes slightly and added a bit of emotion to his tone, it doesn't feel special. Zhu Wu looked a little weird, looking at you, it doesn't look like you don't feel anything. Lin Moyu shook his head, what I'm feeling is not the Divine City, but the small world where I was born. The secret realm in the Divine City Star Territory is somewhat similar to the copy in my small world. Copy? Zhu Wu didn't quite understand when he heard this word for the first time. Lin Moyu gave a general description of the dungeon in his small world. This was the first time he talked about the things in his small world with others. Zhu Qi Wu fell into thinking after listening to Lin Moyu's words. He was born in the big world, in the Divine City, and he has been to the secret realms in the Divine City and the secret realms in the Human Emperor's Network. In addition, he has also visited many mysterious places in the big world. He has even been to several small worlds and experienced many difficulties in them. Having lived for thousands of years, he has experienced far more things than Lin Moyu, and his knowledge is better than that of Lin Moyu. But this was the first time he heard about the copy. Zhu Wu thought for a moment, but could not find the corresponding answer in his memory. I didn't expect there to be such a magical place in the world. It seems that your little world is very strange. Lin Moyu nodded, it's indeed strange. The skeleton god generals were finally in place, and this star field was wrapped up. Lin Moyu used his undead vision to locate the position and accurately locked the Black Star Beast's position. No matter how hidden Black Star Beast is, his soul flame cannot be hidden. Under the sight of the undead, the soul fire of the Black Star Beast turned into a thin layer of flame mist which dispersed, but did not collapse, covering the star field. It can be judged from the intensity of the soul fire that the realm of this black star beast is only that of the god king. But his combat power is probably only equal to that of a true god. Fifty million skeleton gods will complete the siege with the black star beast as the center point, separated by tens of millions of kilometers. Zhu Wu took out a formation disk and locked the empty formation disk. After activating the formation disk, a strange aura emitted from the airlocking formation, quickly spreading to cover the starry sky of 100 million kilometers. Under the cover of the airlocking array, the teleportation array will be unable to be used, and all teleportation props will be ineffective. The demons in the fortress suddenly became turtles in the urn, waiting for Lin Moyu to close the door and beat the dog. If there weren't so many skeleton generals, 
Zhu Chiwu alone would definitely have a lot of fish that slipped through the net. And it is impossible for Zhu Chiwu to find this place. Only half a minute after the airlocking formation was activated, changes appeared in the starry sky. A big hole appeared in the dark starry sky, and the devil's aura came out of the hole. A demon flew out of the hole to investigate the situation. Lin Moyu chuckled and said, Senior, look at your work. Zhu Chiwu's eyes glowed coldly, and his murderous aura rose, After today, the tenth battle zone of the Suzaku battlefield shall belong to my human race. As he spoke, a dazzling galaxy appeared on his body, and the stars in the Galaxy of Laws were disillusioned. A stream of majestic power flowed out of the Galaxy of Laws and entered Zhu Chiwu's palm. A palm shot out of the void, and a huge palm appeared in the starry sky, flying towards the hole. The laws of the broken stars in the palm converge, accompanied by the power of rules. Wherever the giant palm passed, the starry sky shattered into disillusionment. Not only the starry sky, but also the law lines in it were wiped out. Zhu Chiwu's palm is somewhat similar to the fist in the ancient jade tablet. Although the two have different origins, they reach the same destination by different paths. The end result is the same. Lin Moyu looked thoughtfully in his eyes. Laws, rules, and ancient symbols are actually just external manifestations. The root cause is actually the same, both are the mobilization of the power of the world. Just like the power I can mobilize after becoming the world master of the small world. Sudden enlightenment, Lin Moyu recently grasped the essence of power. The small realization made Lin Moyu take a small step forward, but the significance is not small. It's like a door leading to the true core, opening a gap. Zhu Chiwu's voice came to his ears, the broken star palm, although I used it often before, but this time I made some improvements to this palm because of your broken star supreme inheritance. Lin Moyu didn't know how powerful Zhu Chiwu's previous shattering star palm was, but the palm in front of him was indeed very strong. The broken star law was sublimated, and part of it was transformed into the power of the broken star law. The rules destroyed all laws except itself. Within the scope covered by Broken Star's palm, Broken Star rules is the only king. Huge palm prints flew across the starry sky. When the demons noticed the arrival of Broken Star's palm, it was already too late. The Black Star Beast screamed, its soul flame boiling violently, and then completely annihilated in Broken Star's palm. At this moment, Broken Star is at least a hundred thousand kilometers away from the Black Star Beast. Black Star Beast, a starry sky beast that only has the ability to hide, is too fragile. The Black Star Beast, which only has the realm of God King and whose combat power only reaches the level of true God, cannot even withstand the breath of the outermost part of Xingyi Palm. As soon as the Black Star Beast died, the true situation that had been hidden was immediately revealed. A huge fortress appeared in the starry sky. There is a blazing flame in the fortress. The flame has two colors, one is black and red, which belongs to the destruction of hell. The other is dark green and belongs to the fire of the abyss. The two types of flames are distinct, dividing the demon clan into two systems, hell and abyss. The sudden arrival of Broken Star's palm caught the demons off guard. In a hurry, they started to form a barrier around the devil's fortress for defense. As for whether it can be blocked, I don't know. Countless demons in the fortress were awakened, and powerful divine energy shot out. At the same time, a large number of warships were launched into the air urgently. Zhu Chiwu did not pay attention to the actions of the demon clan at all, but said calmly, There are two series of demons in the demon clan, Hell and Abyss, and each of the two series of demons has several royal clans. Among the Hell type demons, the strongest royal family is the Thousand Headed Lion Demon. They rarely take action, but they are the strongest royal family among the demons. In the Abyss system, the strongest one is the Abyss Dragon Demon. You have seen him several times. Zhu Chiwu was very patient and explained the internal structure of the demon clan to Lin Moyo. Much of the information he talks about is not available on Renhuang Network. What's more, it's his personal experience. For thousands of years, his body has rarely moved 
but his avatar has been away all year round, dealing with the demon clan. I don't know how many times they fought each other, and Ichiwu was very familiar with all kinds of demons. Under his explanation, Lin Moyu gained a deeper understanding of the demon clan. The giant palm shot by Zhu Chiwu flew across the starry sky of 100,000 kilometers at a stable speed and landed on the barrier of the Devil's Fortress. There is no deafening, roaring zone for hundreds of souls. Not even a dazzling light. The barrier shattered silently. In front of the soul, the rules that formed the barrier were torn to pieces. The barrier collapsed, and Broken Star's palm fell on the demon fortress. The 680 went to the extremely strong Devil's Fortress, which was torn into pieces on the spot and could not be stopped at all. The demon fortress was smashed to pieces, a large number of demons in the fortress died on the spot, and many powerful demons jumped out of the fortress. Lin Moyu's eyes narrowed whether Zhu Chiwu's palm was too strong, or the Devil's Fortress was too fragile. At that time, hundreds of tribes invaded and robbed a large amount of information from the human race. All races rely on their talents and are not very familiar with refining warships and fortresses. It was also based on the materials stolen from the human race that they refined warships and other war tools, but compared with the human race, there is still a huge gap. The demon fortress seems powerful, but compared with the human fortress, it is not even a bit inferior. At least Zhu Chiwu can't smash the human fortress with one palm. Maybe he can do it in the real other side realm, but Zhu Chiwu can't do it yet. Zhu Chiwu said with disdain, Garbage, so much information was stolen from my human race, and this kind of garbage was refined as a result. Lin Moyu patted the horse lightly, maybe the picture is too strong. Zhu Chiwu chuckled, although I know you are flattering me, I like to hear it. You can talk more about it in the future. Lin Moyu agreed seriously, okay, when I am better than you, you will also remember to take pictures, roll. Zhu Chiwu snorted and turned into a stream of light and rushed over. The demon fortress was shattered and many demons died. But those demons above the divine level all jumped out in advance. Zhu Chiwu and Lin Moyu have a clear division of labor. All demons of the fourth level and above are left to Zhu Chiwu to deal with. Demons of the third level and below are left to Lin Moyu to deal with. Zhu Chiwu took action, and Lin Moyu followed closely and gave the order. The skeleton generals who had completed the siege long ago came from all directions. The Pagoda Buddha and the Flame Demon, who were transformed into resurrected beings by Lin Moyu, also followed suit. A minute later, dense white sword energy illuminated the dark void. The demons were screaming, and blood was floating in the starry sky. Human race, how could we be discovered by human race? Buddha clan, why are there Buddhists? There are so many skeletons. These skeletons are all gods. Where did so many god skeletons come from? W. The demons were screaming crazily. Facing the ruthless siege of the skeleton god general, the demons fell like straw. Under the intensive sword energy, the demons died with no intact corpses, and not even a piece of good meat could be found. Lin Moyu watched from afar, but this time he did not take action. To deal with demons below the third level of the god lord, he does not need to take action at all. Lin Moyu's eyes were cold and ruthless, and his mind was churning with information he had seen before. The current four-star regions were all slaughtered by various races in that war. At that time, the star field collapsed, and the blood of the human race turned into a galaxy, flowing in the starry sky of the big world. There were more than hundreds of millions of human beings who died in that disaster. There were more than hundreds of millions. Several races even regard humans as blood food, eating human flesh and drinking human blood. That kind of scene is simply unimaginable. Compared to the small world, the human race in the big world has experienced a more cruel and terrifying disaster. Now, things are reversed, Lin Moyu will have no mercy at all. His voice echoed in the starry sky, back then, Xiao Zhanshan only collected a little interest. Today, I am here to collect a negligible interest again. This is what you owe me as a human race. 
The day I step onto the other shore will be the day disaster strikes for all your races. His voice did not spread far, only he could hear it. His words were more like a kind of oath spoken to himself. What happened today cannot be concealed. One of the characteristics of the demon clan is that many demons have clones. The person here is not necessarily the main body. If the clone is killed, the main body will know it soon. The devil probably already knew that it was Zhu Chiwu from the human race who came to kill him, and also the Buddha from the Buddhist race who came to kill him at the same time. Lin Moyu even thought about whether the demon clan would think that the human race and the Buddha clan were joining forces to deal with the demon clan. It would not be a bad thing if the demons and Buddhas could fight dogs. At this moment, Lin Moyu was like a superior bystander, watching the massacre in front of him. Zhu Chiwu struck out fiercely, and no demon god could hold out for two seconds under his attack. There is no peak god in the fortress. Even if there is, he probably just wants to escape now. The battle lasted only ten minutes and came to an end. The circle surrounded by the skeleton god general continued to shrink. Under the sight of the undead, the hiding demons were also found and killed. The blood of the god spread in the starry sky, forming a huge blood ball with majestic pressure. Zhu Chiwu stepped on the blood ball and looked like a killing god. Two from the eighth level, three from the seventh level, five from the sixth level, twelve from the fifth level, and nine from the fourth level. As soon as the numbers came out, the number of gods who died in Zhu Chiwu's hands reached one. Lin Moyu asked, Should we destroy the demon fortress in theater number nine? It is not difficult to find the demon fortress in war zone number nine. After these corpses become resurrected, they can naturally lead the way. Zhu Chiwu shook his head, It's too late, and the road is completed. Lin Moyu looked at Zhu Chiwu. At this moment, Zhu Chiwu's feet were on the blood mass. This blood mass, condensed from the flesh and blood of the god, was exuding a strange aura. This aura blended into Zhu Chiwu's body and seemed to trigger some mysterious law. Zhu Chiwu's aura was rising rapidly at 4.7. He entered the final moments of reaching the other shore. This killing allowed Zhu Chiwu to complete his sublimation early and begin to truly reach the other side. Nothing is more important now than Zhu Chiwu's promotion to the other side, and Lin Moyu understands the importance. Then I'll clean up the battlefield and then go back. The skeleton god will begin to clean the battlefield according to Lin Moyu's will. Lin Moyu would not be polite to the corpses of the divine beings and packed them all away. The skeleton god general also found a large number of storage props, as well as various magic weapons left by the demons. No matter good or bad, Lin Moyu accepts them all. At the same time, he gave new orders to the flame demon and the pagoda Buddha, asking them to go to the demon clan fortress in the ninth war zone. After all, they are two peak gods, enough to give the demons a headache for a while. The battleship sailed rapidly in the starry sky. Although it was not comparable to the battleship on the other side, Zhu Chiwu's battleship still had an average level of god realm. At the current speed, they can return to Fortress Number 10 in at most half a day. In the battleship, Zhu Chiwu was sitting cross-legged. Behind him was a blood mass with a diameter of more than one meter. The blood mass not only comes from the blood essence of the god-level demons in the fortress, but also the blood essence accumulated by Zhu Chiwu from killing the gods of various races in the recent period. Step on the bloody road, use killing to lead, and use blood to make the road. Zhu Chiwu said in a deep voice to Lin Moyu, When I get to the place, I will start my bloody journey, cross the galaxy, and step on the other side. If you look carefully and feel it with your heart, it may be useful in the future. Zhu Chiwu spoke very seriously, while Lin Moyu drank tea and said slowly, Is this good? The promotion of the other side realm is the qualitative change and sublimation from law to rules. The whole process can take as short as a few years or as long as hundreds of years, there is no fixed number. Stepping on the bloody road can greatly shorten this process. However, after collecting enough blood essence, it is necessary to complete the final leap, jump over the law galaxy, and truly set foot on the other side. 
This jump is very important, and you will usually find 24 hiding places without being disturbed by anyone. Normally, People like Zhu Wu should return to the Sacred City and complete the final leap in the Sacred City. But he wanted Lin Moyu to observe. This kind of trust may not exist even between master and apprentice, or between father and son. Lin Moyu understood in his heart, but his expression was pretending to be relaxed, and he asked with a smile, Is this okay? Zhu Wu had the urge to beat Lin Moyu, and he snorted heavily, Watch it if you like. Lin Moyu quickly smiled and said, Don't dare to push the elder's orders. Since the seniors have spoken, how dare the juniors not listen? Zhu Wu glared at Lin Moyu, Why haven't I noticed before that you are so shameless? Lin Moyu smiled and did not answer. At this moment, he arrived at Antares. He seemed to be so relaxed and at ease when he was with Antares. This kind of unreserved trust is very rare. With memories welling up in his eyes, Lin Moyu drank tea by himself and said no more. Zhu Wu continued to make final adjustments. In the last leap, he had to adjust his energy and spirit to the best level. This leap must be perfect and complete in order to lay the foundation for the future. Zhu Wu has ambitions. The other side is not the end. He wants to become a figure like Wu Xingzuan and become a saint. The battleship did not return to Fortress Number 10, but stopped in an inexplicable starry sky. It's pitch black here, but in the distance, a little bit of starlight radiates, bringing a little light. Not far away, there are a large number of broken stars, which FORMA ring and spin in the starry sky. The diameter of this ring is more than 100,000 kilometers, and there are countless broken stars in it. Lin Moyu felt the breath of the broken star law and vaguely had an answer in his heart. This is where your old experimental rules come from? These broken stars were obviously broken by Zhu Qi Wu, and the number was so amazing that the duration should not be short-lived. Zhu Qi Wu nodded, occasionally when I have insights, I always have to experiment. Lin Moyu smiled and said, understood, do you plan to break through here? Zhu Qi Wu hummed, Actually, all the preparations have been completed a long time ago, and this last jump will not take too long. If it is fast, it will take a few days, if it is slow, it will only take ten days and a half. The broken star ring old man here has made arrangements so that no outsiders can come in. I know what you are thinking. Although the Divine City is safe, for me, the battlefield is the best place. The broken star law is a combat law. Fighting does not mean seeking perfection. Once you lose your will to fight for safety, the road is over. Lin Moyu understood what Zhu Chi Wu said, so this time, knowing that the opponent was going to attack him, Chi Wu also went forward without hesitation. This is both an advantage and a disadvantage. If he doesn't take action this time, Zhu Chi Wu's breakthrough may not necessarily fail, but the process will definitely be very long. Lin Moyu also believed that Zhu Qi Wu must have a backup plan and would not be really reckless. Zhu Qi Wu took out the colorful water given by Lin Moyu, originally, my broken star ring could only block people in the other side realm. Now that we have the multicolored water, even if someone from the other shore comes, they can hold it back for a long time. As he spoke, he sprinkled ten drops of colorful water and flew to various locations in the broken star ring. The colorful water is very precious. Lin Moyu gave him a hundred drops, but he was reluctant to use all of it. If no one comes, it's not all a waste. Ten drops is already the limit. Under Zhu Qi Wu's many years of arrangement, the broken star ring has turned into a powerful defensive formation. Now with the blessing of the colorful water, the formation has been greatly enhanced and can even block the other shore realm. Lin Moyu asked, you can use more. If it's not enough, I have it here. Zhu Qi Wu shook his head, that's enough. The water of many colors is very precious and cannot be wasted easily. And even if there is ten times more colorful water, the limit of this formation is right there. Besides, the butcher doesn't have just one layout. As he spoke, Zhu Qi Wu took out a blue-gray sign. There is one word engraved on the brand, how, 
Lin Moyu felt the power of rules from the sign and understood that it was the token of Bai Xingzuan. Zhu Qiwu said, There is a full blow from Saint Hao inside. The enemy who is attacked will fall into the virtual realm. Even the other side realm will be affected and will not be able to escape in a short time. As he spoke, he took out another golden token, which looked exactly like Wu Xingzuan's blue gray token. The difference is that the word above becomes. Zhu Qiwu said, This is Tian Xing Zun's token. It can hit a blow equivalent to Tian Xing Zun's full strength. Take these two things, and if someone comes to bother me, just F asterisk asterisk K him. Remember to mix it with colorful water, it will be more powerful. Lin Moyu had already guessed that Zhu Qi Wu had a backup plan, but he didn't expect that the backup plan was the holy token. Each token contains the holy lord's full blow, which is extremely powerful 173. If he had used the token when he was trapped, those gods would have died long ago. Lin Moyu took the sign and said, I knew I wouldn't have come to save you. Anyway, you have backup plans. Zhu Qiwu chuckled. It's better not to use life-saving gadgets. Okay, I'm going to start, please watch carefully. Star Ring, Kai Following his command, the broken star ring suddenly burst into bright light. But it only lasted for a second, and all the light disappeared at the same time. Not only did the broken star ring not emit light, but it began to swallow the light. While swallowing the light, it also hides the aura inside. In the blink of an eye, this starry sky disappeared from the eyes of the world. In the eyes of ordinary people, this starry sky seems to not exist. Zhu Qiwu opened the broken star ring, followed by another soft drink. The galaxy of laws suddenly emerged, surrounding him, flowing endlessly. In the galaxy of laws, the stars are constantly disillusioned, and the entire galaxy is filled with the power of destruction. Open. There was another low shout, the sound was like thunder, exploding in Lin Moyu's ears. The law galaxy expanded instantly and turned into a real river, flowing endlessly in the starry sky. The law turns into a river, flowing with a roar. Stars rose from the river one after another, and were shattered by the invisible force of destruction in midair. Zhu Qiwu was stepping on the galaxy at this moment and said to Lin Moyu, Feel with your heart. La galaxies have been seen a lot, but they are usually phantoms. The higher the level of cultivation, the more real and huge the La galaxy summoned, and the stronger the power that can be mobilized. But to be like Zhu Qi Wu, who can display the galaxy of laws directly in the starry sky like a real river, only the pinnacle god can do it. Zhu Qi Wu stood in the galaxy, wearing a black robe and making sounds in the galaxy. Countless laws rose up in the galaxy and entangled Zhu Qi Wu. Law Baptism Zhu Qi Wu drank lightly again, and the law galaxy suddenly boiled. Countless laws rushed out like fountains and fell on Zhu Qi Wu. The soul flew out of Zhu Qi Wu's head and sank into the galaxy. The little soul, rolling along with the waves of the galaxy, is like a lonely boat. But no matter how violent the waves of the galaxy are, they cannot drown the soul. Instead, more laws are integrated into the soul. Zhu Qiwu's soul was at the peak of the fourth level, but a purple light had already been born in it. It was the jade soul that gave birth to purple. This is a sign that the soul can continue to improve and enter the fifth level. The soul rises and falls in the galaxy of laws, and more and more laws are integrated into the soul. The soul of the peak god has long been able to move freely in the law galaxy but it cannot cross the law galaxy and reach the other end of the law galaxy. The other end of the law galaxy is the other shore. Gradually, the soul is filled with the broken star law, and the broken star law uses the soul as a medium to transmit to the physical body. The physical body also benefits and is strengthened. However, the enhancement of the physical body is limited. Lin Moyu can see that Zhu Qiwu's physical body is only equivalent to the first level of the God King, and it is not the golden body of the God King, which is inferior to his own. Even if he becomes the other side, his physical body will only reach the third or fourth level of the God King at most. When it comes to physical strength, the human race is really not that good. 
Lin Moyu, compared the human body with the body of the invaders from the Black Blood world, and found that the gap between the two sides was huge. Even the Hellstone Demon, who was the best at the physical body among the Demon clan, when he was at his peak as a god, his physical body was at a lower level, reaching at most the ninth level of a god king. Moreover, after reaching the other shore realm, it is difficult for the physical body to reach the divine realm. Cultivators of all races in the world attach great importance to the realm of the soul and do not pay much attention to the physical body. Lin Mayu vaguely felt that this was wrong. He felt that the importance of the body was not much less than that of the soul. If possible, he must go hand in hand. He saw Zhu Qi Wu's soul entering the law galaxy, but his physical body did not. There must be a reason for this. You can wait until Zhu Qi Wu reaches the other side and ask for advice. The soul is filled with the law of broken stars and is completely integrated with the law galaxy. Then the soul returns to the body, but does not enter the body, but wraps the body. After the soul completely enveloped the body, the body began to sink into the galaxy of laws. The power of law in the law galaxy continues to flow in. At this moment, the soul no longer absorbs the power of external laws, but fights against the power in the galaxy of laws. It is protecting the body. Lin Moyu somewhat understood that after the soul is full of laws, it needs to be protected. What really wants to cross the galaxy to the other side is not only the soul, but also the body. Only when the soul and body cross the galaxy of laws together can they achieve the other side. The power of the law galaxy is endless and extremely powerful. The soul first absorbed the power of the law galaxy, and now it is fighting against it, which is extremely difficult. Lin Moyu looked carefully and gradually discovered the clues. The broken star law absorbed by the soul has changed, the power of the law has been sublimated, and the power of the rules has been incorporated into it. In fact, the soul is using the power of rules to fight against the galaxy of laws. At this time, the soul stretched out its hand and made a move, and the ball that had been prepared flew out. The blood group contains the blood essence of at least dozens of gods, which contains extremely powerful power. After being refined, these powers were stripped of their legal attributes and became extremely pure. The blood ball flew over, hit Zhu Chi Wu, and exploded. A bloody road built with blood suddenly emerged. One end of the bloody road plunges into the law galaxy, and the other end extends into the distance. That place is the other side. This is the road of blood. Killing is the guide, and blood is the road to life. It's not a conceptual thing, but a real blood road. This way the difficulty will be much lower. Lin Moyu seems to have some enlightenment. When Zhu Qi Wu wrapped his body with his soul just now, it wasn't that he didn't try to move, but he took a step with great effort. If there is no soul enveloping the physical body, the physical body will not be able to withstand the erosion of the law galaxy and will collapse in the law galaxy, making it difficult for the body to die. Now that we have this blood path, everything becomes simple. As long as Zhu Qi Wu can step on the bloody road and move along the bloody road, he can reach the other side. This difficulty is reduced by dozens of times at least, Zhu Qi Wu finally raised his feet and truly set foot on the bloody road. Then take the second and third steps and move forward step by step. Although the person is still in the law galaxy, he can no longer stop him. The law galaxies on both sides of the blood road continued to roar, and huge waves surged into the sky for a while. The blood road swayed in the huge waves and it looked as if it would be interrupted at any time. However, the blood path was very strong and never broke. Lin Moyu already understood, but he had many questions in his heart. His intuition told him that this method was wrong. This method is equivalent to taking a shortcut. In Lin Moyu's view, the baptism of the law galaxy not only baptizes the soul, but also baptizes the body. Using this tricky method, although the other side was achieved, the physical body was not baptized. Perhaps it is the other side now, and one day in the future, when you want to climb to a higher realm, you will be restricted. Could this be the reason why there is no supreme being in this era? Lin Moyu thought in his heart. 
In ancient times, there was a supreme being in the world. But now this era is no longer there, what is the reason? Lin Moyu looked at Zhu Qiwu, walking on the bloody road, getting closer to the other side step by step. Now that things have come to this, he can no longer stop it. But even if it could be stopped before, it would be useless. It is impossible for Zhu Qiwu to waste another thousand years because of his physical condition, otherwise he may not be able to reach the other side for the rest of his life. If you make a mistake, you will make a mistake. No matter what, Zhu Qiwu must now set foot on the other side first. Let's talk about the future later. What's more, what Lin Moyu thought was just his own guess. Zhu Qiwu walked very steadily, and indeed, the kings, really meant taking one step at a time. Unfortunately, he made a mistake at the beginning, and it would be useless no matter how steadily he walked later. As Zhu Qiwu continues to advance, the purple light in his soul is gradually getting stronger. The purple light is like an introduction, it begins to expand at this moment, and begins to sublimate more souls into the purple jade rainbow. Along with it are sublimated laws, which are being sublimated into rules. After Zhu Qiwu completely sets foot on the other side, his soul will officially become a fifth grade purple jade soul and the power of laws in his body will also become the power of rules. At that time, he was truly a person from the other side. Based on Zhu Qiwu's current speed, Lin Moyu predicts that Zhu Qiwu will be able to finish his bloody journey and reach the other side in less than three days. Two days passed in the blink of an eye, and Zhu Qiwu was going smoothly. Most of the soul has been transformed into a purple jade soul and the calendar of rules is exuding all over the body. In half a day, he could finish the bloody journey. Suddenly, the broken star ring began to vibrate. Outside the broken star ring, a terrifying and huge figure appeared, terrible pressure surged in the starry sky. A sound of dragon roar passed through the broken star ring, shaking the soul. Found you. The cold voice was filled with murderous intent and the dark green abyss of destruction ignited on the broken star ring. The fire of the abyss spread at an alarming speed, burning through the entire broken star ring in just a few breaths. The starry sky was dyed dark green. Lin Moyu saw a pair of huge gloomy eyes. The owner of these eyes was no stranger, and he was familiar with the abyss dragon demon. The abyss dragon demon is destroying the broken star ring, but his eyes are already fixed on Lin Moyu. Finally I found you, you are dead this time. Lin Moyu said calmly, without changing his expression, you actually dare to come here and take action openly in the other shore realm. This violates the rules. Aren't you afraid that the Holy Lord will kill you? The Abyss Dragon Demon sneered, you killed my clone, so it's not against the rules for me to do it to you. So that's what happened. Lin Moyu was surprised that there was such a rule. It seemed that there were still many things he didn't understand. But rules are set by people and can also be changed by people. As long as you are strong enough, no rules can limit you. The broken star ring was burning fiercely, making a crackling sound. The broken stars were burned to ashes one after another, and the broken star rings were becoming thinner at a speed visible to the naked eye. As an abyss dragon demon in the other side realm, his actions in the abyss also contain the power of rules, which is enough to burn the broken star ring. If Zhu Qiwu hadn't used ten drops of colorful water, the broken star ring would have collapsed long ago. But now it seems that 740 can't hold on for long. Lin Moyu flicked his finger, and ten drops of colorful water flew out and landed on the broken star ring. The broken star ring, which was already on the verge of collapse, suddenly exploded with powerful vitality. The abyss dragon demon's eyes shrank fiercely, water of many colors, you actually use water of many colors on such rags, are you crazy? Lin Moyu smiled and said, I like to use it, so I'll give you shit. As he spoke, he popped out ten more drops of colorful water to continue to increase the broken star ring. The abyss dragon demon is going crazy. His eyes reveal a strong murderous intent, as well as greed and jealousy. He could see that Lin Moyu didn't care about the consumption of Wan Kai water at all, which meant that Lin Moyu still had a lot of Wan Kai water. 
no matter where Lin Moyu got the Wan Kai water, as long as he kills Lin Moyu, the Wan Kai water will be his. Lin Moyu felt the greed of the abyss dragon demon and sneered, I want it, but I won't give it to you. Seeb, after saying that, ten more drops of colorful water popped out, continuing to maintain the broken star ring. The abyss dragon demon is really going crazy, you madman, idiot. In his opinion, the first drop of colorful water used by Lin Moyu was all his own. The more Lin Moyu uses it, the less he gets. He breathed out the dragon's breath crazily, and the flames of the abyss burned even more intensely. The starry sky was completely shrouded in the dark green fire of the abyss, which was eerie and terrifying. The vibrations of the broken star ring became more and more violent, and they were on the verge of breaking again. Just like what Zhu Chiwu said, the broken star ring has its limits. No matter how much colorful water is given, the limit is there. But Lin Moyu didn't seem to believe in evil, so he took out ten drops of colorful water and continued to bounce it on the broken star ring. Then ten more drops of colorful water appeared in his hand, ready to go. The abyss dragon demon became more and more crazy, mine, this is all mine, you are not allowed to use it anymore, this is all mine. Lin Moyu sneered, why don't you just say you don't need it, you're overthinking it. At that moment, he flicked these ten drops of colorful water into the broken star ring. The broken star ring is already crumbling, and even with the blessing of colorful water, it can only hold on for a few more seconds at most. It is really unacceptable to waste ten drops of extremely precious water for a few seconds. The abyss dragon demon was completely angry, asshole, don't use my colorful water anymore, please stop it. Lin Moyu looked at him with a hint of amusement in his eyes. This guy's soul was injured and he never recovered, his emotions are extremely unstable. He may be able to stay calm at ordinary times, but when he is stimulated, he will lose his mind. Losing your mind may make you more powerful, but it will also become easier to deal with. When he reached the realm of the abyss dragon demon, there were not many things that could attract him. Hatred for himself is one factor, and another factor is the colorful water that can arouse his greed. Lin Moyu knew that the water of many colors was precious, so he showed that he had a lot of water of many colors and wasted it. Under the dual stimulation of hatred and greed, coupled with the injuries of the abyss dragon demon itself, Lin Moyu succeeded, and the abyss dragon demon finally lost his mind. At least, that's what it looks like. Lin Moyu pointed his finger, the immortal flame burned blazingly and the skeleton throne emerged from the immortal flame. The skeleton king responded, and the skeleton throne turned into a two-handed bone sword. The next second, the skeleton king rushed towards the abyss dragon demon. The two sides faced each other across the broken star ring that was about to collapse. The abyss dragon demon laughed wildly, with such a fourth-level god, do you think you can stop Bensha? Lin Moyu sneered, you won't know until you try it. The skeleton gods appeared densely in the starry sky, forming a formation to block Lin Moyu and Zhu Chi Wu behind them. Then the star tower lich flew out and turned into a pagoda. The pagoda shed starlight, forming a defense, and at the same time amplifies the first level attack. The skeleton king's attack power can reach the fifth level of god, and its defense power can reach the sixth level of god. But this was still not enough. Ten more drops of colorful water appeared in Lin Moyu's hand and fell on the skeleton king. The skeleton king's aura instantly increased dozens of times, and his combat power was close to the eighth level of a god. The abyss dragon demon was stimulated again, you bastard, you dare to waste the colorful water, I will put your soul on the fire of the abyss and roast it for thousands of years. Lin Moyu chuckled, then wait until you can kill me. The broken star ring finally collapsed, and the abyss dragon demon smiled cruelly, you are dead. He breathed dragon breath towards the skeleton king, and the skeleton king was instantly enveloped in the fire of the abyss. The bones all over the body made a cracking sound. The gap between the skeleton king and the abyss dragon demon was too big to resist. The abyss dragon demon smiled ferociously, vibrating its wings, and smashed countless skeleton god generals who hit the road. No matter how many skeleton god generals there are, 
they can't stop him, even for half a second. You're dead, you're dead. The abyss dragon demon laughed crazily. He locked Lin Moyu tightly, his eyes full of hatred. The abyss dragon demon already hated this guy who killed his clone to the core. But what the abyss dragon demon didn't notice was that when he burned the skeleton king to death, the skeleton king's body was covered with a layer of gray mist. The hell of bones was broken by him. Meanwhile, Lin Moyu completed the mark. The abyss dragon demon suddenly felt that Lin Moyu's aura was constantly improving and getting stronger. In the blink of an eye, he has broken through the realm of the god king and reached the god lord. In just one breath, Lin Moyu reached the fifth level of god. At the same time, he felt another breath, and his whole person became more excited. The original rune, Yuan Ran, is the original rune. Ha 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 ha, it turns out to be the original rune. Kill you, the original runes will belong to me. He became even crazier, his whole body was shaking with excitement, and the dragon roared one after another, continuously. The abyss dragon demon became more and more crazy, almost crazy. He himself possesses the original runes, which Lin Moyu once learned. The abyss dragon demon wanted to kill Lin Moyu and seize the original runes. How could Lin Moyu not think so? Original runes, such a long memory. Lin Moyu whispered softly, when he first obtained it, it was indeed called the origin rune. Later, as his realm became higher and higher, the original runes evolved into the original spells. Looking at the abyss dragon demon again, it seems that it is still the original rune, and there is no mention of the original spell. Just like in the magic system of Hao Hai Xing Yu, a difference of one word often makes a huge difference. Laws, rules, there are, it depends on the difference between heaven and earth. From the crazy words of the abyss dragon demon, Lin Moyu realized one thing. He did get the original runes, but he failed to convert them into spells. If the original runes could not be converted into spells, how could they remain in the body of the abyss dragon demon? It's a bit strange, why is this happening? Lin Moyu said he didn't understand, maybe after killing him, he would have an answer. The skeleton hell completed the mark, and the soul was firmly locked on the abyss dragon demon. Watching him continuously break through the defense line, composed of skeleton gods, Lin Moyu had an ancient talisman and jade piece in his hand, and a soul-shooting bow appeared above his head. Twenty drops of colorful water flew out, ten of which were integrated into the jade pieces of ancient talismans, and Tian's drops were integrated into the rapid-fire bow. The power of faith is also divided into two, half of which is integrated into the ancient talisman jade piece, and the other half is integrated into the soul-shooting bow. The eyes of the abyss dragon demon were so wide that they were about to fall out, don't waste my colorful water, stop it, stop it. He became more and more crazy and almost completely lost his mind. Lin Moyu had a sneer on his lips, his soul power was rolling, and the ancient talisman and jade piece was immediately activated. A huge fist appeared in the starry sky, with ancient symbols shining on it. The space around the fist collapsed instantly, and the law lines in the space were also crushed and destroyed at this moment. The power of rules is permeating the air, and no rules can exist near the ancient talisman giant fist. Driven by the fifth-level soul power of the god, coupled with a full ten drops of colorful water, and the power of faith, the power of the ancient talisman giant fist has officially reached the other side. Lin Moyu realized that this might be the limit of the ancient talisman and jade piece. The abyss dragon demon finally broke through the skeleton god general's blockage. He said with madness, You are dead, you are dead. The colorful water and the ancient runes are all mine, they are all mine. As soon as he came out, what he saw was not Lin Moyu, but a huge fist flashing goo. A powerful suction force was created on the fist making it difficult for the abyss dragon demon to escape. The eyes of the abyss dragon demon shrank suddenly, dragon chants came out of his mouth, and his whole body was enveloped by the fire of the abyss. The fire of the abyss protects it like armor. Lin Moyu saw a rune and a fighting character appearing in the fire of the abyss. It is still the familiar ancient Chinese writing, which is completely different from the current writing in the big world. 
It is close to the original ancient texts from ancient times, but slightly different. The fighting character greatly increases the power of the fire of the abyss, and the aura of the abyss dragon demon also increases. However, as its power increased, Lin Moyu clearly realized that his soul was under unimaginable pressure and his sanity had hit rock bottom. In the eyes of the abyss dragon demon, except hatred, madness, and greed, everything else disappeared. Sure enough, I didn't really get the original runes, and the side effects are really quite big. If the original runes can be successfully converted into spells, not only will their power become more powerful, but they will not have too many side effects. But now, the abyss dragon demon has used the power of the original runes, which has made his soul even worse. The ancient talisman giant fist collided with the fire of the abyss, and the terrifying flames swept the world. These dark green flames contain unimaginable power, enough to burn the god to death. Even the peak deity cannot hold on for long. Lin Moyu summoned more skeleton generals and legion rulers to firmly protect the area where Zhu Qiwu was. After a stalemate for several seconds, the ancient talisman giant fist and the fire of the abyss both collapsed. Both sides are evenly matched, with no distinction between superior and inferior. The abyss dragon demon laughed crazily, your trump card is gone, you, M. After the words fell, Lin Moyu's body once again had an astonishing aura. Original magic, strong soldiers. The abyss dragon demon's eyes widened again, do you have two origin runes? Lin Moyu didn't answer, the strong weapon technique was activated and all the remaining soul power was poured into the soul-shooting bow. Purple soul arrows condensed on the soul-shooting bow, ten drops of colorful water, the calendar of faith further strengthened and increased. The starry sky collapsed, and the purple soul arrow also broke through the divine realm, and was ready to enter the other side realm. Because it is a soul attack, its power cannot be estimated based on common sense, especially when dealing with a soul-damaged existence like the abyss dragon demon, the threat is greater than the ancient talisman giant fist. The abyss dragon demon seemed to feel the threat, and raised the abyss fire again, and at the same time sprayed a breath of dragon breath towards Lin Moyo. Purple light flashed past, the soul arrow was shot, and at the same time a golden sword appeared in Lin Moyu's hand, and he waved it lightly. A large golden shield appeared in front of him, blocking the dragon's breath. The golden shield sizzled under the dragon's breath in the other shore realm, as if it would collapse at any time. Lin Moyu popped out ten drops of colorful water to stabilize the golden shield. Lin Moyu already knew the limits of the golden sword. Perhaps he was afraid that he would rely too much on the golden sword, so Wu Xingzuan did not enter too much power of rules. The golden sword modified by Tian Xingzuan can block most attacks from the other side. If he encounters an attack like the self-destruction of the peak god, he will still be injured. The attack from the other side cannot be completely blocked, but Lin Moyu cooperates with the colorful water, so it is not a problem to hold on for a while. The screams of the abyss dragon demon were heard in the ears, and the soul was severely damaged. The abyss dragon demon rolled crazily in the starry sky, screaming in agony. Lin Moyu looked coldly, and a huge corpse appeared next to him. The corpse was covered with vines, shaped like stars, which were the star fire vines that had not been used before to save Zhu Qi Wu. As a plant type, the stellar fire vine possesses amazing vitality. Ten drops of colorful water appeared again on Lin Moyu's fingertips, and he used the colorful water to activate the trap technique. Stellar level magic, corpse explosion. The strength of the troops increased, the multicolored water increased, and the corpse of the ninth-level starry sky beast of the plant god was detonated. Boom! A violent explosion occurred in the starry sky, and the whole scene was like a star explosion. A huge ball of light appeared in the starry sky, and terrifying shock waves swept in all directions. The undead army quickly formed an array to resist the shock wave. Lin Moyu retreated in front of Zhu Qi Wu and turned on the golden shield to protect Zhu Qi Wu from the impact. Zhu Qi Wu has reached a critical moment and must not be disturbed. The screams of the abyss dragon demon disappeared, and the starry sky gradually returned to calm. 
The abyss dragon demon became extremely miserable at this moment. Its huge body was riddled with holes, its dragon scales were broken, flesh and blood flew everywhere, its bones were exposed, and there was not a single piece of good meat on its body. Its aura is also extremely declining, and it is no longer inferior to the other side realm, not even as good as the peak god. But this explosion also destroyed his madness, and the abyss dragon demon's eyes regained their composure. The abyss dragon demon said coldly, I have underestimated you. The fire of the abyss burst out of his body again, and the original runes shone in the fire of the abyss. The abyss dragon demon's injuries are recovering at an alarming rate, but at the same time, his aura is also weakening. Using the original runes is not without cost. In the blink of an eye, the abyss dragon demon's injuries have recovered, but his aura is much weaker than before, and he is almost about to fall below the other side. The only thing that has not weakened is the murderous intention, the hatred for Lin Moyu, and the deep greed. The abyss dragon demon stared at Lin Moyu with his cold eyes, you are lucky this time, I will kill you next time. He wants to escape. Lin Moyu's heart moved, and the generals surrounded him again. Get away. The abyss dragon demon roared, knocked away the skeleton god general, and flew outside. If a strong man from the other side realm wants to escape, Lin Moyu really can't stop him. As long as he escapes the siege, the Star Sea will be vast and it will be difficult to kill him again. The previous efforts will be in vain, and the colorful water will be a waste. Lin Moyu naturally didn't allow this. The dragon demon appeared from the abyss and he tried all his plans along the way. How could he just escape like this? Originally I wanted to save a little, but now it seems I still have to use it. 4-6. Lin Moyu took out the gold token given by Zhu Qiwu, with the word engraved on it. The token of Tian Xing Zoom can be used to strike a blow from the Holy Lord after activation. Moreover, the power of Tian Xingzun is also at the forefront among several saints. When the Abyss Dragon Demon saw the token in Lin Moyu's hand and felt the aura of the Holy Lord on the token, he suddenly showed fear and screamed, Why do you have the Holy Lord's token? Lin Moyu laughed and immediately activated the token. The token exploded, and the majestic figure of the heavenly saint appeared in the starry sky. Lin Moyu felt the soul aura belonging to Tian Xingzun from it, and there was a trace of the soul belonging to Tian Xingzun in the token. The phantom of the heavenly saint is 100,000 meters high, looking down at the abyss dragon demon like a supreme being. He raised his hand, golden light bloomed, and the light converged into a golden sword. Lin Moyu then popped out ten drops of colorful water and sent them to the golden sword. If you want to do it, then do it to the extreme and make the abyss dragon demon completely despair. You can't escape, Lin Moyu's words were like the final judgment, deciding the fate of the abyss dragon demon. The golden sword cuts through the stars, turning hundreds of millions of miles of starry sky into a golden world. In the ways of young Master Jean, the body of the abyss dragon demon was shattered and completely annihilated, leaving only a ball of flame. The dark green abyss fire burned blazingly in the starry sky, and in the flames, there was a fight character. This is the fourth origin rune Lin Moyu has seen. It has the characters of Bing and Zhe, and the former character. It's a pity that Mo Yun failed to enter the original secret realm and convert the before character into a spell. Now Mo Yun has entered the Coffin of Sleep, and the previous characters have long since disappeared, returning to the world. There are many original runes, and the same runes can appear at the same time. But after the original runes are converted into spells, the same runes will no longer appear again. Lin Moyu's two original runes of Bing and Xia have become spells, and these two runes will no longer appear in the world. The fight character in front of him has obviously not been converted into a spell yet, and is still in a rune state. After the Abyss Dragon Demon obtained the fight character, it was able to retain its spells without converting them. It was really amazing. Lin Moyu stretched out his hand to grab the character Dou, when the phantom of Tian Xingzuan shouted loudly, Stop! Lin Moyu stopped, thinking that Tian Xingzuan was also interested in characters. Tian Xingzuan's voice was low. 
This talisman is controlled by the demon lord of the abyss and cannot be obtained by outsiders. If you touch it, you will either die or become a slave of the demon lord of the abyss. Lin Moyu's expression changed slightly. He opened the eyes of the soul and looked carefully, then switched to the eyes of the undead, and finally saw a clue. This fight character is not the original character, but a clone that truly matches the rune. The original runes have their own functions. After being transformed into a spell, it is not impossible to create clones and control others. Creating clones was originally one of the demon clan's abilities. Moreover, there is a trace of soul at the core of this fight character. This soul, seemingly weak, gave Lin Moyu an extremely terrifying feeling. The heavenly saint slowly raised his hand and once again condensed a golden sword. But compared to the one just now, it is obviously a bit weaker. Tian Xingzuan looked at Lin Moyu, water of many colors. Lin Moyu didn't hesitate, and immediately popped out ten drops of colorful water and blended them into the golden sword. The golden sword cuts through the stars, destroying justice in the abyss. The fire of the abyss was immediately melted and dissipated in the starry sky. After Tian Xingzuan struck out the second sword, his body had completely become insubstantial and was about to disappear. In fact, if it weren't for the water of colors, the power of the Holy Lord would have been exhausted after the first sword was struck. Tian Xingzuan looked at Lin Moyu, then at Zhu Qiwu, who was walking on the bloody road, nodded slightly, and then completely disappeared. Lin Moyu breathed a sigh of relief, no one should bother me anymore. Although he said so, he still sent a large number of skeleton generals to represent the broken star ring to guard the star field. Under the sight of the undead, even the existence of the other side realm cannot sneak in. I murmured, this is a loss. Hundreds of drops of the water of colors were used, and the power of faith was exhausted. Even the corpse of the star fire vine was used, but nothing was gained. Lin Moyu was a little unwilling, and his eyes carefully searched the starry sky. The sword struck by the heavenly saint earlier caused the soul of the abyss dragon demon to fly away, leaving no bones left. But before that, the explosion of the corpse that he caused caused it to explode with blood and flesh. Maybe with luck, there will be something left. There are rocks and debris everywhere in the starry sky, and it is difficult for Lin Moyu to find them alone. Fortunately, he had enough men. With the joint efforts of thousands of skeletons, he finally found something after searching tirelessly for more than ten minutes. A total of six dragon scales were found, each of which had been blown to pieces and was completely lifeless. But that's enough. As long as the dragon scales are there, Lin Moyu can use them to explode corpses. The power is equivalent to self-explosion in the other side of the world. Even the saints would have to stay away. It's equivalent to having life-saving trump cards. A few minutes later, another discovery was made. A storage item was found in a broken meteorite. This storage prop looks like a dragon skin, but it is a magic weapon and exudes the unique aura of a magic weapon. It's just that this breath has obviously been covered up and is very weak. The owner of the magic weapon is dead and it has become an ownerless thing. Lin Moyu's soul can easily penetrate into his vassal. A huge space 5.9 appeared in sight, filled with a dazzling array of objects and filled with countless items. Most of them are items specific to the demon clan, and there are also many materials of the divine realm. Lin Moyu took a few glances and found that these materials were also applicable to the demon race. There is no use in taking it yourself, and you can only use it in exchange for points. No good magic weapon was found, and the abyss dragon demon seemed to have never used any magic weapon from the beginning. Lin Moyu guessed whether it was the battle a long time ago that not only injured the abyss dragon demon, but also broke his magic weapon. The abyss dragon demon in the other side realm has been recovering from his injuries. He doesn't like ordinary magic weapons, and he can't get good magic weapons in the other side realm, so he becomes a pauper. It seems that I can only sell these things and use the points to redeem magic weapons. That's all, at least not later. Lin Moyu put away the dragon skin, and suddenly there was a burst of stars, and strange sounds came from the distant starry sky. 
The sound comes from an extremely distant place and rings in the soul. Not only Lin Moyu heard it, but the entire human race, all people above the super god realm, heard this voice. The sound is like a beautiful piece of music. You can't tell what is being played, but you can feel the meaning. This is the voice of congratulations, because the world is a living and Chi Wu has stepped into the other shore to congratulate. At the core of the human race's divine city, all the powerful people in the other shore realm showed joy at the same time. Someone from my human race has stepped into the other shore again. Who steps into the other side? It should be the former guard of the Suzaku battlefield, e.g. Master Wu Xingzuan's disciple, Zhu Qi Wu? I remember that he was just half a step across the river. How could he be so fast? It should be so. He has already embarked on a bloody road to the shore before. Calculating the time, although it is a bit fast, there will be no one else. Holy Lord, how has such a good vision. He has accepted three disciples, one is the other side, and the other two are also peak gods. Maybe one day they will be able to achieve the other side. The big guys in the other shore realm were talking about it. In a more mysterious place, Tian Xingzuan, Wu Xingzuan, and Sha Xingzuan stood together. They are studying the black-blooded invader in 25. Although he is dead, there is only one body left. But even corpses have extremely high research value. In the past, the ancient powerful men were just legends, but now they were right in front of them, which was very attractive to people at their level. The three of them also heard the congratulations of the great world at the same time. Wu Xingzuan smiled and said, Chi Wu has achieved the other side. Tian Xingzun smiled and congratulated, I didn't expect him to complete the bloody journey so quickly. He is indeed a talent, and he will hopefully become a saint in the future. Holy Lord Hao shook his head slightly, I dare not say that he has achieved the Holy Lord. He can at least reach the peak of the other side. Even if he is better than the Holy Lord, he is not far behind. Killing Saint Lord, said loudly, Zhu Qi Wu shattering star law if the fire power is fully used, is not much worse than the first echelon's law. Saint Hell looked into the distance, as if he had traveled through infinite distances, wanting to see the distant starry sky, I told him before to get to the other side as soon as possible, and he really did it. Tian Xingzuan said with a smile, it will be fine after a while, after the starry sky fishman clan arrives. Killing intent rose in the eyes of Saint Killer, our human race has not moved for many years it's time to show off our swords. Otherwise, others will only know that our human race is a strong race, but not how strong it is. At this time, a gleam of light flew from a distance, ignoring any obstacles, passing through the boundary between virtuality and reality, and penetrated into the head of the heavenly saint. Saint Hao's eyes shone slightly, your soul has returned, what happened? Tian Xingzuan read the memory sent back by the soul, I once gave Zhu Qi Wu a protective token. When he was promoted to the other side, the abyss dragon demon came to his door. Saint Hao and Saint Sha frowned. It was not a good thing to be interrupted when they were promoted to the other side. Tian Xingzuan smiled and said, It's okay. Lin Xiaoyu was there because Zhu Qi Wu blocked it. The abyss dragon demon was seriously injured and wanted to escape. Lin Xiaoyu activated the token and killed it. Saint Killer showed a look of shock, it's impossible. Although Xiaoyu Lin's combat power is strong, it's still far behind compared to the other side. 17. Saint Hao also agreed with Saint Killer, this time, even if you are equipped with a golden sword and colorful water, you can only protect yourself at most. Tian Xingzuan chuckled, killing the enemy does not necessarily have to rely solely on brute force, you can also use your brain. Lin Xiaoyu is very smart. Although I don't know the whole battle process, I can tell that the Abyss Dragon Demon suffered a big loss at the hands of Lin Xiaoyu. It feels like the Abyss Dragon Demon has been severely injured, his soul has never recovered, and his strength can only be considered half of the other side realm at best. Although Xiaoyu Lin won, there is now a new trouble. Saint Killer asked strangely, isn't the Abyss Dragon Demon dead? Is there any trouble? Tian Xingzuan pointed his finger and projected the image in his mind out of thin air. 
In the picture, a dark green abyss fire is burning, and there is also a fight character in it that disappears and appears. The killing saint asked, strangely, isn't this the original rune of the abyss demon lord? Saint House shook his head, it's not the original body, just a clone. You mean, the abyss dragon demon possesses this original rune? The heavenly saint nodded, yes. The abyss demon lord should also know that Lin Xiaoyu possesses the origin rune. If I guess correctly, the demon lord of the abyss will try his best to seize his original rune. Saint Killer's expression suddenly changed, that's no trouble, that guy's methods are hard to guard against. Several saints have dealt with the demon lord of the abyss, and they know the ability of the demon lord of the abyss, and are quite afraid of him. There is no fear of head-on confrontation, the only trouble is the other party's dark methods. It is impossible for them to stay by Lin Moyu's side all the time. Saint Hao whispered, we need to find a way. Killing the Holy Lord simply said, let Xiaoyu Lin return to the Divine City. As long as he is in the Divine City, that guy will be unable to do anything. Wu Xingzuan rejected the idea of killing Xingzuan, no, this will disturb Lin Xiaofa. Saint Killer snorted, you might even lose your life, so why bother talking about interference? Tian Xingzun and Hei Xingzun have the same view, Wu Xingzuan is right, we must not interfere with Lin Xiaoyu. It is not that we have done similar things before, and our predecessors also tried to cultivate geniuses that surpass us, but the results were all failed. Don't forget what the god of war said when he stayed. The god of war saw his fate at that time. Xia Xingzuan stopped talking. In fact, he knew all these truths, but he also knew that Lin Moyu would be very dangerous. He gritted his teeth, then what do you think we should do? Wu Xingzuan whispered, we still have a few stones of destiny. I will refine a protective plate for him. 723 Tian Xingzun added, this is not enough. I remember that there should be a few scapegoat puppets in the warehouse. Give a piece to Xiao Yu Lin. Saint Killer said in a low voice, I can save him just once with a little bit of my soul. At this moment, a fourth voice suddenly sounded, I drew an ancient talisman to keep Xiaofa safe. Wu Xingzuan's face was filled with joy, Xingzuan Fu is here. The former ancestor of the Su family, now the holy master Fu, is here at this moment. Around him, an ancient talisman was spinning and flying, exuding a primitive atmosphere, making it look like someone from ancient times. Fu Xingzuan slightly cupped his hands towards the group of three people, Su, I have met three fellow Taoists. Tian Xingzun laughed and said, My Taoist friend, Su, has entered Taoism with the talisman. I am very happy to congratulate you. Your achievements in the future will surely surpass mine. Fu Xingzun was extremely humble, it's just different paths leading to the same destination. I just realized an ancient talisman called the Soul Cleansing Formation. 17. Although the Soul Purifying Talisman is only a second-class ancient talisman, this talisman is most suitable for dealing with the dark methods of the Abyss Demon Lord. If it can be matched with the golden rules of Tian Xingzun, Hei Xingzun's Virtual Realm of Destiny, and the Surrogate Puppet, it can be guaranteed to be foolproof. Although Fu Xingzun has never dealt with the Abyss Demon Lord, he is also very familiar with some of its methods. He explained the effect of the soul purifying talisman, and several saints showed joy, and their previous worries disappeared. Saint Killer urged, Then what are you waiting for? Let's do it quickly. In the ancestral land of the demon clan, it rained fire. The fire of hell and the fire of the abyss merged together to form a strange flame that looked like green, black, and blood. The flames fell, smashing countless buildings, and countless demons were injured or even killed. The demons looked frightened, and they were all at a loss. Different from the celebrations in the human world, a large number of disasters suddenly appeared in the demon world, and a sad atmosphere swept the entire demon territory. When the god dies, it will rain at most, the fall of the other shore realm will bring disaster. It rained heavily before, and many gods died. Now that the heavy rain has turned into a rain of fire, is it possible that the other side of the world has fallen? How many years, how many years has not passed since the other side fell? Did he end his life or be killed? 
Many old demons know more things than younger demons, and they probably know what they have guessed. In the Demon King city, a voice roared with anger. Among the demon clan, two terrifying beings sit at the top of the throne. One person is the demon lord of hell, the supreme existence of the hell system. The other person is the abyss demon lord, the supreme being of the abyss series. Both of them are saints and extremely powerful. The hell demon lord was born from a thousand-headed lion demon. He looks like a lion and is covered with fleshy buns. Each fleshy bun looks like an independent head. It looks very ferocious and terrifying. As for the abyss demon lord, his whole body was shrouded in dark green abyss fire. No one knew what he looked like, and no one in the West knew his origin. Under them, there are hundreds of demons, including saints and peak gods. Each one is extremely powerful and exudes an astonishing aura. The abyss demon lord's voice was very hoarse, like thousands of insects crawling on the ground, giving it a creepy feeling. The abyss dragon demon was killed by the heavenly saint of the human race. Fortress number 10 on the Suzaku battlefield was also destroyed by the human race. None of the demons inside could escape. It was Lin Moyu and Zhu Chi Wu who took action. Zhu Chi Wu should have reached the other side. I have heard the celebrations from the human race. The demon lord of hell whispered, Now is not the time to start a war with the human race, but this revenge must be avenged. Pass my order, all the demons in the four major battlefields will stop collecting resources and pursue the human race with all their strength. Send out the army to cooperate. I want to sprinkle the blood of the human race on the battlefield. As he spoke, he looked at the demon lord of the abyss, who was shaking the fire of the abyss, you don't have to worry about me, you can do whatever you want, I won't object. Although it is not the time to start a war with the human race, the revenge of the abyss dragon demon must be avenged, and I will personally resolve this matter. The hell demon lord nodded, okay, please be careful and don't touch the bottom line of the human race, you know. The abyss demon lord let out a sinister laugh, of course I know, then I'll leave the next thing to you. I only seek personal revenge and will not affect you. After finishing speaking, the figure of the abyss demon lord distorted and disappeared. The Suzaku battlefield is tens of billions of kilometers away from Fortress Number 10 in the void. Zhuchiwu sat cross-legged, his aura continued to sublimate, and the calendar of rules was being fully transformed into the fifth rule. The soul has completely entered the fifth level, and its entire body has turned purple, looking like a piece of beautiful jade. The soul enters the other side earlier than the body. At this moment, just wait for the transformation of the law to be completed, the soul and body to be unified, and achieve the other side. Time passed minute by minute, and after waiting for half a day, the last trace of law was finally transformed into the power of rules. Zhu Wu's body burst into dazzling light. Around his body, the starry sky automatically collapsed, because it could not bear the power of the rules. At this moment, the soul re-enters the body and becomes one with the body. A powerful aura rose into the sky, and the law galaxy under his feet quickly shrank and penetrated into his body. Zhu Wu's body shook violently, and his physical body began to strengthen, from the first level of God King to the third level of God King quickly. In the next period of time, the physical body will continue to strengthen and will not stop until it reaches the sixth level of the God King. As the realm reaches the other side, the laws of the galaxy automatically integrate into the body, continuously stimulating and strengthening the physical body. It is precisely because of this that cultivators in the big world basically do not take the initiative to cultivate the physical body. Almost everyone believes that the physical body only needs to be enough to carry the soul. As the realm improves, the physical body will naturally strengthen, and there is no need to deliberately practice. The most important thing is that physical training is too slow and difficult to produce results. Instead of wasting your life, it is better to focus on cultivating your soul and lead to a higher realm. The law galaxy has not disappeared, but has been integrated into the body, and the power of the law galaxy can be mobilized at any time. Laws are the foundation of rules. The galaxy of laws contains endless power of laws, 
which can be continuously transformed into rules. The power of the other shore realm will be endless. As long as you control the rhythm, you will hardly have to worry about running out of power. Moreover, all kinds of restrictive spells are difficult to restrict the other side realm. The other side of the world is self-contained and self-sufficient and does not need to rely on the outside world. Zhu Chiwu slowly opened his eyes, and Lin Moyu said sincerely, Congratulations, Senior, for reaching the other side. I wish Senior to become a saint as soon as possible and have the power to destroy heaven and earth. The first half of the sentence is decent, but the second half is directly transformed. Zhu Chiwu didn't know whether to thank Lin Moyu or scold Lin Moyu. He looked around and frowned, has anyone been here? The broken star ring collapsed, and there was a post-war atmosphere everywhere. Lin Moyu agreed and returned the token of Saint Hao to Zhu Chi Wu, the abyss dragon demon, is here. I used the token of Saint Lord Tian to destroy him. Zhu Chi Wu whispered, the abyss dragon demon actually attacked us. You can't take action casually in the other shore realm, this is the rule. It's just that the abyss dragon demon was so unruly that it exceeded Zhu Jiwu's expectations. Lin Moyu said casually, actually, it's nothing. That guy has a grudge against me and came here in the name of seeking revenge from me. Unfortunately, he didn't expect to encounter Tian Xingzuan's token and be chopped to pieces. Zhu Jiwu chuckled, it's really unlucky. That guy has been severely injured and his combat power is more than twice as weak as that of the ordinary other side realm. It's better to die than to continue to live. Let me ask you, what insights did you get from watching me walk on the bloody road and walk on the other side this time? There was a trace of hesitation in Lin Moyu's eyes, Senior Zhu, I don't know whether I should say something or not. Zhu Chiwu looked at Lin Moyu strangely, when did you become hesitant? Wang Nua, hello, let him go, if you have a nun. Lin Moyu thought for a while before speaking, I feel that the method of treading the bloody road is a shortcut. Zhu Chiwu burst out laughing, I thought it was something, but it turned out to be this. You are right, it is indeed a shortcut. Are you worried that taking shortcuts will affect your future, right? Lin Moyu nodded slightly, that's what he really thought. Zhu Chiwu explained, maybe it will have an impact, but it will not affect the achievement of the saint. As for the higher and further road, it can't be entered. Lin Moyu trembled suddenly, can't walk? Zhu Chiwu shook his head, I only heard a few words from Holy Lord how occasionally. I don't know the specific information. I can only understand it when you get to Holy Lord how. Taking a bloody road is indeed a shortcut. Relying on external forces, how could it not be a shortcut? But if you don't take this shortcut and want to achieve success on the other side, it's difficult. Zhu Chi Wu let out a long sigh, with a hint of Wu Chen. An old man and a young man sat in the silent starry sky and chatted for a long time. After reaching the other side realm, Zhu Chi Wu's strength increased significantly, but his temperament did not change at all. He is taciturn to outsiders, extremely aloof, and difficult to approach. But once you switch to someone you recognize, you can talk endlessly. Zhu Chiwu told Lin Moyu a lot. He knew very well that embarking on the bloody road was a shortcut, but it was also a shortcut that he had to choose. The human race needs the other side, and even more needs the Holy One. Even now, the human race is already strong enough, stronger than any other race. According to Zhu Chi Wu, fighting alone, no race in the big world dares to scream in front of the human race. Even today's demon race is somewhat weaker than the human race. Regardless of how much fun they usually have, if they really fight with the human race, they will only be defeated. But the enemies of the human race are not only the demon race, but also other races in the big world. Once the human race and the demon race start a war, it goes without saying that other races will definitely help the demon race and attack the human race. They will not sit back and let the human race dominate. Even in order to suppress the human race, it is not impossible for the disaster a hundred thousand years ago to happen again. In other words, the human race is very strong, but not the absolute strongest. 
If all races join forces, the human race will also be defeated. Therefore, the human race needs a large number of other shore realms and a large number of saints. The Holy Lord is currently the top combat power in the world. As long as there are enough Holy Lords, the human race may truly become the strongest in the world. For 37 if he had not chosen the shortcut of embarking on the bloody road, it might have taken Zhu Chiwu thousands of years to complete the Galaxy of Laws, and it was even possible that he would never be able to complete it. In this way, the human race will not only lose a other shore, but also most likely lose a saint. Zhu Chiwu's goal is to become a saint and gain the strongest combat power because of the human race. So even if you know it is a shortcut, you can only choose this way. Not only the human race, but other races also chose this way. The human race is afraid that the disaster of 100,000 years ago will happen again, and other races are also afraid that the human race will be alone. Although there have been no large-scale wars between various ethnic groups in recent years, undercurrents are surging and all ethnic groups are competing. The big world is very cruel, with natural selection and competition, sailing against the current, if you don't advance, you will retreat. Even if you want to shrink down, if you don't have the strength, you will eventually be found and eliminated. The top brass of the human race always have a sense of urgency. Even the Holy Lord has been preparing for a rainy day, fearing that the disaster of a hundred thousand years ago will happen again. If Xiao Zhantian hadn't been born at that time, the human race would have been eliminated from the big world. Zhu Qiwu explained the causes and consequences thoroughly, and Lin Moyu gained a more macroscopic understanding of the entire world and the situation of the entire human race. Throughout the narration, Zhu Qiwu also revealed some information that outsiders could not possibly know. Because of his special status, Zhu Qiwu has some special information. He believed in Lin Moyu, so he did not shy away from it. After the disaster a hundred thousand years ago, Xiao Zhantian, the god of war, stood up across the sky, cutting off the modern era by one person and opening up a new era for the entire world. It is not difficult for Xiao Zhantian to destroy an entire clan by one person. Xiao Zhantian did indeed do this. Some small races that invaded the human race were destroyed by his own hands. Even powerful clans such as the Golden Eagle Clan and the Demon Clan were beaten into retreat by Xiao Zhantian. At that time, it was the era of Xiao Zhantian. Due to some special reasons, Xiao Zhantian did not destroy the Demon Clan, the Golden Eagle Clan and some other powerful clans. Zhu Qiwu didn't know the specific reason. However, Xiao Zhantian also made an arrangement to stir up hatred among the various clans. At that time, there was no hatred between the Demon Tribe and the Golden Eagle Tribe. I don't know when, but there was hatred between the two tribes, and they began to conquer each other. As time went by, the hatred accumulated deeper and deeper and evolved into a feud. Not only the Golden Eagle Tribe and the Demon Tribe, but also some other powerful tribes all had inexplicable hatred towards each other and began to fight against each other. As a result, various races began to consume each other, which also gave the human race a chance to rise again. As for how Xiao Zhantian did it, no one knows. Zhu Qiwu's eyes were thoughtful, maybe the head of the Temple of War will know some inside stories, but he can't tell them. The saints feel that although the hatred between the various races has been established, if the human race is too powerful, they can still put aside their hatred and deal with the human race together. Just like they can temporarily put aside their hatred to form a coalition in order to kill you, CGFC, is the same reason. Lin Moyu agreed with Zhu Qiwu, and Lei Shi did the same. When they discovered that the human race truly posed a threat to them, they were able to put aside their past hatred. Even those races that have no hatred against the human race, such as the bull demon race, may join the team that conquers the human race. Lin Moyu whispered, in fact, in the final analysis, we must really scare them, cripple them, and kill them, so that the world can be peaceful. Zhu Qiwu sighed, yes, but it's difficult. Lin Moyu's eyes flashed with coldness, it's difficult, but that doesn't mean it can't be done. I don't know why Lord God of War didn't continue to do it back then. 
If I can reach the level of Holy Lord one day, I will definitely wield my sword against all races. I want to settle all the old and new grudges. Zhu Chiwu chuckled and said, All races have already felt the threat you bring, so they will not allow you to grow. You may face greater threats. Lin Moyu doesn't care. He has been fighting his way out since he changed jobs. A bloody road has long been formed under the feet. It is not even a blood road, but a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood. He has killed more people than most gods in the human race. Zhu Chiwu felt Lin Moyu's murderous intention and couldn't help but smile, I know you are not afraid, but you still have to be careful. In order to deal with you, maybe all ethnic groups in the other side will shamelessly mobilize the people. Keep the token of Saint Hao, maybe you can use it. Zhu Chiwu threw the token of Holy Lord Hao back to Lin Moyu. Now Zhu Chiwu has successfully promoted to the other side. With his combat power, Unless the Holy Lord takes action personally, it will be difficult to kill him in the ordinary other side realm. If the Holy Lord takes action, just relying on a token of the Holy Lord will not be of much use. It's better to give it to Lin Moyu, maybe it can play some role. Lin Moyu was not polite and put the token away. Zhu Chiwu asked, Boy, where are you going next? Lin Moyu thought for a moment, I'll go back to the Vermilion Bird Star territory first maybe go to the small world, and then go to the white tiger star territory. Zhu Chiwu said, I am also going back to the divine city. In the blink of an eye, I have left the divine city for more than two thousand years. There was nostalgia in his voice and eyes, like an old man who had been away from home for a long time and began to miss his hometown and the people there. Lin Moyu smiled and said, Then we are destined to meet again. I hope you can become a saint as soon as possible. You brat, you really dare to think that. Zhu Chi Wu didn't know whether to laugh or cry. He had just reached the other side, and he missed the Holy Lord even before he could stand firm. But he also knew that Lin Moyu was joking with him. A flame suddenly lit up in the starry sky. The flame was extremely dim and exuded a deep dark green color. This kind of green makes people's hearts sink when they see it. It is so green that it turns black. Zhu Chi Wu's expression suddenly changed. No, it's the demon lord of the abyss. In the flames, a gloomy and hoarse voice flew out. You can't go anywhere. The voice of the abyss demon lord is extremely unpleasant, but it also contains extremely powerful power. Just hearing his voice, Lin Moyu felt his heart beat a few times unconsciously. The demon lord of the abyss came in person to kill him. Zhu Chiwu whispered, I'll hold him back while you walk in that direction. He winked at Lin Moyu and signaled Lin Moyu to leave. Lin Moyu shook his head, I can't leave, and I won't leave either. Zhu Chiwu's eyes were obviously anxious. Facing the Holy Lord, Lin Moyu's presence and absence made no difference. He can hold it off for a while with all his strength, and if Lin Moyu is lucky, he may be able to escape. Lin Moyu said with a smile, Your Majesty, if you attack a god like me, aren't you afraid of being laughed at? The gloomy voice sounded again, Who dares to laugh at me? The fire of the abyss expanded instantly, like a cage, trapping Lin Moyu and Zhu Chi Wu. Zhu Chi Wu's eyes were determined, the rules were gathered, and he was ready to fight. Lin Moyu is also ready to take action. No matter whether he can win or not, he will know after he has fought. He has the scales of the abyss dragon demon and can use corpse explosions. It's true that the demon lord of the abyss is a holy lord, but the holy lord is also the other side. Logically speaking, using the corpse of the abyss dragon demon as a material can also damage the abyss demon lord. If you add the colorful water, you might have a chance to kill the opponent. God King Tu Xingzuan, this seems a bit fantasy, but Lin Moyu feels that he can give it a try. Suddenly his soul moved, and he said to Zhu Chi Wu, It's okay. A dot of golden light suddenly exploded in the flames, followed by countless dots of golden light. Wherever the golden light passed, the fire of the abyss was extinguished. Tian Xing Zun The abyss demon lord let out a low roar, obviously very angry, but also with a hint of surprise. Perhaps he was surprised as to why Tian Xing Zun came so quickly. 
Amidst the thousands of golden lights, a figure gradually solidified. Tian Qingzun looked at a certain place in the void with a warm smile on his face, Demon Lord of the Abyss, after thousands of years, do you still want me to take action again? A few seconds later, a low roar came from the fire of the abyss, the fire of the abyss gradually disappeared, and the abyss demon lord disappeared. Lin Moyu heard from the conversation between the two that they had fought against each other thousands of years ago. Moreover, Heavenly Saint Lord should have won, and abyss demon lord does not dare to fight against Heavenly Saint Lord again now. Zhu Chiwu was about to speak, but Saint In waved his hand to stop him. The heavenly saint raised his hand, and a golden star appeared in his palm. The stars flew out from the palm, like a golden star, lighting up the starry sky. Lin Moyu and Zhu Chiwu bathed in the golden light, feeling like bathing in a hot spring and very comfortable. Then strands of black energy flew up from Lin Moyu's body and melted under the golden light. Lin Moyu asked, What is this? With his soul state, he didn't even feel the existence of black energy. The heavenly saint said, This is the mark made by the abyss demon lord on your body. Just a mark? Lin Moyu feels that things are not that simple. Tian Xingzuan further explained, The mark of the abyss demon lord is somewhat special. Not only can he track you through the mark, he can also attack you through the mark regardless of distance. Of course, that kind of attack is not very powerful and will not be fatal. But he will attack at the most critical time of your cultivation, destroy your cultivation, and even make your efforts fail. Lin Moyu felt a slight chill in his heart, as expected of the demon lord of the abyss, his methods are ruthless and hard to guard against. There is already murderous intention in his eyes, and when he has enough strength in the future, he will kill him. Tian Xingzuan smiled and shook his head, this is just a small trick. The real tricks of Demon Lord Abyss are more than that. Many of his tricks would give even me a headache, so after I learned that you had interacted with him, I immediately came over. As he spoke, a palm-sized puppet appeared in Tian Xingzuan's hand, this is a scapegoat. If you encounter a fatal threat, it can die for you. The scapegoat doll is a really good thing, and it is more precious than the divine treasure. Having it on your body is equivalent to having an extra life. Lin Moyu immediately imprinted his soul on the scapegoat. The scapegoat turned into a stream of light and penetrated between the eyebrows. In the soul world, a doll appears next to the soul. The doll is like a ball of gas, constantly changing, occasionally reflecting the appearance of Lin Moyu. It faintly exudes a strange atmosphere, as if it is connected to some kind of rules between heaven and earth. If there is fatal danger, whether it is physical danger or soul danger, it will die once for Lin Moyu. And it can be controlled by Lin Moyu himself, or he can leave it alone and let it work on its own. It can be controlled by itself, which means it will not affect Lin Moyu's talent. Lin Moyu will definitely choose to use his talent first. Only when the two opportunities for rebirth of the talent are exhausted, he will use the scapegoat. Lin Moyu saluted Tian Xingzun, thank you Tian Xingzun. Tian Xingzun waved his hand, this is just one of them. Fu Xingzun, Wu Xingzun, and Killer Xingzun are refining protective objects for you, and they will be sent to you in a while. No matter where you go next, you are not allowed to leave the human star field before their protective objects are delivered. Do you understand? There was a hint of caution in Tian Xingzun's tone. This also shows that the Heavenly Saint Lord is also wary of the Abyss Demon Lord's methods. Lin Moyu is wary, I am careful. Tian Xingzuan nodded with satisfaction and looked at Zhu Chiwu again, Chiwu, you have been away from home for more than 2,000 years, it's time to go home and have a look. Zhu Chiwu said with emotion, we really should go back and take a look. Over the past 2,000 years, things have changed and people have changed. I don't know what happened to them. Tian Xingzuan left, and before leaving, he gave Lin Moyu some more instructions. Lin Moyu and Zhu Qiwu returned to Fortress Number 10. Then the two formally said goodbye, and Lin Moyu returned to Fortress Number 1 alone. During the long transmission, countless stars were left behind. After repeated battles, Lin Moyu felt a little tired in his heart. 
This is inevitable and will always be experienced in the process of cultivation. People always have emotions, and no matter how firm their Taoist heart is, sometimes they cannot avoid emotional ups and downs. This is why after cultivating to a certain level, you need to practice, you need to experience the ups and downs of human relationships, and you need ordinary life to smooth out the bumps and valleys of cultivation. There are many powerful practitioners, either God kings or God lords. They often hide their names and enter the world of ordinary people. Living with ordinary people, eating, drinking, sleeping, and getting old slowly. Just like Zhu Chiwu, he once visited several small worlds when he was the God King. In the small world, he fully experienced life, old age, illness, and death as an ordinary person. After doing this, you can transcend and make your Taoist heart stronger. Lin Moyu was once an ordinary person, and he got to where he is now step by step, but he didn't need to be like this. But he also gets tired and sometimes needs a rest. Fortress number one is still the most lively place in the human territory of Suzaku Battlefield. In the backyard of the trading center, Yuzhu had already made tea. When Lin Moyu came back, Yuzhu's beautiful face was like flowers in full bloom, so charming and dazzling. Team leader. Tell Yuzhu what kind of experience it was like this time. Looking at the captain, he seems to have experienced a lot of killing. Isn't he very dangerous? Yuzhu's voice is very sweet, even if you listen to her talking all the time, you won't get bored. The blood in Lin Moyu's body was not dissipated, there was a trace of tiredness in his brows, and there was a faint hint of murderous intent. Yuzhu watched countless people and knew that Lin Moyu's journey would be dangerous. A cup of iced tea enters the stomach, and the refreshing iced tea spreads in the body, dispelling the restlessness and heat in the blood. Lin Moyu took a long breath and smiled slightly, we have indeed gone through several battles. Maybe you will receive news soon. Yuzhu said with a smile, it seems that the captain is making a big fuss this time. Lin Moyu nodded slightly, it's indeed amazing. Yuzhu saw that Lin Moyu didn't tell him directly, so he stopped asking. Since Lin Moyu said there would be news coming 453, she was not in a hurry. The news from the Yu family is very timely, so you shouldn't have to wait too long. Yuji's big eyes rolled and he said with soul, Captain, did you know? The new guard of the Suzaku battlefield is coming. Lin Moyu nodded, I know, Senior Zhu has been promoted to the other side, so naturally he needs to be replaced. Zhu Chiwu's promotion to the other side is not a secret, Yu Zhu will know it soon. As expected, Yu Zhu was not too surprised. Perhaps she had already received the news. She continued, Does the captain know who the new guard is? Lin Moyu shook his head, I don't know. Generally, the battlefield guards are all peak gods, coming from the divine city. It was Zhu Chiwu before, and it should be the same this time, coming from a big family in the divine city. Yu Zhu said, It should be from the Song family. Lin Moyu thought of Song Jia the ancestor of the Song family, a strong man in the other side realm, Jia. He once helped me and even gave me an ancient talisman and jade piece. The ancient talisman and jade piece became one of his trump cards and solved a lot of troubles for himself. In fact, Lin Moyu doesn't care who comes to guard the Suzaku battlefield. However, Lin Moyu saw Yuzhu's face looking a little strange and asked, Is there any problem? Yuzhu whispered, Captain, can you do me a favor? Lin Moyu looked at her and said something. Lin Moyu did not agree directly. Yuzhu also knew Lin Moyu's character and said calmly, Actually, it is the Song family who came to guard this time. Lin Moyu raised his eyebrows, Do you have a grudge against him? Do you want me to kill him? Yuzhu exclaimed, No, no, Arya family and Song family have a very good relationship. After Yuzhu thought for a moment, he finally plucked up the courage and said, that's it. The guard sent by the Song family this time is called Song Ren, and he is the pinnacle god. Song Ren and my father are good friends and have a good relationship with our Yu family. Song Ren has a son named Song Yi. Song Yi once came to my house to propose marriage, but I rejected him. He will also come this time and my father will also come. 
Lin Moyu finally understood and laughed dumbly, what do you think? Yuju's pretty face turned red, I have a sweetheart, and it's not Song Yi. While speaking, Yuju's beautiful eyes stared straight at Lin Moyu without blinking. Any normal person can see the affection in Yuju's eyes. However, Lin Moyu turned a blind eye and drank tea by himself, then why don't you just refuse? Yuju whispered, that won't work. I can't explain it to my father. The rules of our Yu family are very strict. The reason why I have never returned to the Yu family or the Divine City, and I took the initiative to call in the four major star regions and enter the battlefield, is to avoid him. Faced with the family's rules, Yuju chose to break away. Lin Moyu can understand very well that in such a big family, there are too many rules. As a child of the family, in fact, many times you don't have the right to choose. You must obey the family's arrangements. As a family member, you must contribute to the family. There is only one exception, and that is showing amazing cultivation talent. That family will treat you as a treasure and train you with all their strength, and will never let you marry outside. Even if there are any external troubles, the family will appear to help you deal with them. But Yuju is obviously not this kind of person. Yuju's cultivation talent is not good, only not bad. Yuju may have a high status in the Yu family, but he still cannot escape that fate in the end. Being in a big family, sometimes you can't help yourself. Lin Moyu asked, Is Yi's talent very high? Yuju nodded, very tall. He is only 300 years old and has already become a god king. He is a relatively outstanding genius among the younger generation of the Song family. Furthermore, Lord Song Ren had a son late in life, and Song Yi was his youngest son, and he was extremely doting on him. The relationship between Lord Song Ren and my father is very good. Although my father loves me, he will also consider the family. Not only that, Song Ren is a direct descendant of the Song family. His grandfather is the ancestor of the Song family, and he has a very good relationship with the ancestor of Mayu family. Yu Zhu felt a little desperate as he spoke. What is the identity of the ancestor in the family? If Song Yi seeks the ancestor, the ancestor of the Song family and the ancestor of the Yu family speak, and his father will not be able to follow her even if he wants to. Lin Mo Yu drank tea, then how do you want me to help you? Yu Zhu thought for a while, why don't the captain feel aggrieved and we can cook the raw rice so that we don't have to marry him? Lin Moyu almost spit out her iced tea with a sip of iced tea. This girl Yu Zhu is really courageous to come up with such an idea. He knew that in this kind of family, a woman's chastity was taken very seriously. Losing one's virginity before marriage is severely punished. Lin Moyu shook his head, this method is not feasible. Yu Zhu sighed. She seemed to have predicted that Lin Moyu would not agree. How about Captain, please propose marriage to my father. If I marry you, I won't have to marry Song Yi. With his status as Captain, my father will definitely agree. Lin Moyu smiled and shook his head, I have a wife. Ah? Yu Zhu was stunned, her face turned pale, Captain, are you married? Lin Moyu smiled, I got married in this small world, and I have more than one wife. Yuju's face was filled with disappointment. After hesitating for a long time, she summoned up her courage and said, Can the captain marry another one? At this moment, Lin Moyu felt that Yuju was a little cute, a little innocent, and a little pitiful. She usually imitates the temperament of her elders in the family. No matter how similar she is, she is still just an inexperienced little girl. Although she is much older than herself, she behaves like a little girl. 1.5 With Yuju looking sad and full of expectations, Lin Moyu couldn't help but reach out and touch her little head. The smooth hair flowed across the fingertips, and at the same time Lin Moyu's warm voice came, Don't worry, I have a solution. Yuju's eyes lit up, What can I do? I don't know when she started to doubt Lin Moyu's words. Lin Moyu said, If there is a way, then there must be a calendar. Lin Moyu closed his eyes slightly, connected to the Renliao Wang network, and sent a message to Mrs. Yu. Mrs. Yu is the ancestor of the Yu family. As long as she speaks out about the Yu family's affairs, no one will object. 
In this case, there is no need to think of other solutions, just go to Mrs. Yu. Just one minute after the message was sent, Lin Moyu received a reply from Mrs. Yu. Lin Moyu opened his eyes again, looked at Yu Zhu, who was full of expectations, and said with a smile, Saul, Yu Zhu's eyes were as bright as stars at this moment, really? Lin Moyu smiled slightly, when did I lie to you? Your father will not force you in the future. As long as you don't agree, the entire Yu family will not force you. Although Yu Zhu believed in Lin Moyu, he was full of doubts at the moment. Just over a minute ago, Lin Moyu had his eyes closed, obviously on the internet. In my opinion, what was a huge problem was solved so easily by Lin Moyu. She knew her father's character. Her father had a stubborn temper and wanted to be called stubborn. Once he decides something, there is no way he can get it back. Yuzhu was full of doubts, Captain, what did you do? Lin Moyu smiled mysteriously, you should know it soon, come on, pour the tea. Yuzhu's delicate brows squeezed out the word Sichuan, but he still carefully poured the picture for Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu stopped talking and just waited quietly. In less than half a minute, Yuzhu suddenly became shocked and his eyes closed naturally. Lin Moyu knew that she had received information from the Renhuang 26 network. Yuzhu closed his eyes, his brows filled with shock. Lin Moyu sipped the tea slowly, no longer drinking tea, but began to savor it carefully. My mood gradually slowed down and I was calm and calm. The breath of the previous battle gradually faded away, getting weaker and weaker until it disappeared. Suddenly, Lin Moyu suddenly felt that he had a detached mentality. I don't know when I started to be able to treat guests from a high position. Maybe his level is not high yet, but the people and things he comes into contact with and the enemies he kills are all completely different from others. Without realizing it, I started to look down. The things that give Yuzhu a headache can be solved by himself in just a few sentences, without any difficulty. Some small actions of yours can influence the fate of others. It seems that everything around him is firmly controlled by himself. Strength, countless people are obsessed with strength, because strength brings unimaginable power. In the mortal world, people admire the imperial power, practitioners, and people pursue a higher realm. In the end, it's all about looking down. What a pity, this is not what I want. Lin Moyu's soul gently caressed the sleeping coffin. This sleeping coffin was made by himself and the four beloved wives were sleeping peacefully in it. Time stands still for them, waiting for themselves to wake them up. Lin Moyu's thoughts returned and he saw a pair of big bright eyes. There is one part admiration and one part affection in the eyes. Lin Moyu was in a daze for a moment. Ning Yi had looked at him with this look before. Captain, how did you do it? Yuzhu's beautiful and clear voice sounded. Lin Moyu could roughly guess Yuzhu's experience just now. Is it solved? Yuzhu nodded vigorously, it's solved. The ancestor came to contact me personally and said that I will only listen to myself from now on, not even my father's words. Ancestor has kept his word in our Yu family, and no one dares to violate it. Even my father must listen to ancestor. Captain, how did you do it? Lin Moyu smiled, I just told Madam Yu about your matter and Madame Yu said she would handle it well, so you can rest assured. How could Yuzhu not hear that Lin Moyu was trying to be perfunctory, but she was smart enough not to ask further questions. Now Yuzhu is in a very good mood. The major issue that was lingering on her heart has finally been resolved, and she no longer has to worry about it in the future. Lin Moyu put down the teacup and said, Okay, it's time to get down to business. I have a batch of things to trade here. There are a lot of things. As soon as he returned to his old business, Yuzhu became professional, whenever you don't have many things, but as usual, you give me the most precious things first, and I will give you an estimate first. Lin Moyu didn't know which things were the most precious. There were too many storage props, and he didn't have any check. He took out several storage props, including those of the Abyss Dragon Demon and some storage props belonging to the peak god. Thinking about it, these things should be the most precious. Every storage item is tainted with the aura of its owner during his lifetime. 
The time that Lin Moyu got them was still short, and the breath had not completely dissipated. Yuju was hit by the aura, and his face suddenly turned pale, and he was actually a little injured. Her realm is so bad that just one look from the peak god is enough to kill her. Lin Moyu flicked out a ray of white light from his finger and fell on Yuju, making him feel better. Yuju said with horror, Captain, these things are so scary. Lin Moyu smiled and said, Which one do you think is the scariest? After Yuju looked carefully, he pointed at one of them, I think this one is the scariest. Lin Moyu chuckled, You have good vision. This is the storage prop of the demon clan Abyss Dragon Demon. It is also the strongest among these gods, the other side realm. Yuju looked at Lin Moyu with doubts, What is the other side of the world? Lin Moyu thought for a while, the realm above the gods is the same level as your ancestors. The hair on Yuju's whole body stood on end, as if he had been struck by lightning. She couldn't believe Lin Moyu's words, Captain, are you telling the truth? Lin Moyu nodded, it's true, these others all belong to the peak gods. Although it is hard to believe, Yuju still trusts Lin Moyu. She stretched out her little hand and picked up the storage item of the abyss dragon demon. It could be seen that she was very nervous and her little hand was still shaking. In the other shore realm, he is a terrifying guy on the same level as his ancestor. Now his storage props are in his hands. What about others? Needless to say, they must be dead. Was he killed by Lin Moyu? Is Lin Moyu's combat power so strong? Is it possible? But the storage props are here. If it wasn't Lin Moyu who made them, who would have made them? Countless question marks popped up in Yuju's little head. 160 She looked at the storage props and then at Lin Moyu. In shock, with great cuteness. Lin Moyu couldn't help but stretched out his hand and tapped her head, What are you thinking about? The one the abyss dragon demon killed was Senior Zhu. To be precise, he was killed with the token given by Xing Chiwu. Only then did Yuju react, that makes sense, but the captain is also very powerful and can fight side by side with Senior Zhu. Lin Moyu smiled and said, Don't talk nonsense, let's get an estimate. Yuju groaned, The things here are too valuable and have exceeded my authority. I want the elders in the family to appraise and appraise it together. Lin Moyu nodded, It's up to you. The Yu family controls the trading center and has an extremely complex and strict set of rules for trading. There are detailed rules for what level of treasures can be appraised and valued. Not to mention things from the other shore realm, even things belonging to the peak deity have exceeded Yuzhu's authority. In fact, Yuzhu did not expect that the things Lin Moyu brought would be of such a high level. Yuzhu contacted his family elders on the Renhuang network. A few seconds later, Yuzhu said, Captain, the elders in the family have already arrived. Captain, you can have some tea. It shouldn't take long for you to arrive. Lin Moyu nodded, no need to worry. At this time, footsteps were heard in the courtyard, and a middle-aged man appeared outside the pavilion. The middle-aged man's name is Yu Chun Kong, he is a seventh-level god, and his appearance is somewhat similar to Yu Zhu. When Yu Zhu saw the person coming, he immediately stood up and called out in a cute voice, Father. Yu Chun Kong snorted, if I don't come to find you, you won't be coming back, right? Yu Zhu whispered, no way, I just want to practice outside. Yu Chun Kong snorted, experience, I see you clearly want to escape. He spoke a little harshly, but Lin Moyu could tell that he was very kind to Yu Zhu. Some feelings, no matter what you say, you can't hide the feeling in your eyes. Yu Chun Kong did not come in because there were guests in the pavilion. Although the formation had not been activated and the transaction had not officially started, the rules were the rules. When there are guests in the pavilion, only traders and guests can be inside, and no one is allowed to enter without invitation. Only traders can initiate invitations. Yu Chen Kong looked at Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu hid the information, but the aura of the god king in him could not hide it from him. When Yu Chen Kong looked at Lin Moyu, Lin Moyu had already moved his gaze to Yu Ching Kong's side. Beside him, there was a young man standing. The young man is exactly what Yu Zhu said was Song Yi. 
The jade tree in Songyi is facing the wind, with extraordinary bearing and handsome appearance. Although he is only at the third level of the god king, his aura is profound and cannot be compared to the ordinary third level god king. Lin Moyu guessed that he should have the ability to leapfrog challenges, and he was an example of genius. After Songyi arrived here, he never said a word, but kept staring at Yuzhu, with admiration shining in his eyes. It's a pity that falling flowers are intentional and flowing water is ruthless. Things like feelings require your consent. Yu Ching Kong spoke again, Girl, didn't you see that senior brother Song is here too? Why didn't you say hello? Yuzhu said oh and saluted Song Yi slightly, Hello, Dr. Brother. This was said in a feeble manner, and even the etiquette was not in place. Yu Ching Kong frowned, a little unhappy, but Song Yi had already said, Hello, Junior Sister Yuzhu, long time no see. Yuzhu hummed and said nothing more, but glanced at Yu Kang Kang. That means, you asked me to say hello, and I did. As for the rest, I won't talk about it. How could Yu Ching Kong not know that his daughter would have given him a lesson in normal times, but now that outsiders were present, he still wanted to save face for Yu Zhu. Yu Ching Kong looked at Lin Moyu, this little friend, can you find another trader for your trading? I want to have something to say to my little girl. As a dignified and high-level god, Yu Ching Kong felt that as soon as he said this, a god king like Lin Moyu would definitely agree. Unexpectedly, Lin Moyu shook his head gently. Over the years, I have gotten used to it at Yuzhu Sisters, but I am not used to other traders. Yu Ching Kong frowned, but he didn't expect Lin Moyu to reject his request. This young man gave himself no face at all. He was well mannered and did not argue with Lin Moyu. Instead, he said, Then please trouble Xiaofa to complete the transaction as soon as possible. Lin Moyu shook his head again, Don't worry. I have a lot to trade and I'm waiting for someone to come. Yuzhu also said, Yes, we have a lot of things to trade and they are very valuable. Father, you can wait outside. As for how long it will take, I don't know. Yu Ching Kong's face turned serious at this time, Girl, you know there are some things you can't avoid. He felt that Yuzhu and Lin Moyu were cooperating to delay time. He simply didn't believe that a god king could have anything valuable to trade. Yuzhu smiled and said, Father, I don't plan to hide anymore. Ancestor said that I can make my own decisions, and you can't coerce me. Yu Ching Kong's expression changed, Ancestor? Yuzhu nodded, if you don't believe it, you can ask the ancestor. Yu Ching Kong snorted, is it okay for you to ask the ancestor if you want to? Yuzhu didn't care what Yu Ching Kong said, anyway, my ancestor has said that I have to make my own decisions. Brother Song Yi, let me say it again, I don't like you, and I can't marry you. Please come back. I won't do it in the future. Come again. Presumptuous. Yu Ching Kong shouted angrily and instinctively wanted to break in. Yuzhu snorted, Father, don't forget the rules. Yu Ching Kong just lifted his foot and put it down again. At this time, Song Yi's face had become very ugly. Yu Zhu rejected him unceremoniously, which made him lose face. Forget it if it's in private, but there is an outsider here. Lin Moyu was drinking tea slowly at the moment, looking like he was watching a show with a smile on his face, which made him extremely unhappy. Song Yi tried his best to suppress his anger, Sister Yu Zhu. I really like you. Now that the conversation has reached this point, Yuzhu also let go completely, if you like me, do I want to marry you? There are so many people in the world who like me, do I want to marry everyone? Are you in line? Do you think there's nothing I can do to propose marriage to my father? Like a bed bug, I follow you wherever I go. Do you know how annoying you are? Can you please find someone who you like and who also likes you? Yuzhu spoke quickly and urgently, showing his true colors, and Song Yi's face became more and more ugly. Yu Ching Kong didn't expect that his daughter would suddenly say this, and he couldn't react immediately. Bang bang bang, the sound of clapping suddenly sounded, and Lin Moyu clapped his hands and said, Well said, emotional matters are originally between you and me. How can anyone come to force you to marry? If outsiders look at it, 
they would think that no one wants the young lady of the Yu family. Yu Ching Kong whispered, My little friend, this is a matter of my Yu family. Lin Moyu smiled and said, I am Yu Zhu's friend. I think it is natural for me to say a few words to my friend. Song Yi finally couldn't help it, you brat, do you know who the Yu family is and who I am? Lin Moyu laughed out loud, if you're reasonable, just be reasonable. If you're interested, just be sympathetic. Why are you talking about identity again? Yu Zhu also echoed Lin Moyu's words, that is, you always talk about your identity. What's wrong with you being a member of the Song family? I am still a member of the Yu family. Is my Yu family not as good as your Song family? Shut up. Yu Chen Kong shouted angrily. Yu Zhu's words directly raised the issue to the relationship between the Yu family and the Song family. In this way, even if he is well off, he cannot afford it. Yu Chen Kong's face was full of anger. Do you know what you are talking about? Yu Zhu snorted, then do you know what you are doing? You are selling your daughter, the daughter of the Yu family. Yu Zhu's words were so sharp that Yu Ching Kang felt that the daughter in front of him was a little strange for a moment. In his memory, Yu Zhu's character was indeed somewhat aggressive, but it was impossible to say such things. At this time, he noticed Lin Moyu. When Yu Zhu said this, he looked at Lin Moyu unconsciously. These words were taught by this boy. Yu Ching Kang suddenly realized that Yu Zhu's strong reaction today must be related to the boy in front of him. Song Yi didn't seem to realize the seriousness of the problem, and said instinctively, that's not the case, Yu Zhuzi misunderstood Ling. Lin Moyu shook his head slightly, as if to say, he is really young. Now that the issue has been escalated to this level, it is really unwise for him to still defend himself like this. Even Yu Ching Kong couldn't bear the weight of being the daughter of a jade seller. Yu Ching Kong's face turned red, damn girl, do you know what you are talking about? Yu Zhu snorted, I've told you before, my ancestor told me that I can decide who to marry, but you don't believe it. Then don't blame me. In my opinion, you are selling your daughter. For your so-called friendship, you don't care about your daughter's happiness at all. I am from the Yu family, so you are selling the daughter of the Yu family. The reason why unspoken rules are unspoken rules is that everyone knows them but cannot make them public. It was originally just an unspoken rule for marriage between big families, but now Yu Zhu put it on the table in another way. Every sentence makes sense, and Qingdu cannot refute it. At this moment, Yu Ching Kong's face had become extremely ugly. He glared at his daughter, but could not say a word to refute. Lin Moyu drank tea leisurely and gave Yu Zhu an approving look. Yu Ching Kong said, My father also does it for your own good. Yu Zhu said coldly, this reason is too high-sounding. Unfortunately, I don't accept it. I have someone I like. If father is really good for me, then don't stop me. Everyone has to strive for their own happiness. I will strive for my own 310 happiness without any regrets. After Yu Zhu said these words, he turned to look at Lin Moyu with a beautiful smile. Their eyes met, and Lin Moyu's eyes changed a little. He was a little surprised, a little surprised, and even had a headache. There were a few words he taught Yu Zhu to say before. He knew that even if Mrs. Yu's words were suppressed, Yu Chun Kong would probably be unconvinced and Song Yi would continue to pester. Simply let Yu Zhu talk the talk and put a big hat on him. But he didn't teach these words now. No matter how stupid Song Yi is, he now understands that the reason why Yu Zhu is like this is because he has a sweetheart. And my sweetheart is this boy in front of me. Song Yi immediately pointed his finger at Lin Moyu. His eyes shot at Lin Moyu like sharp arrows. He gritted his teeth and said, Support you. A good tutor prevents him from saying too many dirty words. But the anger in his heart can be imagined. Lin Moyu sighed, You are playing with fire. This was not said to Song Yi, but to Yu Zhu. Yu Zhu gritted her silver teeth and said, I am willing to fly into the flames as a moth. Lin Moyu was a little helpless, but now it was impossible for him to refuse to press closer. Otherwise, he would force Yu Zhu to death. Yu Zhu was also one of his few friends. Lin Moyu couldn't do this kind of thing. 
sit down. Lin Moyu motioned for Yuzhu to sit down. Yuzhu was very obedient, sat down immediately, and made tea for Lin Moyu. As a result, Song Yi became even more furious, with eyes that could kill people. Lin Moyu looked at Song Yi, it's not sweet if you force yourself to do it. You'd better forget it. Song Yi gritted his teeth, who do you think you are? He wanted to rush in and kill Lin Moyu, but Yu Chun Kong stood in front of him. Rules are rules, and they are the bottom line of the Yu family. No matter how angry Yu Chun Kong is, the rules can still be broken. Lin Moyu said softly, It seems that for your ancestors' sake, I won't argue with you. Song Yi sneered and said, Who do you think you are? Why do you need to give me my grandpa's face? Get out of here, I will teach you a lesson. Lin Moyu shook his head, not wanting to talk nonsense with Song Yi anymore, and turned to Yu Chun Kong, Senior, you are Yuzhu's father, and I am Yuzhu's friend, so I also want to respect you. You'd better ask Mrs. Yu about this matter. To put it bluntly, you can't force Yuzhu as long as I'm here. If I want to take Yuzhu away, you can't stop me. Lin Moyu spoke slowly as if it were a matter of course, his voice was not heavy, but very powerful. Yu Chen Kong felt the aura of a superior person from Lin Moyu. He felt for a moment that he had seen something wrong. The young man in front of him is basically not a god king at all, but a god, even a god more powerful than himself. After Lin Moyu said these words, he stopped talking, took the teacup handed over by Yu Zhu, and sipped the tea slowly. Song Yi on the side was about to explode with anger. He wanted to say something, but Yu Chen Kong stopped him. Yu Chen Kong said, Don't worry, I'll ask the ancestor. Song Yi could only hold his temper. Yu Chen Kong was his elder and he could not refute. Yu Chen Kong hooked up with the emperor's network and got in touch with Mrs. Yu. As a high level deity of the Yu family, he can indeed contact Mrs. Yu. But usually, if nothing happens, they will not take the initiative to contact their ancestors. His expression changed from serious to shocked and complicated. Yuzhu saw it and snorted, I wish I had contacted you earlier, but I didn't listen. Lin Moyu smiled and said, People always like to speak and act based on their own experience, and they don't care too much about what the weak say. Yuzhu snorted, He has always been like this, macho. He won't listen to my mother and I at all. 1. Lin Moyu smiled and said, Isn't it better now? Mrs. Yu will tell him the answer. But you, by saying things like this, aren't you afraid that you won't be able to get married in the future? Yu Zhu mustered up his courage and said, I don't want to marry anyone except the captain. If the captain doesn't want me, then I will be alone all my life. This was said so categorically that Lin Moyu could naturally understand that Yu Zhu was not joking. At this moment, he couldn't give Yu Zhu any answer. A few minutes later, Yu Chen Kong opened his eyes again. His eyes were extremely complicated. He looked at Yu Zhu and then at Lin Moyu. His mouth was open, but he didn't know what to say. Song Yi asked nervously, Uncle Shir, what did Mrs. Yu say? Yu Zhu snorted, What else can I say? I have already said before that I make the decision on my own marriage. I won't marry you anyway, so you should give up. Yu Ching Kong sighed, my ancestor ordered me not to interfere in Yu Zhu's marriage. At this moment, I felt relaxed. It seemed like a burden had been lifted. Song Yi shuddered, this is impossible. The two of us have been friends for generations and have many marriages. Mrs. Yu will not disagree. There must be a mistake somewhere. I went to find Grandpa Zhu and asked him to talk to Mrs. Yu. 17. Yu Chen Kong didn't say anything, and even now, he couldn't say anything. Whether it is the ancestor of the Song family or the ancestor of his own family, he is not someone he can offend. He glanced at Lin Moyu with great complexity, but found that he couldn't see through this young man. At this time, there were footsteps again, and a person came over. The person who came was dignified and luxurious, with an indescribable temperament in his lotus steps and his appearance was even more beautiful. Song Yi, who was extremely angry just a second ago, could no longer look away after his eyes fell on her. The person who came seemed to have boundless magic power, 
attracting everyone's attention. Lin Moyu also expressed admiration. This person was one of the most charming female practitioners he had ever seen. But Lin Moyu is purely for appreciation, without any other color. When Yu Ching Kong saw the visitor, he immediately raised his hands and saluted, Ching Kong has met Aunt Ching. Yu Bing Ching nodded, walked past Yu Ching Kong and entered the pavilion. She saluted Lin Moyu Yingying, Bing Ching has seen the doctor. The word Xianzi spit out from Lin Bingqing's mouth was like a thunder that struck the jade into a crisp on the outside and tender on the inside. Yu Bingqing and Madame Yu were of the same generation, only one generation below Madame Yu and one generation above him. Yu Bingqing has the realm of the pinnacle god. It is said that it will not take many years to complete the breakthrough and reach the same realm as Madame Yu, becoming the second ancestor of the Yu family. Regardless of the reasons, Yu Bingqing has an extraordinary status in the Yu family, which is far beyond his comparison. On weekdays, Yu Bingqing is in charge of the Yu family's transactions in the four-star regions. When Mrs. Yu does not come forward, she is the person who talks about the affairs of the Yu family in the four-star regions. But such a person calls Lin Moyu sir and is very humble. Yu Chen Kong was messy in the wind. He felt that he had been closed for too long, and the world had become different. He thought of what Lin Moyu said just now, their transaction was very expensive and they were waiting for someone. Unexpectedly, the person waiting was actually Yu Bing Ching. What kind of deal is this? The group will need such a person to come forward. The formation of the pavilion was activated, and layers of light curtains fell, covering the entire pavilion. Yu Ching Kong looked at the pavilion with complicated eyes. After a moment of silence, he said to Song Yidian beside him, Xian Nephew, you go back first. We will discuss the matter between you and Zhu Yatu. Song Yi's mood was equally complicated at the moment, and he whispered, Okay, then I'll trouble Uncle Sher. He has made up his mind to find his grandfather. He knows very well that in this situation, he can only have hope if his grandfather comes forward. Song Yi left, while Yu Chen Kong stood motionless, waiting quietly. Lin Moyu is the God King, he will never be wrong. Then the problem lies in Lin Moyu's identity. He really wanted to know what Lin Moyu's identity was, so that he could talk directly to Mrs. Yu, and Yu Bing Ching even called him Sir. In the pavilion, Guozuyu Lin Moyu introduced the identity of Yu Bing Ching. Lin Moyu stood up and saluted Yu Bing Ching. Lin Moyu has met the senior. Yu Bing Ching quickly avoided Lin Moyu's gift, Sir, you are joking, your gift Bing Ching cannot bear. As a senior member of the Yu family and one of the people in power, she knows a lot of information. She knew that Mrs. Yu and Lin Moyu were of the same generation, and of course she could not accept the courtesy from such a person. Lin Moyu didn't force himself and went straight to the point, then let the seniors do the appraisal and valuation. Yu Bingqing nodded, walked to Yu Zhu, and sat side by side with Ya. She first picked up the Abyss Dragon Demon Storage Magic Weapon, and after sensing it carefully, she said, it is indeed a storage magic weapon from the other side. Among the demons and the Abyss Dragon Demon family, only one guy became the other side. However, he was seriously injured in a battle thousands of years ago and never appeared again. I didn't expect that I would die in the hands of Mr. Yu Bingqing's words were filled with memories. It was obvious that she had also participated in that battle. Yu Zhu asked softly, Ching Zhu, why did you fight that year? Yu Bingqing touched Yu Zhu's little head with a trace of affection, you were not born yet, and I was only the god king at that time. I only heard about the battle and did not personally participate in it. The reason was not very clear. As she spoke, she opened the storage magic weapon, took out the items inside, and began to appraise and appraise them. Only a being like her can give an accurate price for the good things left behind by the other shore realm or the peak god. Yu Bingqing moves very quickly, is very familiar with every item and material, and can quickly and accurately give the price. While giving the price, she would also briefly explain the function and level so that Lin Moyu could understand clearly. In just ten minutes, the relics of the Abyss Dragon Demon had been cleared away. 
Then Yu Bingqing began to sort out the relics of various peak gods, and the speed was still very fast. Judging from the unit price he gave, the collections of the peak god lord are much worse than those of the other shore realm. The realms are different, and the things you come into contact with are also different. This is the normal situation. Two hours later, several relics of the peak deity were also cleaned up. Yu Bingqing said, Most of these things, sir, are from foreign races. If we, the human race, want to use them, it will take a lot of effort and cost. So its value needs to be discounted accordingly. After Bingqing's calculations, our Yu family can earn 4.8 billion points for these trophies of Sir. 4.8 billion points is already an astronomical number for most practitioners. Many weak practitioners are still working hard for a few hundred points. Lin Moyu's harvest has already reached hundreds of millions. 4.8 billion points is even higher than the net worth of a god. Lin Moyu nodded, no problem, just trade with 4.8 billion points. Yu Bingqing smiled and said, okay, I'll have someone transfer the points to Sir. Lin Moyu stopped him, senior, wait a moment, this is just part of this transaction. Yu Bingqing was stunned for a moment and just as she was about to stand up, she sat down again, then continue, and we will settle the transaction together after the transaction is completed. Lin Moyu tapped lightly towards the table, and in an instant, the magic weapon of the crown prince flew out. The storage magic weapons have different shapes and are piled together to form a hill. And Lin Moyu has no intention of stopping at all, and continues to release. Yuzhu covered her mouth with surprise in her eyes, how come there are so many? Yu Bingqing waved her hand, and the formation in the pavilion suddenly changed, and the space expanded rapidly. Bingting's formation has many functions, and expanding space is one of them, but it is rarely turned on on weekdays. Lin Moyu is like a bottomless pit with inexhaustible storage treasures. Yu Bingqing's eyes were complicated. Each of the stored magic weapons represented a strong man. How many people had Lin Moyu killed? She can feel that the owners of these stored magic weapons include gods, kings, and true gods. Among them, God King is the main one. Moreover, it is mainly the storage magic weapon of the Golden Eagle clan. Yu Bingqing thought of something that happened on the Xuanwu battlefield not long ago. Lin Moyu piled the magic weapons into a small mountain. Feeling that the pile was almost done, he moved to another place and continued to pile. So a second hill appeared in the space of the pavilion. Then the third pile, the fourth pile, and the fifth pile. Until ten hills appeared, Lin Moyu finally stopped taking out new stored magic weapons. Ten hills, each with at least 100,000 storage magic weapons. In other words, there are more than one million storage magic weapons alone. Yuzhu was stunned at this moment, with her mouth open and unable to speak. That look was indeed a bit cute. Even the well-informed Yu Bingqing's eyelids twitched, sir, what a big gesture. Lin Moyu smiled slightly, I'm sorry for bothering you, senior. Yu Bingqing suddenly lowered her voice, sir, we were at the Xuanwu battlefield not long ago. Before she finished speaking, Lin Moyu nodded, it's me, please keep it secret, senior. Yu Bingqing took a deep breath, Sir, don't worry, my Yu family will definitely keep everything secret. As she spoke, she issued an order and called for more traders to come over. Yu Chung Kong, who was waiting outside the pavilion, suddenly raised his head and looked towards the end of the backyard. A figure appeared there. They were wearing similar clothes and had similar looks. They were all women. In the Yu family, the division of labor between women and men is completely different. The trading centers are all run by women, and the traders are all women. The men are responsible for other affairs of the family. Yu Ching Kong knew that all those coming now were traders, a total of 50 traders. The traders passed by Yu Ching Kong and then entered the pavilion where Lin Moyu was. Yu Ching Kong's eyelids were twitching, and his heart was pounding with so many traders, how big must this deal be? He once again thought of what Lin Moyu said. This transaction was not only expensive, but also very large. It seems that what Lin Moyu said is true, but Yu Ching Kong never imagined that the number would be so large. 
470 actually wants to dispatch 50 traders, which is probably all the traders in Fortress No. 1. What kind of deal is it? Yu Ching Kong was very confused and curious, but unfortunately he couldn't know. The formation of the pavilion stopped his curiosity. In the pavilion, fifty traders looked at the ten piles of stored magic weapons piled into a hill. They were also stunned on the spot, speechless for a long time. Yu Bingqing ordered, There are fifty of you, in groups of five, each choose a pile. Fifty traders received the order at the same time and took action immediately. Yu Bingqing's and Lin Moyu drank tea together and chatted about other things. Yu Zhu waited on the side, never interrupting, and was very well behaved. Yu Bingqing's chat is very skillful. She never involves Lin Moyu's secrets, but only talks about what Lin Moyu has seen and heard. Lin Moyu knows that this is the real master. A lot of information can be inferred from seemingly casual details. Moreover, Yu Bingqing's voice is soft and will not make people feel bored. While Lin Moyu was answering, he would also ask about things he didn't know, such as the world outside the star field. Yu Bingqing has lived for thousands of years, and has experienced and heard far more rich things than him. There's a lot to be gained from it. Not everything can be found on the Renhuang network. Through chatting with Yu Bingqing, Lin Moyu obtained some information about the world outside the human race. The world is huge, but no one knows how big it is. It is said that no one has ever reached the edge of the big world. The human star field only occupies a small area in the big world. However, most places in the big world are empty. There are few or even no stars. Stellar light can radiate for countless light years, and the longer the distance, the fainter the stellar light. Many places in the big world cannot even be reached by the light of stars. This kind of place is not a dark void, but truly desolate and remote. But even in this desolate and remote place, there are countless dangers and opportunities hidden. Someone once found a cave in a remote void. This cave is the cave of a powerful cultivator in ancient times. He narrowly escaped death in the cave and finally obtained the inheritance of that powerful cultivator. When he entered, he was only a god king, but when he came out, he was already a peak god. He returned to the Divine City, founded a sect, and was soon promoted to the other side. There are countless stories like this. Some people get opportunities, while others are very unlucky. Many people disappeared into the boundless starry sky and never came back. During the chat with Yu Bing Ching, Lin Moyu also obtained an important piece of information. It is said that Xiao Zhantian, the god of war, has also traveled to the world outside the star territory for many years. Later, he was able to soar into the sky and save the human race from fire and water, which was inseparable from his travels in those years. Later, when Xiao Zhantian founded the Temple of War, he once ordered that people in the Temple of War must travel outside the star territory after reaching the realm of the God King. Yu Bingqing just told Lin Moyu like a story. These things were not secrets. Because there is no evidence, there is no way to verify it, so we can only treat it as a story. But it is true that people in the Temple of War, after reaching the God King realm, need to travel outside the star territory. Moreover, there is a teleportation array leading to the outer realm in the War Temple, which is not false. Yu Bingqing had borrowed it once. In the conversation with Yu Bingqing, Lin Moyu re-understood the world outside the human race and initially appreciated the mystery of the big world. The big world is very big, and all races are hidden in various places in the big world. Except for a few known powerful clans, their territory has been locked. There are more small races, and their star fields are still unknown. In distant places, there may be no more unknown races. With the joint efforts of fifty traders, the appraisal and valuation were finally completed two full days later. The final price was also summarized in Yu Bingqing's hands. Yu Bingqing said to the fifty traders, What happened today will be forgotten once you leave this trading room. You all know the rules at home, you don't need me to remind you again. Fifty people immediately responded in unison, Yes. Fifty people filed away, leaving as they came without making any sound, 
showing the strict family rules of the Yu family. Silence returned to the trading room again, and Yu Bingqing said softly, Sir, the total amount has come out. Your single transaction amount has exceeded the highest record of our Yu family. Yu Zhu couldn't help but let out a soft cry, Qing Zhu. I remember that the highest single transaction amount was 15 tax points. Yu Bingqing nodded slightly, Girl Zhu remembers it well, but that transaction record was actually a transaction from the Tianjin sect. After a big battle, they brought together all the trophies from the entire sect and conducted a separate transaction. Yu Zhu said, Qing Zhu, how much is the transaction volume today? In the past, various traders sent the amount to Yu Bingqing through the Human Emperor Network. No one except Yu Bingqing knew the specific number. Yu Bingqing smiled slightly, including the previous 4.8 billion, the total is 32.6 billion. When she reported the numbers, she kept looking at Lin Moyu. To her disappointment, Lin Moyu was drinking tea by himself. After hearing this astonishing number, he didn't even react at all nor was he excited at all. She didn't know if Lin Moyu was pretending to be calm, or if he really didn't feel anything. At this time, Lin Moyu sighed softly, it seems there are still many poor people. Not counting the previous 4.8 billion and the subsequent millions of storage magic weapons, the result was only 27.8 billion points. On average, each material item in the storage magic weapon is worth only 27,800 points, not even 30,000 points. If we remove the treasures stored in the deity's treasures, the remaining average number will be even less worthy. It's enough to show how poor those guys must be. Just like in the human race, some people will fight for a few hundred points, and each of their transactions can easily reach hundreds of millions and even broke the record this time, exceeding 30 billion. This is the unevenness of the world. There is no absolute fairness for any race. Lin Moyu said calmly, I have no objection to this amount. Let's trade at 32.6 billion. Besides, I also want to buy something.